Good morning and welcome to the APP Delray Beach Open, APP TV here on YouTube and Facebook. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Ari Shanock along with the legend, Morgan Evans. Uh, good morning, Morgan. Good morning, nice of Ari. Nice to wake up this early and join me. I was a little worried about it, but. <laughs> I, I had always planned. I always uh, set the alarm, so happy to be here alongside you, mate. And a uh, beautiful day again here in Delray, but a very different conditions side. than we had Four, yesterday. One, one. We have a timeout in the action here as you're looking at uh, Brossoff and Lane against Sperling and Waddell here in the senior pro doubles. Um, Sperling and Waddell, impressive in that first game. We're in the second. Just catch the uh, score update, Morgan. I believe it's uh, approximately 3-1. Uh, we'll have to check with the referee there. But getting back to the conditions, yesterday we saw just a, a steady, I'd say 25-mile-an-hour wind, and gusts up uh, beyond that. It just wreaked havoc, not only for us broadcasters, but we can't complain, but on the court the conditions were just very difficult to deal with. Yeah, it must have been rough, but they, they handled it well. You know, these are all true competitors. And, uh, you know, the wind plays both sides, so we're lucky enough today that it doesn't look to be too much of a factor. And temperatures warmer yesterday. We've got uh, cooler conditions this morning, but uh, probably welcome out there on the court in the sunshine. 4 one one apparently. Sorry to put you on the spot there, Morgan. 4 one one Dell cross court. Point. And that one doesn't get clearance for Brossoff. Five one one. Uh, this is John Sperling and Waddell. Waddell with those exceptional hands, Morgan. Second yeah, set. he's he's incredibly steady and uh the viewers may notice Waddell, his, his neck, he's, he's actually completely Five, one, fused. Two. Happened quite a long time ago. Um, so he has no rotational ability with his neck, but he stays so steady over the ball because of it. Side out. Yeah, well, that compact swing and certainly uh, gets low. One, five, one. Tremendous warrior, Barry Waddell. Deep serve for Brossa. Second serve. Managing to uh, find success in that cross court dink battle. Very short backswing, exaggerated One, follow five, through, two. getting plenty of spin on the ball. Eric Lane serving. Look at this scoop. Can't. Return that one as the left-hander puts it away. Yeah, he almost got away with it. Two, five, two. Brasa. Quick hands, but it caught the Side net. Up. And Peter says should have gone up the middle. Yeah, attacking cross court, regardless of uh, how the net gets involved, typically not always a great plan because you're relying on your partner being ready for the counter punch. The counter punch generally doesn't come back to you cross court; Five, two, it'll, it'll come quickly at your partner. John Sperling delivers. And the ball Five. hung up there for Waddell, yes. able to capitalize. And that's a good attack down the line there. Six, there two, one. There's your score, 6-2-1. John Sperling. Second serve. Good ball by the southpaw, Eric Lane. 6-2-2. To 
terrific Fight. action. Yeah, Sperling's got plenty of power on both wings. Looks to close well. That'll make it 7-2-2. 11-5 was the final in game one in favor of the serving duo of Sperling and Waddell. Well, you get it upstairs against the lefty lane, and you're going to pay for it. Yeah, he's got a nice kind of whipping motion on those higher balls. Sort of an abbreviated uh, overhead smash technique. Gets plenty of power. Two, seven, one. Cross off rips. Good pickup by Waddell. Second serve. Backhand from Sperling. Yeah, he was ready. Very quick hands. Two, seven, two. Two, seven, two, Brasov. And Lane looking for a run. And there's one. Boy. Three, seven, two. There's your score. Good to have the official mic'd up today. Waddell, so steady, Morgan. Mm. Yeah, fantastic hands. Keeps his stability. Is there a question? Three? Your score is three? Brosov just confirming with the res referee. Seven, three, one. Waddell winds up. Serve. Well done by Brasov, but this is going to be a tough duel to beat mm -hmm. with a Waddell and Sperling. That's a, that's a tough doubles team. Let's see Seven, if they three, switch two. again. They switched in the last one to keep the left-handed forehand in the middle. And they've done it again. Terrific point. Fantastic. Yeah, good high percentage stuff from the serving side yep. of Waddell and Sperling. Not taking crazy risks in the transition area, looking to work their way back up and do the damage at the kitchen court. line. Time in. Eight, three, Senior two. pro doubles here on stadium court, championship court number two. And Sperling and Waddell cruising. They won game one 11-5. They lead it here 9-3-2. Nine, nine, two. Two. And one point away from the match. Yeah, I'm sure Brosov would like to get that one back. They need to break Waddell's serve here to stay alive. Staying back for a couple of balls. Now trying to inch closer. Side out. Just wide. Waddell trying to close it with that one. <coughs> Three, ten, one. Good stroke, power Point. drive from Brasov. Ball on court, thank you. They're going to need a few more of those to, uh, to get Four, back in this game, one. but you never know. Yeah, half a dozen of them would tie it. <laughs> Quick hands. 
Well, there's two for the team of Lane and Brasov. Yeah, I think that qualifies as a roll. They are on a roll. <laughs> Ooh, jumping oh, out of his shoes, the big lefty Lane. Yeah, he had uh, red in his eyes there. Second service here for Lane and Brasov. Crucial. Side out. Side out. And Waddell and Sperling. Another opportunity to close out this match. 10, 5, 1. I think they'll look to do it by the book here. Or not, right. as Game. the case may be. <laughs> they threw the book out. 11, From the baseline, driving it was Sperling, and that is your final score. 11-5 in both games, and Sperling and Waddell moving on. They're looking good out there, no doubt about it. It's going to be a tough team to beat here in the senior pro doubles as they wrap it up 11-5, 11-5. And we will take a quick break and be back here at the APP Delray Beach Open. If you like to dink, then Pickleball Magazine has what you're looking for. Our bi-monthly print publication will help you become a better player with instructional tips, drills, and articles from the top teaching pros in the sport. And you'll become a healthier, stronger player with psychological, nutritional, and wellness advice from experts in their fields. Finally, if it's product reviews or the latest news, we have that too. To learn more or to subscribe today, go to pickleballmagazine.com.
Delray Beach pickleball open. Welcome back, everybody. Ari Shanock, Morgan Evans, and Morgan, uh, good morning. What a day yesterday we had to open this up, or a Thursday, I should say. Singles action was just fantastic. It really was. They battled tough conditions, but uh, they came through very well, I thought. You know, such a fantastic venue. I think it really brings out the best in the players. It's uh, the Delray Beach Tennis Center, obviously the only other tournament that uh, holds professional tennis and uh, professional pickleball tournaments uh, outside of um, Indian Wells Tennis Garden. So it's just a fantastic time for the game of pickleball. And you can feel the excitement in the community, in the area, driving down the Ave to get to the center today. Traffic already early this morning. Parking, you know, it, it's uh, a little more difficult already here on a Saturday morning, but plenty of parking available. If you're in the area, come on out because this is quite a show. And the courts to the right, the side courts, are packed with fans. This is just awesome to see. It's fantastic. I, uh, I can't wait to get back out there myself. <laughs> well, you can't leave me here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I suppose it's probably in the contract. Yeah, 2017 <laughs> doubles uh, gold medalist right here, Morgan Evans, and uh, we're going to see some terrific doubles action today. What are the main differences that we're going to be looking for as we, you know, compared to the singles that we witnessed? That's a great question, Ari. Yeah, if you think of singles as a little more like checkers and doubles is certainly chess. <laughs> uh, there's so much strategy involved. There are a lot, of, uh, a lot of different nuances involved in the soft game. In singles, you, you typically can see a lot of passing shots with, uh, on those third balls doubles people are generally electing to drop the third ball much more often um, which means it leads to obviously a, a lot more uh, battles up at the kitchen line patience is a, a huge part of doubles um, both in men's women's and mixed mixed uh, doubles can be a lot more exciting um, there's a lot of fast and furious exchanges very early in mixed um, today we've got the men's and the women's so that's going to be uh, a very good day Good day, and we've got the best seats in the house. We really do. Big day here from the Delray Beach Pickleball Open. We'll have it all covered for you here on uh, APP TV. Next match coming up shortly here on Stadium Court, Championship Court number two.
the APP Delray Beach Pickleball Open here in beautiful Delray Beach, Florida. Morgan Evans alongside me. I'm Ari Shannon. I thank you for joining us, everybody, here early on on a Saturday morning. Doubles all day. And we've got a good one ahead of us here on championship court number two in the stadium. It is Andrea Coop and Corin Carr against Maggie Romenzi and Martina Coakley. This should be a good one, Morgan. Yeah, I'm excited to see this match. I, th I believe uh, Corinne and Andrea have played together before, as have Martina and Maggie. I've actually been lucky enough to play alongside three of these ladies um, and had a great time for all of them. They are in their warm-ups now. Partners warming up together. You can see that's uh, Raminzi and Coakley up at the net at the moment. Corinne Carr, for many years, was the partner of uh, Simone Jardine, who, as we all know, has uh, has done pretty well in the sport. Yep. Seems to win generally a fair amount. A fair amount, yes. <laughs> We'll just say that. And Corinne was the sort of defensive player um, that kept them in the points time and time again. So we're going to see how well she can handle the, the power of uh, Martina Coakley and Maggie Ramins. Z. Now we should mention our ref in this match, Marsha Fresno. Really been impressed with the officiating here through, I, mean, I don't think you could say that watching March Madness basketball so much, but uh, here in the, on the pickleball court, the officiating has been fantastic. It really <laughs> has, yeah. Yeah, and Marcia is as, uh, as good as they get. Her husband, Byron, will hopefully agree with that. <laughs> You're really trying to dig him a hole, aren't you? I am, I am. Or no, set him up. For I'm a, I'm a big fan flattery. of, both of uh, both of those two. They're wonderful people and, and great for the sport, so... Um, hopefully we'll remain friends after this. <laughs> well, the APP Tour here, America's fastest growing sport, pickleball on display here in Delray Beach. The APP runs 18 tour stops for professional and amateur players, not only in the U.S., but in Europe. This is all on the road to Miami. The APP Miami Masters International Pickleball Championships 2022. That will be January 19th through the 23rd. And we are ready for action here as Coop will begin with a serve. Looking for that attack ball. And put away by Coop, and if that is the action that's in store for us in this match, yeah. this is going to be fun. This is going to be a great one. We see already a, a pattern emerging, looking to utilize that cross-court backhand dink. And big put away there for... Yeah. Uh, Coakley. Uh, she's got fantastic power on that high forehand. Got some serious talent out here, Morgan. That one dropped a little bit on Coakley, unable to hit that for a winner. Car, good hands. So, uh, the listeners out there 
viewers out there may not know that uh, there are uh, it's a bit of a sister act on the court right now. Maggie Ramenzi and Andrea Cooper are indeed sisters. And competing against each other. Yeah, so they know each other's games pretty well. <laughs> Maggie would love to get uh, the better of this one. Well, bragging rights, huh? Mm. That one drifts a little bit wide, so Carr will hold on to the serve here. She is otherwise known as the Smiley Assassin. <laughs> and there's a smile there. You can't catch it on camera, but those are the dangerous ones, right? Mm. Right up the middle, beautifully done by Martina. She's another player utilizing the two-handed backhand, finding it easy to lock and load on that one. Now you hear the snap of the ball on the paddle. There's our court mic has been activated. Thank you, Spencer. Spencer Laurent. One, two, two. Our terrific producer here on championship court number two. That one just got away on the backhand. Yeah, good Swinging leave. Volley. Two, one, one. Two, one, one. Cooper Carr. Up the line, too good from Coakley. Yeah, she did a great job of opening the paddle enough to show that potentially she was going through the middle, or possibly wide, and then dragged it back down the line. Two on two. Ah, a little miscommunication there between Raminzi and Coakley. We won't see that happen often. That is a, 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 a classic divorce ball. <laughs> no one knows who gets it. 3-1-2. Ooh, quick hands. Car, you could hear Coop yeah. saying great shot to her partner. It was indeed. It was kind of a hybrid reset. It turned out to be a, a volley winner just with enough open court. Now 4-1-2. Getting the best of sister in that action. Second server. Second serve here, one, one two. four, two. Ooh, handcuffed. Yeah. Car, too good. Coakley thinking that attack was going to come through the middle, but Regardless, she floated that ball a little too far, and Carr able to capitalize. Four, one, one. Side out here, 4-1-1. One, one. One, one. Out of the air, good reach, and there's your big smile on Corinne Carr's face. Yeah, I think uh, Raminzi may have hit an out ball there. Well, yesterday for sure it would have been out coming from that end. <laughs> it gets upstairs, and you can forget about it with Coakley. 5-1-2, Carr. Frustration there for Rabinzi. Had a good look there, Morgan. She did, but she elected to play a kind of a sliding uh, side spin off the paddle. Nothing to keep it in. 
Great angle. Oh. Just oh. wide, yeah. We should love to have that one back. Uh, Carr and Coop off to a, a healthy lead, 7-1. Yeah, they are in rhythm, aren't they? Indeed, they are the favorites for this match. Oh, you call Carr the uh, smiley assassin? Is that how you labeled him? No, actually, uh, uh, part of the APP TV, which you can check out on YouTube, uh, they, um, Corinne Carr and actually on the, the court further over, Adam Stone, they have a, a nice cooking show together. And I think their first one was a, was a stir fry. Okay. In the kitchen with uh, Adam and Corinne, I believe it's called. I love it. We're coming back in now. 7-1 is the score. Let's see how Raminzi and Coakley can adjust their strategy, perhaps. You can see a sign here from Raminzi, possibly a switch coming to get Coakley on the left. That ball dropping under the knees of Coakley. Difficult attempt. 8 1 2. Car. Right good ball right at the feet, delivered by Ramenzi. 1 8 1. Yeah. Oh, strong point played by Car Coop. Defense. And finally, they find court. Ramiji with a, let, a let's go. But uh, what does it take to win a point against Coop and Carr? Yeah, they're defensive magicians, really. Or mages, is that when it's a, a female magician? That sounds right. Yeah, that sounds about right. Side out. So they manage one point on their service. Well, two is certainly better than one. <laughs> Eight two one. Eight two one. Coop digging into a backhand. This action, very nicely that's done so by Ravinzi. Yeah, that's a, that's a different approach from Carr. Typically, she would reset a lot of those and work the way up to the kitchen. And in that case, she felt confident that a hand-speed exchange was uh, worthwhile, but paid the price. So a quick side out for Coakley and Ramenzi. Maybe that's what they need here to climb back into this one. Deep service. Speaking of magicians, Carr watching her up at the kitchen line with that uh, ability. Yeah, she's been doing this for a number of years, I'd say six, seven years at least. That drive defended nicely by Coop. Sun shining brightly here on Stadium Court. It's a lovely 66 degrees out there at the moment. Refreshing after the warm, humid day on Thursday. Ooh, frustration Ooh. there for Coakley. Uh, you've got to work hard to miss that one. <laughs> that pattern of uh, the cross-court dink to Carr 
They're, they're working hard to try and make it happen, but so far, car hasn't broken. Very steady. Getting low. And there, that feels good for Coakley. Yeah, a little bit of redemption. But tough to penetrate this tandem of Coop and Carr, but really uh, no holes in their defense, is there? No. Nice little spin out wide. There's some of that defense on display. And on the run, it's Carr. Get a game point here, 10-2-2. Carr really gets low in the backhand, but quick reflexes by Martina Coakley. Yeah, no matter how powerful you are, if your opponent reads that attack, it's tough to get through them. you're teaching, which you do quite a bit, Morgan Evans, I mean, you talk about the positioning of a tandem like Coop and Carr. They always seem to be set and balanced with their feet. Yeah, no, they're very well versed in who takes the middle balls. They are generally assigning the cross-court responsible player to handle the middle. Ooh, right on the line. So it never needs to be Two players getting out of position. They're both doing a great job of holding the ground, understanding that uh, their partner is taking that shot. And quickly, a side out for Coop and Carr. Right now, they're just doing the basics better. Um, their thirds are more reliable, fifth shots, and their work in transition. set. So defense is superb. There's a big smile from Carr. Not easy to out-duel Corinne on that side-to-side -side action. See an ATP there? Yeah, just trickled along the net. Gave it enough width to go around the court, around the post, through the middle of the court. So a great opening game there from Carr and Coop. Coakley and Raminzi are going to need to really tighten up on their transition area and the defense if they're going to compete in game number two. Now they managed just three points in game one. Terrific crowd coming in. Look at this Saturday morning here at the stadium court. Big crowd already. Good morning, Delray. We've got terrific pickleball action all day long. Men's and women's doubles. And right now it is Coop and Carr on top of Raminzi and Coakley. There's your score from game one. Yeah, it's still anyone's game. Uh, I think when the, a side switch happens, a lot of things can change. But certainly, Raminzi and Coakley are going to need to change things up a little bit, look to utilize either a different strategy, different court positions, um, or hope that they can really have their, their basic dinks and their defensive play under control. Morgan, it's so difficult to find areas to attack uh, Coop and Carr that uh, 
And you've got to be so patient, correct? Yeah, no, they move well, they cover the middle very well. Um, and they've got both got enough power to be able to counter punch balls from behind the, the kitchen line. Um, Car especially, she doesn't mind being often one or two feet back from the kitchen line, buying herself enough time to, to play a more effective, um, especially backhand slice dink. All right, coming back in. Second game. Ravenzine Coakley open the second game, side serving. Up. Another quick side out for Coop and Carr. And it will be Andrea zero, zero, one. Coop. Pushed a little wide. First point of the second game to Coopin Carr. 1-0-1. One, one. Coming through large and clear. Referee Marsha Frezzo. Point. Two, zero, one. Point. Coop. Impressive with that backhand, really stays through that ground shirt, Three, doesn't zero, you, Morgan? One. Mm. Point. One of the other things you'll see by the from receiving team. The players the of this caliber. Is four, zero, one. You it have one minute. Is their awareness of out balls? Um, and you, you can only really get that way a number of years on the tour, watching so many balls hit paddles and uh, becoming acutely aware of what's going in and out. So far, I, I'm not sure the Car and Coop duo have, uh, have accidentally hit one out ball, but they've been able to let the explosive paddles from Rominzi and Coakley hit a number of shots that have floated long. It's tough. It's uh, for my money. I think the Car Coakley Car Coop duo could very well find the podium today. So interesting, Raminzi and Coakley using that early time out here, dropping four points to begin the second game. Well, they're out on the court waiting for the Coop Car tandem. Uh, really just kind time of a time, in. time out to one. hopefully disrupt that momentum. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now you Second can hear the server. sorry from Coakley, but Coakley and Ramenzi. Could use a break or two. Four zero two. <coughs> Side out. No, oh, they got they, what they wanted, Morgan, out of that timeout. Too straight. They earned the side out. Okay, it does happen zero. at an alarming amount. Smash, Second hanging up first. for Coop. Takes advantage. Zero, two. nice to have the kind of power that can still put the ball away from well back behind the kitchen line. Carr and Coop feeling like they're on the defensive there, at least two or three feet back, but still able to put the ball away. Four zero one. Defense to offense quickly for this duo.
That's a heartbreaker. Yeah, she needs those. Yeah. They haven't had many opportunities. Sometimes when you don't have many opportunities, the one that are available become, uh, there's pressure on them. Yeah, exactly. There's so much more importance to, uh, to make it happen. Nice swinging volley sets up what you thought would be a winning point, but against this defense, a scrambling defense. That's textbook stuff right there. They were on the back foot for a while, but they did their, their hard work, <coughs> got themselves back into the game, set, set up the point, one. put it away. A terrific ability to go that transition from defense to offense. Second got server. Got a little greedy there. It's, this, it's a sign that they're feeling confident in their chances here, and rightly so. A rare error from the Cooper Carr team. But they are comfortably in the lead, 11-3. Victorious in game one, they lead it here. 6 0 two. That's the score, thank you, ref, Marsha Frezzo. Coakley read that one well. A cross court attack didn't pay dividends on that one. Zero, zero six one. One up on the scoreboard for the team of Ravinzi and Coakley here in game two. They can string two or three together. Maybe this doubles team can build some momentum. That's a fantastic point. Both teams showing a lot of patience. Uh, just unfortunately, the, the net got involved in that one and caused an awkward con contact from uh, Coakley. One six two. Coakley serving one six two. Ball hanging up there dangerously. Uh, taking out. advantage is Coop and Carr. One point up on the scoreboard before the side out. Ball on, replay. Well, we saw that consistently yesterday with the pickleball blowing all over the court. Six, one, one. With those gusty winds. First hold up of uh, today's action. Point. Make it seven. Just a, a brief hold up from Mr. Carl Yates to be seven, one, jumping one. through. Oh, 
What a lob deep into the corner. And saved. Oh, that's what you have to do to win a point Second against this cover. team. Yeah. yeah, a fantastic shot and a little bit of luck. Wonderful point. And great that they're throwing in things like the lob to mix it Seven, up. 7-1-2. One, Two in a row, Coakley right. says, I right. apologize, but Coakley and Rominzi will take them any way they can get them. Could be a sign. She will uh, likely think it's that and have one, some seven, one. confidence coming into these next points. Coakley drives that with authority. Swinging seven, volley, seven. accurate from Carr. Yeah, she actually she didn't go for the low-hanging fruit of through the middle. Instead, she allowed it to slide off the pad a little bit and uh, One, seven, play to the backhand of Raminzi. Side out. Well, an experienced doubles team. Yeah. Carr and Coop. You could see they kind of looked at each other and had the confidence that Exactly. It was going to be Coop's ball. Raminzi felt like there was a chance that Corinne would play that ball and uh, was still coming th through towards the kitchen Seven, line one, because one. of it. And instead, her sister caught her out. Raminzi inching forward. Car so steady. Ball on, ball on, replay. Unfortunately, have a ball on, and a lob was out. And that's the uh, argument that Raminzi is making. Yeah. Carr may not. Uh, Second server. May not accept it. I think she had already played the lob. Seven, one, two. Side out. Nice little volley. The angle out wide by Raminzi. One seven one. One seven one. It's got to be now for Raminzi and Coakley. Uh, that's a Point. good start. Martina Coakley from the baseline out of Two, the air. Two seven one. Two seven one. Second server. <coughs> two seven two. Well, that lob drifts deep. Right Again, Ravenzi and Coakley searching for solutions here. Yeah, hard to know how often you can dip in that well. <laughs> Seven, two, one. Well, they are certainly battling throughout this match. Just a tall task. Coakley reaching in. And goodbye. Yeah, Coakley just... Point. Staying back a little too far off the line there, making those low volley dinks a little trickier than normal and opening up angles for their opponents. Eight, two, one. Very nice serve return, but a break Point. for Coop and Carr. Yeah, Lady Luck switched sides on that one. Yeah, not that they need it, but. 9-2-1. 9 2, one. Nine, two, one. two points away from victory here. Point. Uh, one more. Yeah, that's a routine ball. <coughs> she didn't need to try and paint the Nine, line on two, that one. one. And we've got match point. And there it is. Point. Game match. Andrea Coop. Corinne Carr. Two second game. They take it 11-3, 11-2. And we are hoping to uh, have Corinne and Andrea come up for a post-game interview. As uh, 
They are victorious, one of the favorites to reach medal, says uh, Morgan Evans. And I trust his opinion. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, with any luck, uh, you know, obviously the hot favorites are going to be Simone Jajin and Ka Catherine uh, Parenta, who played each other in the singles final the other day. I think the crowd would also love to see the, uh, the hosts, Lee and Annalie Waters, up on the podium. But Carr and Coop looked pretty good there, so... Yeah, I'll say. 11-3, 11-2 against a uh, very good Ramenzi Coakley team. Uh, didn't see any cracks or weaknesses, that's for sure. No, and they're only going to get better. That was their first match of the day, I believe. And we will go to break and hopefully have the uh, winning team with us here on APP TV. The rules are simple. Grab your paddle and always dink in the kitchen. Dink in the kitchen. Remember where you are. Pickle Coulter Homes is the home of pickling. Smash and poach on dedicated courts in resort style and active adult new home communities across the southeast, including PGA Village Verano and Port St. Lucie, home of the World Pickleball Open. Pickle Learn more at CoulterPickleball.com. For over 40 years, Papico Sports Surfaces has been providing expert service and supplies for any court surface, from resurfacing to building from the ground up. The growth of pickleball is doubling every year. Court equipment for private residences, court seating, and court maintenance from tennis, basketball, tracks, and now pickleball. We're actually doing indoor, private, um, public facilities. There's, there's really no limit to what people are converting now. Official court surface of the APP Delray Beach Pickleball Open. PapicoSportsSurfaces.com. Welcome back, APP Delray Beach Pickleball Open. And we do have the uh, winning team joining us. Andrea Coop, Corinne Carr, terrific match out here. What a way to start the morning. You guys look like it didn't take you any time to get that groove going. Um, well, this is our, I think, third time playing together now. So we're getting used to one another. It helps to definitely have partnered, um, but it maybe to you guys looked easier than it was. It's always really hard for me to play against my sister. And uh, so there's that different element of pressure besides, you know, getting being in a first round match. So seeing your sister in the first round is less than fun, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a lot less fun for Maggie out there, unfortunately. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, so obviously you've only played three times together. However, it looked like how well you two manage the middle balls, especially. Um, there wasn't many miscommunications at all. And then those three tournaments, we had plenty of matches, I think, to get the middle figured out. So uh, I think it's, we've got it down. And we communicate. Mm -hmm. uh, we do say yours or mine, and, and that definitely helps, too. 
for sure. Now, you're both obviously um, all-round players. Corinne, you have been a, a defensive magician, or I think we decided mage uh, is the feminine of magician. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> it looked like in that particular match you were more than happy to take the gloves off and start being more aggressive. Is that um, going to be a new part of your game going forward? Uh, yes, definitely. I'm working on it a lot, so much that it's kind of in my... Like, that's what I'm thinking about, and I kind of need to pull off and go back to soft occasionally. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm still kind of figuring out the mix of um, defense and, and being aggressive. Fair enough. Just so we're clear, if you're only five feet from the baseline, swinging volleys may not be the answer. Yes, yes, <laughs> I, I definitely did that a couple of times, and I do it in practice just for fun, so I got to get better <laughs> going into tournament mode. Fair enough, fair enough. So coming up next, you will likely have the uh, the dynamic duo, uh, Lee and Annalie Waters. Have you two played them before? We have, yes, yeah, in January. How did, how did it go? <laughs> we lost twice in very close three games both times. We played them in the last APP event, and they got us in the winner's bracket final in three games, and then they... Uh, and then we came back and lost them in, in the gold medal match again in three games. So third time's a charm. Maybe. That's, that's the plan. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Excellent. Who do you hope to uh, meet in the final? Uh, <laughs> whoever gets there. Hopefully we'll be there. Hopefully someone will be meeting us. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, ladies. Well, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations again. Uh, hopefully we'll see you back on the court soon. Thank you. Thank you. Great match. Congrats. Andrea Coop, Corinne Carr certainly made it look easy and as you you heard uh andrea said never easy competing against a family member having to play her sister uh maggie Ruminzi. and uh you could see tension to begin battling your your sister but uh they didn't let it bother them uh they were certainly impressive and uh morgan uh confident uh, that they can compete with anybody out here certainly yeah they have the experience and the skills to be able to uh, to solve the riddle uh, the next battle they've got most likely Lee and Annalie Waters um, it's not to assume they have got a match to play but uh, there's a reasonable chance Lee and Annalie are the 2019 national champions so I have, uh, have a funny feeling that's gonna be a fantastic match yeah I think so well we will have that covered for you on APP TV, and we will have the next match coming up. Looks like uh, some men's dubs on tap for us here on Championship Court 2, coming up in a moment. Financing doesn't have to be puzzling. Whether you're looking to purchase a home or refinance, North Point's low competitive rates, client-focused service, and streamlined process make sure you have the right loan for the right home. The Brandt team at North Point Bank works hard to ensure you have the best information to make the best decision to put all the pieces of your financial puzzle together. There's a better way to do financing. Connect with the Brandt team to learn more today. Would you like to take your pickleball to a whole new level, attract better partners, have more fun, and play to your maximum potential? I'm Scott Moore, number one senior player in the world 20 plus time national champion. We've decided to create the Pickleball Masterclass, encapsulating all the principles, skills, drills, and strategies that we teach in our clinics and camps into one comprehensive video that you will be able to watch anytime, anywhere at your convenience over and over again to develop pickleball mastery that so few are able to obtain. So instead of going out to the court now and practicing and playing the same old way, treat yourself to an invaluable gift by making an investment in your pickleball. All you have to do is click the link below and we will see you on the inside. If you like to dink, then Pickleball Magazine has what you're looking for. Our bi-monthly print publication will help you become a better player with instructional tips, drills, and articles from the top teaching pros in the sport. And you'll become a healthier, stronger player with psychological, nutritional, and wellness advice from experts in their fields. Finally, if it's product reviews or the latest news, we have that too. To learn more or to subscribe today, go to pickleballmagazine.com.
Four zero two. And just in time for the start of our second match of the day here on APP TV, championship court number two. It is Point. Dave Fleming and Jose Derisi against Amir Jamarario, who we saw quite a bit of on Thursday, winning the senior singles title. Uh, his partner is Toma. Point. Yeah, Patrick Toma, I have not seen him play much, two, zero, but two. I'm excited. He's always already shown some great athleticism. Point. Dave Fleming, as many of you know, is uh, part of the commentary team. Doing a wonderful job Three, here zero, with the two. APP Tour. Amazing that he can commentate on court one and play doubles on court two at the same time. It's a, it's a rare gift, really. Isn't it? Remarkable. He's been working with uh, Dominic Catalano and Lauren McLaughlin on the center court APP TV broadcast. Zero, three, one. Out of the air, beautiful Second backhand third. from Derisi. It appears that Dave Fleming, a Cleveland Browns fan, looks like. <laughs> Zero, three, two. Uh, we're uh, we're going to be hung, drawn, and courted for that. Uh, Derisi's been quick with that backhand volley. <coughs> Fleming is a, uh, by day, three, is zero, often one. a corporate comedian. A rip. Second serve. He's got, a, he's got a wonderful two-handed backhand. Fleming uses it for dinks and drives. Murcha Murario, he obviously is a, a singles Three, champion. Zero, he's going to look to see how well he can translate that into his doubles game. Yeah, was he fun to watch mm -hmm. Thursday? There's that Point. backhand volley again. Derisi has been efficient. Getting back to Marar Marario a bit. He's uh, kind of the, uh, the little beast out there. For David the Ferrer <laughs> look and feel and competitive edge about him. He's got the jawline, doesn't he? That too. Point. Yeah, Patrick Toma Five, zero, works two. quite a bit locally in tennis instruction. Side out. He's a big guy, huh? Speaking yeah. of football, Steeler fans, Pittsburgh Steeler fans like Dave Fleming, zero, five, one. it's like Toma could uh, do some damage out on the football field. Yeah. Second serve. He might be on the mic for that as well. <laughs> Zero, five, two. Yeah, we've seen that quite yeah. a bit from Morario. Yeah, that's where the singles Point. prowess, confidence over third shot drives, really comes into play. And the speed to follow it up. That's, One, uh, five, it's almost like a classic shake and bake, but uh, you do both the shaking and the baking. And then we do the eating? Ideally. <laughs> Side there, Derisi. Displaying the overhead and Fleming. Five one one. And Derisi up five one one. Second serve. Fleming with a very quick service action. Sure. It's Ooh. quite a return too, Morgan, because mm. I thought that was an awesome five, serve. Five one mm. two. Side out. One, five, one. Point. Well, it was great hands initially from Durisi, but uh, the level of enthusiasm he had Two, five, inspired one. him to keep attacking. And that ball below the net. Off 
of the net. Good job by Fleming. Morario and Derisi. And that gets in tight into the body of Toma. <coughs> yes, you're the correct server. And Mirja. You have two points. Checking the score. Following the score. Two, five, two. And there it is. Right on the line. And that sets up a couple of overheads. Exceptional. Fantastic play from both sides Point. there. Fleming was everywhere. Even Toma clapping his paddle, applauding his opponents as well. There was one classic error, unfortunately, early on, an overhead smash that uh, Derisi placed just beyond the kitchen line while the opponents were almost in the baseline. When that ball contacts the ground, it cools off so Three, much five, it can two. make defending that shot uh, relatively routine. Ooh, yeah, splits the defense. Up for it. So yeah. ideally, where do you want that overhead? Get as, back to that as point. close to feet level uh, yeah. it, as possible. Obviously, if your opponents are behind the baseline, it's not a great idea to go for their feet, but uh, Five, three, one. within a couple of feet. Well, Fleming point. displaying some foot quickness along with that paddle quickness that we have seen early. Six, three, one. Getting back to that quick serve, that real fast service motion after this point. What advantage does that Second give, serve. Dave? Well, it, it disrupts the rhythm of your opponent's split step. A lot Six, of these three, uh, players are programmed well to do nice split steps on the return of serve, as we see there. Patrick right Tomo performing one admirably. Three, six, one. Second serve. That draws the air. Well defended by Derisi, but Orario, that forehand, so elusive. We, you heard Scott Moore on the broadcast late Thursday talking about how difficult Three, it six, is to two. read near just forehand, which, which direction it is heading. Oh, good action. Ooh. Mir just said it clipped him. Oh. Jose says, I don't think I touched it. Ah, he has got wonderful hair, Derisi. I'm not sure if the hair got involved, but uh, he's not going to argue. Well, Jose's wonderful hair and uh, Morario's wonderful headband. Which one's better? <laughs> Point. Would any like the referee gets involved here? <laughs> Might be his job. <laughs> Gentlemen, and he did. Point. Settle the dispute, and play will begin. Four, six, two. No, you're not. Morario asking the ref if they were in the right position. Rightly so. They were not. Side out. And the pickleball gods have spoken. Apparently, it didn't. I know touch you his head. trust them. They, they, they're always right. Almost, almost Six, always right. Four, <laughs> one. Justice prevails. But then they yes, give away a first serve. Oh, I forget I said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dave and Mirja going to hit paddles. Six, four, two. Fleming, nice little off-speed change of pace. Oh, that's quick. Very you hear quick the hands. roar from Tight Toma. Up. That's a great play. Not easy to get that kind of power on a ball that's already got behind you. Uh, he's built like Seven a linebacker. Call receiving team at four, six, one. One minute. So I don't know if Dave Fleming or Coach Tomlin called that timeout for the big Pittsburgh Steeler fan <laughs> and his team. 
But they do have an advantage here. 6-4 in game one, and uh, this is terrific action. We expected no less from these two teams, but uh, Patrick Toma, who uh, lives locally, works in the tennis world, you haven't seen a lot of him. Certainly, uh, there's some talent there. So 6-4. Yeah, with uh, Fleming and Derisi, I think they are a slightly more well-versed doubles team. Uh, but we have got a singles champion on the other side. Seconds. And uh, Tuma looks like he's no stranger to the paddle. So if they can really figure out how best to utilize uh, the driving opportunities that uh, Murcia Murario can present. Time in. Four, six, one. Four, six, one. And Mircha with a deep serve. Second serve. He doesn't miss that one much. Four, six, two. Side out. So we get a quick side out after a timeout. The team of Fleming and Derisi. Six, four, one. Three straight points. points. Yeah, Morario just floating that return a little Seven, long. Four, one. And oh. a miscommunication Point. there. Uh, it looked like there was supposedly a sign. <coughs> Happens to the best of us. I'll, Eight, need, I'll four, need to one. tighten that up. That ball struck Second well, serve. just a little deep uh, for the paddle from Derisi. Yeah, good leave. Eight, four, two. Uh, switch side. You hear Dave say stay there. And then right into the body. Of uh, Barrario. Yeah, he's done uh, a couple of those shots, one through the middle and one into the body. Just allowing the wrist to break at the last second. Nine, four, showing two. a uh, little misdirection. Yes, you are the correct server. We're calling the score. Nine, four, two. Fleming receives confirmation. It's his serve. And then just misses the swinging Side backhand out. volley. Yeah, inches away from greatness on that one. Rio, his team four, nine, one. down four nine. Derisi with authority. He's delivered when he's had the opportunities. It's a tough tandem with Fleming's quickness, Derisi's ability. Nine, two. Oh, through the through legs. The legs. Side out. <laughs> this one's going to be one to watch, no doubt about it. It won't take him long. Nine, four, one. Very easy, nice drive. Point. Morario, a little trigger happy there. Didn't need to be perfect. And Ten for one. Game point. Fleming. Oh, nicely done. He froze Derisi heading towards the center of the court, then went right up that line. Ten for two. Fleming too Point quick up at the game, kitchen line. 11, Fantastic. Change ends. And that's uh, well, it, it does speak to 
the reason why so many players are switching to two-handed backhands. Your ability to draw the paddle back, uh, fire a generally a more powerful shot in the close ranges. You know, the two-handed backhand, it doesn't have an advantage when you've got plenty of time and space to create a long, uh, long looping swing. But in a, an environment such as the kitchen, 14 feet apart, uh, you've got upwards of 200, 250 milliseconds or so to react. And with that extra hand, you're able to draw the paddle back and uh, deliver an effective blow very well. And Fleming does that brilliantly and uses it you know, very well to defend in mid-court as well. And you can hear more of this tremendous analysis from Morgan Evans on More or Less Pickleball podcast. That's right. Morgan Evans, More or Less Pickleball. Or if you actually want to learn a few things, coachmepickleball.com. It's not going to hurt you. Can only help. <laughs> Cheers, the, wi mate. the wisdom from Morgan. Well, 11 4. You've got uh, certainly some talent from Morario and Patrick Toma. And what exactly needs to change to flip the score in game two for that team? Yeah, I believe Morario and Toma, they need to play with substantially more patience, to be honest. Um, they're not finding a way to easily drive through these two players. So they need to engage in. Some more conscious uh, dink rallies up at the kitchen, look for their opportunities uh, and take them when they get them as opposed to trying to manufacture from mid-court. And we see that again, a drive, a decent volley and then a mistake on the fifth ball. Jose Derisi zero, zero, one. looking to give his team the early advantage. We'll chip and charge. Just a little wide. Point. Up the line off of the panel of Morario. One, zero, one. Driven up the line, Point. low volley, a difficult one. Knock it out. Two, zero, one. Second serve. That was close. Yeah, close is relative, two, really. Two, zero, I think. two. Uh, good teamwork, good read there by DeRisi, Point. taking the short ball on the opposite side of the court. Yeah, he does have a lovely inside-out backhand flick. It's Three, just, uh, zero, it's just enough to deceive the opponent. Yeah, he can drive the ball as well. Terrific backhand Side volley out. deep into the corner by Mirja. Yeah, anything less than that I think uh, would have been defended well, so that was a fantastic volley. Boisterous on the uh, second court here at the stadium. We've got three courts going on here. Second serve. A little smile exchange from DeRisi and Mirario. He said, this time I know I didn't touch it. Zero, three, two. Zero, three, two, and point. finally a point. You see Toma saying, come on, let's go, trying to get his team back in this one. They dropped the first point, game 11-4. Could be trouble there. And plenty of skills. On display from DeRisi. Yeah, he uh, committed the same sin ag again, though. Yeah. He dropping that uh, overhead smash well short and allowing the opponents to point. have another go at it. Three, one, one. Second serve. Yeah. 
I imagine at this point, the team of Morario and Toma will be targeting Derisi. Exchange takes patience. He got the ball he was looking for, there's no doubt about it. But he did uh, pull the trigger early. One, three, one. So Toma and Marariu earn the side out, giving away no points. Uh, it's got to be better than that. Second serve. Let. Ball on the court. You see the ball rolling from court number three. Holding One, up the three, action. two. Side out. Yeah, that's the danger of uh, moving in early before you've really learnt what kind of third shot your uh, partner is going to play. We saw Three, there one, Patrick one. Toma in transition being caught out. Ooh, right into the hip. Where are you apologizing? Well, Dave Fleming has that uncanny ability just to kind of drop the ball off his Three, paddle one, wherever two. he wants. Yeah, it is it is a fantastic uh, skill to have. Hard to teach. Side out. One, three, one. So we're stuck on one, three for a number of side outs. You're calling the score. One, three, one. Oh, jumping out of his shoes. Where are you? Yeah, he's, a, he's an aggressive player, which uh, usually pays off well in the singles realm. One, three, two. He's going to need to have a little more patience in doubles. Side out. Yeah. Fleming puts it in a bad spot. Morario looks like he's often looking to always counter punch as opposed to three, one, one. resetting a ball like that. Look at the defense, but they cannot answer that put away. Yeah, the overhead smash Ernie. Second serve. Very rare. Well played. Let's see if we see that Three, again. One, two. Morario pulling the Ernie. Side out. Mm, it's getting a little over aggressive is Derisi. He's uh, one, three, one. certainly confident with that backhand, but it's it's costing him at the moment. And there's a ball on, unfortunately. Second serve. We'll see what was called first. Uh, they will count the point before the let. One, three, two. So one, three, two. Both teams struggling on their serve. Side out. Again, another side out. And what is going to break this scoreless streak, Morgan? Three, one, one. Some decent play. <laughs> and not yet. Not Second yet. Serve. Well, we certainly had. Derisi is chomping at the bit. He's playing like a man who feels like he's being picked Three, on one, and he's two. trying to prove something at the moment. Going driving back those to your point. Point. <laughs> Yeah, driving those thirds from behind the baseline, not particularly uh, with weight transfer coming forward. 
That's uh, running out of an ideas kind of play. If I was them, I'd look one, to three, a, uh, a side switch. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, he's found that right Razor. shoulder area of the big man, Patrick Torma. One, three, two. Nice exchange point. there. And we do have a point. Breaks the 3 1 deadlock. 2 3 2. 2 3 2. We're calling the score. 2 3 2. Oh, that time into the body, Point. but it didn't pay off. Toma was yeah. ready. Yeah, he's getting enthusiastic now as well. Some energy three, out there. Three, two. Let's see if that sparks a fire. Will that open a bit of a floodgate on points here? And we've got Point. three in a row. We saw that yesterday, Thursday, you called it. The match was tied two all yeah. for seemingly about a half an hour and then nine straight points. That was it. Let's. Uh, as soon as that deadlock is broken, usually it's such an emotional letdown for Four, the players three, that two. don't break break the seal. And there Point. you go. As it continues, I can four imagine in a row. A timeout being called very quickly if this next point. Five, three, two. Are you unable to put it away? Yep. Side out. Jose Derisi, yeah. demonstrative. Yeah, Derisi looking to match the energy. Three, five, one. Out. Second serve. So on serve, didn't lose a point. They're starting to play more of a high-risk, high-reward style, at least from the Derisi side of the court. Three, five, two. They might need to buckle down and do it by the book. Big Side swinging out. volley, Marario earns another side out. So it has been quite a while since a point was put on the board for the Fleming Derisi side. Five, three, one. A little overzealous Seven, there. Yeah, zealous is the name of the game right now. No one's ever been underzealous, have they? <laughs> or at least I've never should, heard the expression. Yeah. Should we uh, add that to our list? Yeah. Five, three, I'd, two. I'd like to see some underzealous uh, play from Derisi at the moment. Oh, there you go. Right out. There you go. Who knew? All you needed to do was ask. <laughs> Three, five, one. Fleming able to disguise those groundies so well. Yeah. Loud roar from the far court. Will we hear one from our court after this point? No roar, just a... Yeah, it's tough to roar if when a, uh, a dink just hits the, uh, the top of the net. Four, five, two. But an internal roar. Fleming's going to check the score. Four five one. That's correct. Four five one. Four five one yep. is the score. Okay. Yeah. See, Dave, Dave Fleming would have had that right in the booth when he's on the call on center court, <laughs> and he has it right here as a participant in championship no court number two. Yeah, just multi-talented, really. Yeah, he really is. Going to score. 
four, five, one. And that Steeler fan base, they, they love their Pittsburgh football team. Point. Beautiful shot. Catching them trying to switch sides, <coughs> finding the feet of Morario. Five, five, one. Second serve. We are locked up at five. Five, five, two. And a good one at game two. And that was Side not out. the under Z. No, no, it was not. He thought he had a good chance, and realistically, that's a ball that uh, could very well five, be put away. Five, one. Yep, Toma taking advantage. Yeah, great, Point. great power from such a short distance. That's the benefit of the kind of strength he's possessing. He can keep a very compact, efficient backswing and still generate uh, all the power you need to put that ball away. So that makes it 6-5. Six, 6-5-1. Five. Six, five, On the first serve. Where are you? Point. Oh, just that beautiful setup, that load off of the back foot, mm. and then the bullet comes on the yeah. forehand. That's Seven, five, one. Shot. <coughs> ah, Point. break for the Morario and Toma team. And they are up by three. Eight, five, one. They've got some momentum. I like it. Yeah. yeah that's Point. good. That's a beautiful looking forehand. Fleming electing to let it go, thinking it was sailing long. Time out, call by receiving team at nine, five, yeah, one. Uh, yeah, one yeah, here's your time out. That is a real risk to uh, see a ball that's traveling that close to the net and choose to let it go. I think it was wishful thinking, perhaps. Well, Morgan Evans, you are the expert here. Did you see this coming at 11-4-3-1 in favor of Fleming and Derisi? I did not. I, <laughs> uh, I haven't seen a lot of Derisi play before, and I think his first game performance was, was pretty well spot on. Um, game two, he, he he's, uh, looks like he's become a little overconfident. Um, they were reluctant to change sides to put Fleming on the left which I think is a great spot for him. He's got a, a fantastic two-handed backhand dink, and generally that player on the left side gets a lot of attention. That, that is the hot seat for the vast majority of, of plays, uh, and you're going to want often your more experienced player there who can make the better decisions and be more patient, um, hang in dink rallies for longer periods. So we're not in a situation whereby really just impatient decisions uh, I've got you down in game two after winning game one quite handedly. Yes, oh. That right said, nothing, uh, can't take anything away left. from Morario no, no, and no. Toma. That's They've played fantastic. I'm going to recall the score here. Yeah, the Association of Pickleball answer, Professionals, APP Tour, proudly welcomes you to the second tour stop for 2021. That's correct. The North Point Bank Delray. Pickleball Open presented by Head and Papico Nine, Sports. Five, one. Point. 10-5-1. We're at one point away from game two or Toma and Marario, and there it is. There it is. Game 11-5, change ends, two minutes. I got it, thank you. So 11-4 was the tally in game one. Fleming and Derisi cruising. They jumped out 3-1 in game two, only to see Marario and Toma find their rhythm and win game two 11-5. And uh, what do you expect from a game three? I think I think uh, Fleming and Derisi will go back to basics. Uh, they will not forget what got them to the dance. 
so to speak, and buckle down and start doing it by the book more often and look to allow Morario and, and Toma to you know, make that first punch. In pickleball, so often the counter puncher has the advantage, uh, while the player who, who has the first strike, you know, they have to find their balance, they have to draw the paddle back to be able to, to handle a counter punch. So unless you're incredibly good at, at deception, um, you'll see a lot of the high level play being so much more patient, waiting for someone to make a slightly risky decision on say an, an orange light ball, not necessarily a, a green light ball, um, which has happened a lot in that game too, from Derisi primarily, a couple of times from Fleming, but uh, it cost them almost every time. So I'd like to see a side switch from those two. Um, but Morario, he, you know, with his kind of wheels, and Toma, yeah, that athleticism, the power he possesses, I won't put it past them. They've got good momentum, yeah. um, got a great chance to, to finish this off as well. Well, this year's event is co-hosted by Lee and Annalie Waters, along with Steve Kennedy. Welcome. We would like to thank all of our sponsors for making this year's tournament a success. 15 seconds. Our title sponsor, North Point Bank, presenting sponsors, Head Pickleball, Papico Sports, Official Ball, Onyx, and the Dura Fast 40. The uh, Dura Fast 40. The head, ball, head. all of the pros. Yeah. Head Pickleball. Change and the six uh, point. The official Simon, footwear. Zero, zero, two. Jigsaw official hydration and endurance drink, and we'll get to more in a moment of our sponsors. Point. Who is a quick start more important to here in game three? Point, Do you, zero, you feel two. like anybody it's more important to? Yeah, I, I feel like if uh, Fleming and Derisi don't get off to a, a good quick start, this helps. Point. Then it could very well cost them. Yep, and good and lucky. In yeah. this case, the switch, the switch of sides at six points, could um, prove two, to be very important. Two. So, point. there you go. A quick three points up on the board for the Fleming three, zero, Derisi two. tandem. The drive and then the dink and then Fleming, the swinging two-hander, which Morgan loves up yeah. in the line. Yeah, let him do the damage. Well, Toma shaking head, nice point. Uh, but this team, Toma Four, zero, and Marariu, have to get going here. Again, that's not a ball Point. that you necessarily need to attack. That's his uh, his singles prowess coming out into his doubles game. Five, yeah. zero, two. And right into the right Side hip out. from yeah. Toma. Toma says, I apologize, but that was a... Uh, it's a sorry, not sorry yeah. situation, I believe. <laughs> Zero, five, one. Trailing by five. Fantastic hands there from Derisi. Set and serve. Yeah, we saw quite a bit of that in game one from Jose. Zero, five, two. And then the forehand. <coughs> So much of this is confidence, isn't it, Morgan? Yeah, right now, Fleming and Derisi are oozing it. I think they know deep Five, down they should have uh, should have taken game two somehow. Opportunity, Toma. Uh, takes advantage. Impressive it looking overhead. Yeah, it's going to be tough to lob over that guy. Mm. Five zero two. On the beautiful grounds of the Delray Beach Tennis and Pickleball Center on the Ave in downtown Delray. Morning. 
Going on court. What? Uh, it looked like a good rally shaping up there. It's a yeah, shame. I agree. To play the point. Big round of applause for the doubles action coming Going off of score. the third court here Five, zero, at the two. stadium. Nice crowd on hand here in the stadium and the courts to the south of us. Side out. Side out. And here is where you got to make a move, five, huh, one, if you're Toma and Marario. Yeah, they need to get onto the board before Fleming and Derisi get to six. Ooh, that's one Fleming Point. will typically drive for a winner. Yeah, that's an uncharacteristic one, error. Five, one. Maybe the break that the Toma team needs. Yeah, there's the second one, so you never count Mirja out. That's for sure. We learned that Two, watching him five, on Thursday. One. Yeah, he's a fighter. Oh, quick hands by Fleming. And that backhand serve. volley, well extended. Yeah. Quick reflexes by Jose. Yeah, it, it's a very difficult thing to to go away from your natural weapons like uh, Murici Morario needs to do here. He's, he's got an incredible score. forehand. Two, five, two. Whether or not he should use it so often is the case. Side out. A guy like Morario who... Uh, such an adept singles player. How much uh, practicing of, of doubles do you think he puts in? Five, two, one. I imagine it's still the majority, given that not many people actually play singles, so it's oh. hard to find, <laughs> hard to find uh, partners. Yeah. Oh. Point. And we've got an incorrect receiver there. Change ends. Unfortunately, and that's given a, a quick free point to Fleming and Dorisi. Uh, I think that's just a case of the players still uh, thinking about the lost point previously, focusing yeah. on something like that, and forgetting that they have a job to do. You gotta leave that in the past, focus on where they're supposed to be, and how they're supposed to uh, combat this next point. Well, certainly Fleming and Derisi will accept that gift with open arms as they switch ends. Getting back to some of our sponsors. The official insult. Zealous. Uh, zealous, of course. Actually, I tried them out uh, yesterday, actually. Yeah, it was like better? It was like walking on a, on a little um, a water mattress, water bed. I lovely. thought I saw you float into the stadium today, Morgan. <laughs> that was attached to balloons, but, you know. <laughs> and uh, PPR, official education and certification partners of the APP. Pickleball Magazine, official Pickleball Magazine. Could be a critical point here. Mm. Oh, set up well. Second serve. And Fleming drops his head. Hopefully, Derisi didn't see that. <laughs> but uh, beautiful two-handed two. two and one-and-a-half-handed dinks from Fleming. A little reset. And here just said everybody okay over there. Good I'm night, sorry. Irene. Yeah. Side out. Good night, Jose, in that <laughs> case. Did you know Irene, by the way? Yeah, yeah, met uh. in the uh, late 80s. <laughs> yeah, she was lovely. Two, six, one. Where are you? And Toma, two, six, one. Second serve. Two, six, two. Oh, that's 
quick. Beautiful hands. He read Point. that like a children's novel right there. <laughs> You have three That's points. quicker reading. That's why you mentioned the children's novel. Much, much easier. Yes, yeah. the correct server. I got through three of them Going this morning. <laughs> three, six, two. Uh, Dr. Evans. <laughs> Let me continue to push. Push Mirja out wide. Mirja is staying way back off the line. Mm. It's too much. He's, he's got great wheels, but if you look at Fleming, the efficiency of being able to take low volley Six, dinks three, out of the one. air, staying put, he doesn't need to put his 14,000 steps in in one game. Three, Second serve. Yeah, 14,000 steps, nothing for Mr. Marario, who uh, Six, three, two. helped coach his sister to a Wimbledon doubles final. She played with Lindsay Davenport. Fantastic point. What a point. And it continues. And Marari Yu Beautiful. and Toma will celebrate. Morgan Evans commentating Three, six, and one. running the usher podium here in this <laughs> section. Trying to keep a good view here. And another one. Point. He's tagged him again. And there's going to be a little pressure now. Yeah. Now that's... Quite an attack when you've got Mirariu and Toma coming Four, in six, together. One. Ah, Fleming mm. knows where to place Second that serve. ball. Very tricky. And Toma just coming in with his paddle a little too low. Four, six, two. Side out. A uh, big let's go and come on from the Fleming and Derisi side. Six, four, one. Six, four, one. by Toma. Second serve. That's exceptional dinking from <coughs> Fleming. Uh, it looked like he, he was setting up the point well, but great play from Toma to capitalize. And a nice little redirect from Araru. I don't think you're going to win a point Six, testing four, Fleming two. on the cross court dinking. False incorrect receiver. Ooh. That's another freebie. That's two point. gifts. Delivered yeah. to the Fleming Derisi side, and it just can't you you ill afford points. that. Yeah, it's just a just a matter of experience. Very rarely caught on the wrong side in singles. <laughs> Seven for two. Only Derario would have that type of recovery speed. <laughs> ah. Side out. Going for a bit too much there. Mm. Yes, we're gonna have to have a few words with Mr. Derisi. Four, seven, one. Well, your coaching doesn't come cheap, from what I understand. You. And, and well deserved, of course, Morgan. <laughs> Point. Still. Five, seven, one. Five, seven is the score. Hey, that's tough by Fleming because seven, Toma seven. put it right one, into that wrist area. Yeah. No, he's defensively very sound. And not many players are able to reset a ball from right up at the kitchen line so well. Yes, sir. We're coming down the stretch here. Game three. Five, seven, two. Five, seven, two. Every point pivotal now. 
Side out. They get a side out. Fleming and DeRisi comfortable in game one, 11-4. Marari Utoma fought hard to earn game Seven, two, 11-5. We've got some disruption in Morgan's section here in front of us, but we do see Marariu on your screen. Put that one away. And that'll be Derisi. Seven, five, two. Seven, five, two. Calling the score. Jose Derisi to seven. Seven five seven, two. Five, two. Where are you? Returning. Ah, tried that little Point. finesse dink. Yeah, you can ill afford that kind of mistake at this stage in the game. <coughs> Eight five two. And tough to test Fleming with this play. But Derisi, a little poach there. And yeah. it works out for Come the team. Come on, Palmer, team at 9 5 2, one minute. All right, we've got a timeout here. Fleming and Derisi in command. They are two points away from the match. Our official TV show for Pickleball, by the way, Inside World Pickleball. That is with Carl Foster, our co-chairman for the APP Delray Beach Pickleball Open. Cora Sports Medicine and Physical Therapy. We had a number of players seeking their assistance after the high temperatures and humidity on Thursday. They are the official therapists of uh, sports therapists, that is, of the pickleball tournament. And Kitsch. Our official apparel merchandise. So Morgan and I are both in our kitsch apparel again today. You look better in it than I do, that's for sure. CBS Sports Network, <laughs> one of our sponsors, Boxcar Productions. Of course, they do such a great job. Palm Beach Sports Commission, Hugh Def, USA Pickleball, Neo Pipu. And that. Put away apologies from Mr. Mori, are you? But he and Toma need to battle back here. Down four in game three. Oh, the Ernie defended. Again, remarkable defense. So oh. just to. Give away an easier shot. Another Ernie deployed by Mirja. Guy's got talent. Oh, talent and wheels. Just a matter of time before he is a, a serious force in the doubles game as well as singles. Earned the side out after point. the timeout. And now a point as they inch closer. Seven, nine, one. Ah. Second serve. Yeah, he was in decent position. It's a slid off his backhand side there. Seven, nine, two. Derisi with a big let's go as they earn the serve back with an opportunity to close this match. Nine, seven, he one. wants to put an exclamation mark on this one. Oh, Fleming. Second serve. Over anxious. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's so hard to con uh, control the adrenaline after a big point. You really want to follow it up with another big point. You forget uh, sometimes just to play the ball Nine, how you normally seven, would. 9-7-2, critical for Mariaru and Toma. 
And now they point. face a match point. Probably not a bad time for a timeout if they've got one to spare. 10, 7, 2. Match point, DeRisi. Or are you out wide Ooh. to keep Seven. it alive for his team? Very close. Very close, very clutch. 7, 10, 1. Let service. So it'll have to be. Second serve. Ferrario serve as he and Toma need three Seven, to ten, tie it. Two. Fleming. Yeah, it's not going to happen off that third ball, unfortunately. Floated way too far. Fleming saw it, looked for. And Ernie of sorts with a high four. Someone call the receiving team at 10 7 1. One minute. Okay, receiving team calls a timeout. Yeah, that's an interesting play as well. You don't often see the uh, receiving side calling the timeout. I like it though. Yep. You know, the receiving side does have a, a big advantage. They need to play a decent return and force a difficult third out of Fleming and DeRisi. And look to get the serve back. Going a little bit of a run. Yeah, finish off with uh, thanking our sponsors. We have uh, Pickleball Center. We also have Vulcan. And Vulcan, Babylon, of course. Never stop playing pickleball. Camps. You gotta attend those camps. Plethora of information, particularly when Mr. Evans is around. <laughs> Pickle play and the Pickleball Club. Receiving team, you have one timeout. You have no timeouts remaining. Serving team, you have two timeouts remaining. All right, here we go. Another match point Time for in. Fleming. I do love this. Ten, I do love seven, this refs action. One. Gonna make an addition to the broadcast. Maybe. Opportunity here. And that's it. Point. That's all she wrote. Match a little 11, cautious with Morariu and push that one into the net. Well, and exchange of pleasantries and a couple of apologies as this match did get heated a couple times, yeah, yeah. which just adds to the entertainment value. Terrific competitors. Yeah. Discussion of the hair <laughs> and how well it came into play during one of the early points. Some pointing, some... Uh, yeah. None of these players are uh, strangers to controversy. But in the end, a well-fought match ending at 11-7 in the third to Fleming and DeRisi. And it was Fleming and DeRisi 11-4 in the first. It was Marariu and Toma 11-5 in the second. And then the deciding third game 11-7 for Dave Fleming and Jose DeRisi as they continue on through the Seniors doubles bracket. And we will try to get the tandem up here for a post-match interview. But uh, exciting action. And what a, what a way to start the day here on a beautiful Saturday at the Delray Gray Beach Tennis Center. Big crowd on hand. Tremendous amount of excitement in the community. Uh, this America's fastest growing sport and just uh, you know, adding courts in the area through Boca Raton, Delray Beach, all of South Florida. The interest is just peaking continuously. Yeah, it's uh, a sign of the times and for this kind of venue to embrace the game really does show where we're at. Won't be long before every major venue on the, on the planet, perhaps, is hosting tournaments such as these. Yeah, this is true, and the APP, of course, the first tour to go to Europe. Uh, Ken Herman and the APP tour will be in England in July, right around Wimbledon time. And this is, don't forget, the first and only USA pickleball sanctioned tour, the APP. As we await the victors, Dave Fleming and Jose DeRisi. Uh, for the post-game interview as they continue to socialize with uh, Mary Aryu and Toma. Looks 
Looks like we'll have a uh, Scott Moore. We see Witzkin coming out on court. So, a yeah. co-ed doubles match, maybe? They, that now? Yeah, they, they played against each other. I uh, Maybe they didn't play against each other in singles. Witzkin taking the silver medal and bronze for Mr. Scott Moore. And we're going to take a quick break, and then we'll come back with the uh, Dave Fleming and Jose DeRisi post-match interview. and excitement is back with the APP Tours 2021 World Pickleball Open at PGA Village Verano by Coulter Homes in Port St. Lucie, Florida. 75 plus divisional events, men's, women's, singles, doubles, and mixed doubles, and the pro divisions with over $25,000 prize money on the line. Learn from the engaging pros at the Pickleball Strategy Clinics. For more information, go to worldpickleballopen.com or call 561-330-6000. And welcome back on APP TV. We are joined by the winning team, the Pittsburgh Steelers, victorious. <laughs> Dave Fleming, Jose DeRisi, terrific match. You really got it going. Terrific start in the first game. Came back very solid to wrap it up in the third. Yeah, the uh, you know, it's, it's fun to be on the court instead of behind the mic. So it's fun to get up here and be on the other side of these interviews. So thank you guys for doing this. Uh, you know, we, we played a really solid first game. And... Uh, then uh, Merch's forehand we knew was going to be a significant weapon, so we had to return well, and to get a 5-0 lead in the third game was huge. And then uh, uh, my boy and his awesome block, and Jose played great at the end, and we were able to get out of there. So it's, it's a bit, uh, we're excited to win. It's the first time we played together, so it's really fun. Really? First time you played? Okay. Well, you look pretty well-versed together. Uh, tell me, Having the first time playing together, was there any issues in the in the middle at all? Did you feel comfortable? Well, maybe a little bit because I think both of us played on the you know uh, odd side when we don't play with each other. So uh, that was a little bit of an issue, but uh, we tried to say you know whoever is in the middle uh, you know, with the forehand takes the middle, but you know sometimes that doesn't work when you are coming from behind. Yeah. Uh, Certainly. It looked like in game two, you guys got uh, very enthusiastic. You know, you started pulling the trigger quite early and paid the price because of it. it was that a... Possibly, possibly. No, look, you've got a wonderful uh, deceptive inside-out backhand flick volley, and you were able to catch... Um, uh, bo I think both players quite well with it. It's tempting to dip to that well many, many times, but it looked like in game three you were able to knuckle down and kind of do it a bit more by the book and allow your opponents to, you know, make the mistakes. You don't always have to win. Sometimes you just have to help your opponents lose. Yeah, we talked about that a lot in going into game three. If we bounced the ball in this match, we felt like we were in good shape. I mean, I'm happy to dink for an hour with those guys. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. you know, Jose's there to pick it off once they get sick of it. And I think... Uh, 
we couldn't afford to put a ball with pace in front of that because those guys both hit the ball harder than anybody. We just, you know, defend, be smart, reset it, and then go. And, you know, it, it worked out. You know, anytime your name goes to the right on the, on the draw, I'm excited. <laughs> so, uh, exactly. I got enthusiastic in the second game, absolutely. And these guys uh, are great players. So if I put the ball a little high, I, I pay the price. So, yeah, but it was a great game. I love it. Yeah, and rightly so. It's the sign of the level of the game uh, that everyone has to be smart out there. Uh, fantastic work, guys. Who, who do you think you've got next? Uh, don't know who won. Uh, John Sperling and Barry Waddell and uh, some other players are, are there. So it's going to be another great barn burner out here at the beautiful Delray Beach Open. <laughs> Perfect. Well, maybe you can jump back in the booth. <laughs> Thank you so much, gentlemen. Uh, good luck for the rest Thank of the day. You. Thanks. All right, guys, Thank moving you. to the right in the draw. And keep it rolling. Thank you, guys. Bye. DeRisi and Fleming marching on. We'll be back with the next match coming up here on center court, championship court number two. APP Delray Beach Pickleball Open here on APP TV on YouTube and Facebook. As we continue to roll here on a beautiful March Madness Saturday, and we've got Pickleball Madness here in South Florida. Thank you so much for being with us. Interesting matchup here. We've got senior open doubles and two Boy. of the best in Scott Moore and Rick Witzkin. They're matching up against Mito Unsense and Steve One, two, Kennedy. Two. Uh, we've got the grunting going from Witzkin and the body language. So entertaining to watch. Side that, out. That's when he's at his best, isn't it? 
Yep, when he when he's grunting, when he's uh, emotional, it brings the best out of him. All four players got fantastic hands. Zero one one. Now he's an Indiana guy, wet skin. He looks like he's sporting an Alabama hat. Hmm. Point. We'll, we'll have to have a, a chat about where his allegiance lies. <laughs> Uh, Scott Moore, the legend. Uh, we were fortunate enough to have him join the broadcast Thursday afternoon. One, one, one. Second server. Fantastic flick volley through the middle from Steve Kennedy. One, 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 of, one of the hosts here. Yeah. At the Delray Beach pickleball open. Side and there's Kennedy with authority. Uh, what do you expect to see in this match, Morgan? This is going to be an absolute battle. I think uh, all four players one, one, one. trust their hands so much that they're prepared to start a fight early. Uh, a lot of driving of the third ball we see already from Kennedy. Second server. Second serve. Or not at one. One, one, two. Right at the feet of Unsense, put away by Moore. Mito, definitely long and athletic looking. Yeah, I like the teamwork already from Moore and Witskins. That one, one, one. There was no confusion about who gets that ball. Terrific action. Fantastic play already. <coughs> That's barely 11.30 and we're seeing this kind of level. 2-1-1. One, one. Heating up here as the day goes on in Delray, as it usually does in this area, including it well Second into server. the evening. Witzkin uh, yes, made sir. a move Come pretty early. Through. Kennedy caught him out, putting the ball just behind him, forcing a very difficult backhand reactionary volley. And we didn't see that little dance move from Rick. We saw most of uh, his whole agenda, I thought, on Thursday, by his whole arsenal, but <laughs> that was an interesting maneuver. Always fun to watch. All right, guys, here we go. Resume play, 2-1-2. Two, two. That's a nice out. extension from Mito. He's got those long arms, yeah. but able to get that paddle out front. One, Morgan. two, one. Yeah, it was more there that started the battle very early from a disadvantageous position. Second server. Yeah, I believe he, he goes by Jaime. So uh, it's written Mito, but Jaime Unsens. Jaime, one, okay. One, two, two. I think I played against him once or twice a couple of years ago at the US Open. In doubles. Right out, thank you. Yeah, him and his his son are fantastic players. Well, hey, Jaime, one, Jaime one. looks young enough to play over at the open level, yeah, doesn't he? Does. He does. His son can't be older than ten. <laughs> <laughs> as young as he looks. Point. Ah. Handcuffed Mr. Kennedy, which isn't easy. Scott Moore with a quick flick. Yeah, it's interesting. A lot of these players looking to attack cross court if they if they see Red that server, yes. they're covering Three, the forehand one, middle. One. Oh, terrific defense. Oh, oh, wow. Right. No response to that power from Kennedy. Second server. Certainly point of the match so far. 
Three, one, okay, here we go. Three, one, two. Well, this has been terrific pickleball early on here. And it continues, that one drifts a little bit. Yeah, they played an out right ball out. to start with, and luckily left the second out ball. One, three, one. One, three, one. Point. Two, three, one. Two, three, one. Some clouds rolling in off of the ocean, but. Second server. Slight chance of rain today. Hasn't cut down on the crowds. So Slight chance of rain, two, but a three, great two. chance of amazing football. <laughs> We've already achieved that. Oh. And it's early. Splits the two Point. defenders, Kennedy. Again, very smooth. I love it how he just relaxes the wrist at that last moment. Gives the ball a little bit of top spin. Accurately places three, it through three, the middle. Two. As a host should do, really. <laughs> Sounds like there's a big Kennedy uh, contingency of fans behind him. Yeah, he's a, he's a local Floridian. Now listen to the crowd. This is a home Point. court advantage for the Unsense and Kennedy team. Now the ref told them to take their time. Meanwhile, they were in a full sprint, the courtesy right, from go. the ladies to try to well, that's not, part of not interrupt. Three, part of their warm-up routine. Yeah, like the Rafa Nadal <laughs> taking of the court, huh? Point. Well, this is high quality stuff. Five three two. Five three two. Right on the line with that serve. And then Kennedy, the drive right into the body of Moore. And he's used that to great time effect so far. And he's forced Result. a timeout. Thank you. Timeout on this side. Score 6 3 2. 6 3 2 will bring us to a timeout for Witskin and Moore. Ken Herman, APP president, bringing this terrific pickleball to the area. And Delray Beach Open. Pickleball co-chairman Carl Foster. And Carl and Ken helped organize this year this year's event in benefiting South Florida's nonprofit Thank You First Responder. Pickleball with a purpose to give back to our police, fire rescue, medical, and military veterans that are all our true heroes. That's a fantastic cause. All right, time in. Six, three, two. Kennedy serving to Moore. Woodsense and Witzkin. And no, uh, that around the post Side attempt, out. just a little wide, short as it's known. Three, six, one. How tall do you think Jaime is? He's I mean, I think he's the best part of 6-3. Yep. Ooh. He got away with that one. Witskin was overextended to play that. Uh, he knows. 4-6-1. Got, got that wry ear-to-ear -ear grin on his face. Mm. Second server. So Witzkin, uh, obviously a fantastic singles player as well. And we saw the kinds of shot selections in the last match Murice Morario was making. Witzkin also a very accomplished doubles player and has been playing the game for quite a lot longer. So I don't think he will be uh, falling into the trap of being overly aggressive. Uh, no, sir. That's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Quick flick. From Unsense. Moore and Witzkin. Just a quick brief word together while they wait for the ball. Boy, a lot of pickleball knowledge on that side, isn't there, Morgan? Mm. Oh, yeah.
short dinks. Uh, Kennedy with the angle. Beautiful shot. Yeah. Point. He had a lot of ways to win that point, and he chose the cutest. <laughs> it was adorable. Crowd agrees with you. 7 4 1. 7 4 1. Terrific little rally, and Kennedy with a pump towards his big fan base behind him. A four one. Kennedy and Unsuns have doubled up more in Witzkin at server. the moment. They have a second serve. Yeah, just a heavy slice there from Witzkin. A four two. Perhaps causing the miscontact from Kennedy. Point. Yes, sir. That's fantastic experience there, seeing the level of pace that Kennedy's forehand was going to impact the more paddle and letting that next one go. Nine, four, two. Oh, anything uh, up around the hip area and higher to Kennedy is danger zone. Ooh, ATP oh, executed, yeah. Scott Moore. Almost defended. Yeah, Jaime almost picked it up, but that will go on our highlight film. Scott Moore, the delivery. Witzkim with the Point. bigger grunt than put away, but it worked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's all bark and no bite. <laughs> Until he bites. Nine, nine, yeah. <laughs> you going to say that to his face? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Oh, off the tape and... Kennedy trying to pick it up. Yeah, it's good use of the net. <coughs> Six nine one. Second server. Six nine two. Six nine two. Warren Witzkin love to put a couple on the scoreboard oh, here. Right foot, sir. Point. And there's one of them. On a footfall. Right foot on the line. Kennedy. Seven nine two. Looking towards the ref, pleading for help. Not going to happen. I think he's saying this is my right home out. court. I can. <laughs> <laughs> More. He he went for something he wouldn't typically nine, go seven, for. One. Feeling enthusiastic. Oh, that's nicely done by Witzkin. Yeah, the big man on the left. <coughs> Nine seven two. Drive by Kennedy. Look at Ooh, on his knees. Wow. Proposal Jaime. Second one from his knees. Ten, seven, two. Of course, even on his knees, he's about 5'10". <laughs> Gets the line. Kennedy. <sighs> Witzkin says in. Kennedy thought it was Boy, deep. Was out. Ball was out. Official says it was deep. Yeah, Witzkin having a few words. Guys, you have two minutes. Mm. Well, the ref's no Hawkeye available. <laughs> no, from this angle, it did look like it just floated slightly. Okay. So, we've got to agree with the ref. You got better eyes than I do, Morgan. No question about that. Well, you say that. A few days ago, I realized I might need to start wearing glasses. So no, you saw my readers and said, "Hey." Yeah, it's a, it's a tough and emotional time for me, realizing my eyes aren't as good as they used to be. Yeah, but you could still make that solid contact with a pickleball. <laughs> with any luck. <laughs> and we've got a timeout here. Game one goes to Kennedy and Unsens. 11-7. But uh, really, this is high-level stuff. Oh, it's impressive. A lot of these guys here, uh, the majority have really only just uh, joined the 
the ranks of the senior division and uh, it shows their hand speed and athleticism around the court just fantastic so um, I could Im easily imagine them them competing very well in the in the pro division uh, and I'm just happy they're here in front of us and we've yeah. got the best seats in the house glad to be at your side Morgan and thank you everybody for joining us on APP TV we're on YouTube and Facebook uh, Lauren McLaughlin and the boys Dave Fleming probably back up in the booth after his doubles victory just a moment ago here on championship court number two also Dominic Catalano on center court coverage with Lauren and Dave we've got championship court two covered for you and to remind you this is the first time ever that two courts have been streamed at a pickleball right, tournament. Guys, game number two, time in, 0-0-2. And, and, and Carl Foster making that possible for you, along with Boxcar Productions. Point. That's a good leave. One zero two. Some dark clouds floating by to our south. Uh, sun is shining on court. Side out. Kennedy Kennedy looking to yeah. flick into the body of Witzkin. And he just Zero hovering one over one. the line there. His right foot moved with the volley. He's going to have to watch that. The referee's on top of it. Points. Now he's, uh, he's cautious of the line. We can see it now. He's uh, looking down. Yeah. He's been called once, and a couple of times he's been very close, if not on. So that tends to one, plague one, one. a player's uh, mind for a while. And we've got a ball on the court, just wandering through. We're tied at one here in game two. 11-7 was the final in game one to Unsens and Kennedy. And... Uh, in a very competitive first game. We here. expect nothing here we less go. here in game two. Second server. That's some strong risk. Wrist uh, follow through by Kennedy. And it doesn't take much to, one, for one, him two. to get that velocity, does it? No, no, he has a nice compact backswing. Out. And the best part about that, it means you're never sort of overcommitted with your follow through that you can't defend the counter punch. So players are more one, and more one, learning one. how to generate power from shorter distances. Second oh, server. That's beautiful by Moore. And Breeze just picking up one, here. One, two. Yeah, all of a sudden, off of the ocean, we had. Gus will be on this all Point. day Thursday. Two one two. Two one two, Kennedy. And Utsens. Right on the line. Oh, terrific Fantastic. movement. <laughs> and uh, a shout of woo. <laughs> and then the applause from the big fan base. That's Steve Kennedy. Very impressive. Yeah, he moved it. well with his partner there. Yeah. Three, one, two. I think Witzkin needs to start that Ooh. groaning again, don't you? I think so. I, no, oh, it's getting I'm very nice. He's going around there. I can't. I'm watching him over here. I, ne I can't see that over here. I'm watching. Witzkin having some uh, some choice words with the ref. Yeah. He thought he had a couple of Point. shots missed. He's a competitor. And in fairness, Kennedy was uh, very close to the kitchen line over there, as he danced around Four, one, to two. play an inside-out dink Ernie. Stop. I got it. I got it. Here, sir. Stoppage. Ball there, sir. 4 1. Goes across. The ball so there. A great match starting on court three over there. Simone Jajim right, and Four, Catherine Parentel versus Leah Jensen. And 
Lauren Stratman. Another okay. left. Replay. That's going to get frustrating at some point. Four one two. Four one two. Steve Kennedy. Right on the line with the serve. Scott Moore with the reach. Yeah, he knew he had a chance to be aggressive with one more shot as uh, Jaime Unsens was still establishing himself right up at the kitchen line. Thought he could get a uh, one, four, one. an easy counter punch out of him. A lean over flip, and then a Kennedy puts it away. Mm. This is a tough tandem, isn't it? Very difficult. Moore traditionally loves to play on the left-hand side and uh, will typically stack right to right make that happen. In this case, he is relinquishing that privilege uh, and responsibility to Rick Witzkin. All right, here we go, one, four, two. One, four, two. Witzkin up, right on that kitchen line. Fantastic. Wow. So good. And we just see there Onsen's doing a better job of stealing time, staying a little closer, using his length uh, to take the ball a little earlier and choosing to redirect. Four, one, one. Not out of desperation, but out of tactics. Onsen, those on. reflection, yeah. reflexes are on point. Yeah, he's got a fantastic body type for the game. Long and lean. Uh, great power to weight ratio. 5 one, one. And that ball just sent into the stands. A Second potential server. souvenir for one lucky customer. <laughs> But given back Five, nicely. One, two. His partner has a uh, beer in her hand. <laughs> there's beer and fantastic food to go around here. And terrific pickleball play, Fan. all available here at yeah. the Delray Beach Pickleball Open. That's impressive and very aggressive play. You know, this is in stark contrast to a lot of Six, one, two. senior men's pro matches upwards of a couple of years ago looked like a different story. And ball behind you, sir. Another let. Ball on court. Another let. We're going to play it again. We'll replay that point. It was 11-7. Unsen and Kennedy in game one. They have a comfortable no, lead here in game two. Uh, yes, you are. All right, here we go. Six, one, two. Side out. Side out. And this is the spot. More Witzkin. Uh, they certainly understand that. One, six, one. There's one of them, Witzkin. Yeah, he needed that one. Trying to fire up his team. That's so important now that they make a move. Two, six, one. Second yep. server. Good angle by Kennedy. Witzkin applauds him for that shot. Two, six, two. Side out. Uh, Jaime uh, 
tough target to take advantage of. And he's got he's just his length up at the kitchen line is so formidable. Time out on this side. One minute score six two one. Time out. All right. God, this is shaping up nicely. Yes, it is. Well, the Association of Pickleball Professionals, APP Tour, proudly welcomes you to the second tour stop for 2021, the North Point Bank, Delray Bank, the Pickleball Open, also presented by Head and Papico Sports. This year's event is co-hosted by Lee and Anna Lee Waters, along with Steve Kennedy, whose team is trying to wrap up this match. Uh, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors for making this year's tournament a success. The title sponsor is North Point Bank. And presenting sponsors, Head Pickleball, Papico Sports. Head Pickleball, the official footwear. And, of course, our official ball. Yes, it's the Onyx and the Durafast 40. They're using two different balls in this one, one for the pros and one for the amateur divisions. And I like that. I'm going to call the score now. Six, two, one. Moore can serve her. puts it on the scoreboard. Six, two, two. Well, that's right just out. two terrific points by Scott Moore. Earning the side out. Two six one. Ah, and just wide. Point. But Thank just you. just touched it by uh, yet. Yeah, unfortunately, caught some part of the Unsen's paddle or Three, body. Six, one. Can change his direction, goes up the line. Yeah, it's rare, very rare with a two-handed backhand to be trying to play with that level of slipperiness. And uh, <laughs> Witzkin just playing to the crowd there slightly. Yeah. That's good for the game. Witzkin. Four, six, and he knows one. that crowd behind him. Uh, really pro Steve Kennedy, the local favorite. And Jaime. Uh, Witzkin getting demonstrative. And that's where we've seen him at his best throughout the weekend. Five, six, one. Four straight points for a team Witzkin Moore. Unsent ends that. Yes, yeah, that rush of blood that uh, Witzkin is capable of. You know, when he plays a couple of great points. It's Five, easy six, to two. assume you should keep doing high-risk stuff. Oh, ooh, very close. Point. Kennedy looks to the official. The ball was clearly out from here. Clearly out, out, is that? Ball was out. Well, we have to agree with the ref on that one. Tough to see from this six, angle. Six, two. Always agree with the refs. Also clearly out, even more clearly, I should say. <laughs> Plenty of daylight between that one Seven, six, and two. the line. It is now six straight points. Make it seven. Point. There should be a timeout approaching fairly soon. Eight, six, two. Ball hanging in the air. Point. That's a fantastic job there from Witzkin resetting that ball. Just chipping that oh. backhand perfectly into an awkward location for Kennedy. They're just doing it uh, a bit more by the book there. Nine, six, two. Doing the basics much better than they were. That's the difference. Point. That helps. Draws the air. Yep. It appeared Nine, to be six, all two. Kennedy 
And Unsen, for a while, 11-7, they were up 6-1. Looked like they were going to cruise to victory. And here we go, heading two to game three. Come on, two minutes. What a comeback yeah. for Witzkin and Moore. Drastic turn of events, I'd say. Well said, Morgan. As we will head to game three, Witzkin, he's got to bring a, a heavy wardrobe. He's got the shirt change every <laughs> game. So we got to get him some apparel, and we know to look who to look to. Kitch, our official apparel merchandise. Uh, two game, 20. <laughs> We'd also like to thank CBS Sports Network. They will be recording tonight the, uh, the women's pro final, as well as Boxcar Productions. That's the production team that's bringing you this telecast. Yeah. Cheers, folks. They bring us a Spencer Laurent. Yes. Palm Beach Sports Commission. Hugh Def. USA Pickleball. New Pipo. Vulcan. And Pickleball Central. As well as Babalat. Never stop playing pickleball camps. Pickleball play. And the Pickleball Club. We appreciate all those fine sponsors for making this event happen. Thank you so much to the sponsors. and Ken Herman, president of the APP. Carl Foster, co-chairman. Should also mention Jigsaw, official hydration and endurance strength. Zealous Time. official in Seoul. Pickleball tournament camps. The official, in. Zero, zero, two. Uh, excuse me, pickleballtournament.com is the official software. Ball, left foot. Left foot. Well, that's Left true. Football. Yep, yeah, half an inch over the line. That's more than enough. One zero two. We'll see if the momentum continues to be on the Witzkin Moore side. Game three. Witzkin. Very nice. And that's one of those few times that Scott is uh, aggressive off a low backhand volley. Two, zero, two. Momentum such a huge part of pickleball and sports right out. in general. But you can just see it shift here. It was all Kennedy and Unsen. Zero, two, one. And now Witzkin and Moore making a stand. That's uh, a good leave there from Kennedy. He thought about it, but recognized that uh, Moore was contacting that ball well below the net height. One, two, one. Not, a, not a great chance to get that much top spin to bring it down in. Oh, what a point. Impressive play there. Point. Moore just put himself out of position slightly, assuming he could finish the rally from the center of two, the court. Two, and the ball got drugged behind him. Yep, finding the opening. Yeah. Sense. Moore looked for an Ernie there and left that giant opening. Three, two, one. Oh, what a pickup by Jaime, but he couldn't do it again. That was that is a brave man right there. Yeah, remarkably tried the uh, behind the back volley. There is a lot of brave men out there with bruises. <laughs> Look at this action. They both wanted that one. Point. Kennedy relinquishing, uh, <laughs> reluctantly relinquishing rights to the high Backhand slapping Four, volley two, two. from Jaime Unsens. And Unsens and Kennedy seem to have righted the ship here. They out to 5 I'm 2 out lead. Side, Time out, it. Moore Four, and Witzkin. Five, two, two. Some storm clouds. 
to the south. Hopefully we will stay dry here. Sun remains peeking out. We are in game three. It was 11-7 in the first. The wind picks up in our sponsor sheet. Sails into the stands. 11-6 in the second, back to Witzkin and Moore. Coming up next on this court, we're going to have a fantastic match in the men's pro doubles. Steve Deacon and Deckel Barr versus Patrick Smith and Jusseline de Villiers. Now we are back in action here. Championship court number two. Point. That's number six. That is the That's sixth point. Six. Switch sides, please. We'll switch it up 6 2 in favor of Kennedy and Unsense. So we're going to see now how much the side, excuse me, <coughs> the side is playing a role. In the previous game, Moore and Witzkin rattled off a, uh, a bunch of points to steal the victory. Good point. And now they've got that side again. So we'll see how much of that is All impacting right, go, the game versus here the momentum. Six, two, two. I believe they ran off 10 straight in that game, too. Witzkin getting up there. Side out. That's fantastic. And did a good job of getting that smash to land deep in the court. Two, six, one. A body language on that, sir. Stop, stop playing. Uh, we'll have a ball on court. Here we go, two, six, one. Kennedy, the attack. Side out. And his Blow fan up. base loves it. Your, your call. All right, here we go, two, six, two. That's tremendous by Jaime. Point. Moore and Witzkin come away with a superb point. Yeah, beautiful hand speed there. Three, six, two. ATP by Moore, defended by Unsen. Point. Yeah, it's reflective of the quality of play. Uh, it was only you know, six, eight Four, years six, ago two. where ATPs were fairly rare. <laughs> well. <laughs> These days, not only are the ATPs common practice but the defense of the around the post shot also All right, here we go. Six, four, one. more and more uh, prevalent oh you can't pass it to your teammate uh, Steve Kennedy <laughs> getting fired up there he's trying to match the enthusiasm from uh, Rick Witzkin yeah that's how you matched him there Seven, four, gives one. them a seven four one lead. Second oh, what seven. a shot by Moore. Seven four two. Third and deciding seven, four, game two. of this match. Point. Make it eight four. Moore looked down at his feet there. He wasn't sure if he was overcommitted with that right foot. Eight, four, two. Had, a, had a couple of inches to spare. Side right. out. Too good from Scott. Side out. Four, eight, one.
Second server. Great angle by Kennedy. Yeah, he, he has that forehand cross court rolling dink that draws an opponent even further than they imagine. Four, eight, two. Another ball on court. Four eight two. Good recovery. Point. All right. Drawing it back nicely. Five eight two is the score. Five eight two. Side out. Eight five. And side out here with eight, Kennedy serving. Driven into the body, Moore almost stuck that difficult volley, but Kennedy, you know, in sense, inching closer to victory, two Nine, points five, away, still on the first serve. Kennedy, that's a big fantastic ball. play. I'm watching him jump the line, Scott. Yeah, I think he jumped it delicately enough. Yeah. We're watching in the replay, yeah, he looks safe there. Fantastic play, Kennedy. Way to step Ten, five, up one. from the host. Match point. Second server. That one just floating wide. A moment Ten, five, of reprieve. Two. Send Kennedy hoping to wrap it up on this serve. It'll have uh, to be now. Unfortunately, another ball on the court. Ball back here. Yeah, send it over. All right, here we go, guys. 10 5 2. 10 5 2. Match point. That's too quick from the long armed Jaime Unsens. And he and his partner, Steve Kennedy, wrap it up in the third. After winning the first 11-7, second went to Moore and Witzkin 11-6. And 11-5, our final in the third game. We'll be back with the winning team shortly after this break from the Delray Beach Pickleball Open. Would you like to take your pickleball to a whole new level, attract better partners, have more fun, and play to your maximum potential? I'm Scott Moore, number one senior player in the world, 20 plus time national champion. We've decided to create the Pickleball Masterclass, encapsulating all the principles, skills, drills, and strategies that we teach in our clinics and camps into one comprehensive video that you will be able to watch anytime, anywhere, at your convenience, over and over again, to develop Pickleball Mastery that so few are able to obtain. So instead of going out to the court now and practicing and playing the same old way, Treat yourself to an invaluable gift by making an investment in your pickleball. All you have to do is click the link below and we will see you on the inside. If you like to dink, then Pickleball Magazine has what you're looking for. Our bi-monthly print publication will help you become a better player with instructional tips, drills, and articles from the top teaching pros in the sport. And you'll become a healthier, stronger player with psychological, nutritional, and wellness advice from experts in their fields. Finally, if it's product reviews or the latest news, we have that too. To learn more or to subscribe today, go to pickleballmagazine.com. Go again, until you strike just right. Until the ball sings. Until the other guy blinks. Until the court's clear and the sun sets. Until you see it in your sleep and wake up swinging. Go again. Till you can't miss. Until you can't lose. Go again and again. 
Home financing doesn't have to be puzzling. Whether you're looking to purchase a home or refinance, North Point's low competitive rates, client-focused service, and streamlined process make sure you have the right loan for the right home. The branch team at North Point Bank works hard to ensure you have the best information to make the best decision to put all the pieces of your financial puzzle together. There's a better way to do financing. Connect with the brand team to learn more today. Welcome back, everybody. Back at Delray Beach with the winning team, Unsens and Kennedy. That was really spectacular pickleball, guys. Uh, both teams, that was fun to watch. Uh, we had a lot of fun out there, right, yeah. Jaime? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I love to compete, and when you have a, a good partner like Steve, it's always fun. Fantastic. So it was a it was an aggressive battle, no doubt about it. You've got four players on there that love to leave it all out in the court. Um, not as much of the typical you know, dink for 45 minutes and hope for the best. There was a lot of uh, hand speed exchanges. Do you both trust your hands against both those players or were you reluctant to pick on one of them? Um, I don't think we were isolating anybody. We were kind of just moving the ball around in general, right? Uh, yeah, and it's always, I like to, to when they speed it up a little bit. And I knew that Scott uh, and Ricky, they like this game as well. So uh, I was sure that was, was going to be a big battle. And, and we like that we, we, we won. <laughs> <laughs> yes, history is uh, written by the winners, as they say. <laughs> you won game one pretty handedly. Game two, you had a bit of a nap. What happened? Well, I mean, look, me and Jaime have, have partnered up for most of the tournaments this, this season. And, you know, Jaime knows when I go to sleep, I go fully to sleep. <laughs> okay. So I'm a guy that needs energy. I need to be pumped up. When I'm pumped up, I'm as good as anybody. Fair when enough. I'm, when I'm sleeping, I'm done. So... Yeah. yeah, and it's tough to pump, uh, pump him up. Now I'm 50 now, you know, I'm getting old. It's tough to keep the energy high. <laughs> <laughs> but did. you have the crowd on your side. Yeah, <laughs> so this, this is my hometown. So I'm the host of the tournament. So it's really good to have a lot of my friends, my wife, my kids. And, you know, it's just special to be home. And, and, and we're in the finals now, right? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's really great to be here. Who do you uh, expect to meet in the final? I would expect uh, Waddell and, and I had no idea. John Sperling probably know. on the other side. And they yeah. look they look good early, yeah. but uh, from what I just saw, my money's on you guys. Um, oh, thank you. Depending on how much nap time you can get in between now and then, maybe a siesta. Well, dude, a nap is on my agenda every day, and this every is about day. the right time here. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, you've chosen a, a good man that can reach around the bed and uh, still put away That's a couple well, of volleys. Jaime, look, he's a world-class tennis player. He's top 20 in the world in tennis in the ATP back in his day. He's the captain of the Brazilian Davis Cup team. The guy's got, uh, you know, accolades that go beyond just pickleball here. <laughs> Beautiful. Like I told you before, I love to compete. It's nice. I, I miss the competition when I stop playing tennis, and I find the pickleball really, really special. Fantastic. How's your son doing? I know you guys, he's he plays good. very he's, well uh, as well. He's a player at FGCU. He's playing tennis there. Okay. He's a freshman. He's happy. It's a nice, nice university. He's, he's really happy there. Fantastic. And Steve, you're one of the hosts here. How did that come about? Um, well, this is my hometown, so I was born and raised here. Um, I've been with uh, Ken and the APP from the beginning. Uh, they are a fantastic organization. I really hope people go out and support 
the whole tour event. Uh, could be something really special going forward. And uh, look, I just like to help out. I, I love to play this game. I love to hang around with guys like you. You know, we're all competitive folks, and it's nice to be able to be 55 again and be back in the game and feel those those highs and lows. And Beautiful. There is. Well, it was a pleasure to watch you play. Uh, go and rest up, have your nap, and we'll see you back on courts shortly. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you. Thank Congrats, you. guys. Thanks, Great guys. job, Stephen Jaime. All right, we'll be back for the start of our next match here on Championship Court 2 from Delray Beach. Homes, the rules are simple. Grab your paddle and always dink in the kitchen. Dink in the kitchen. Remember where you are. Pickle. Coulter Homes is the home of pickling. Smash and poach on dedicated courts in resort style and active adult new home communities across the southeast, including PGA Village Verano and Port St. Lucie, home of the World Pickleball Open. Pickle. Learn more at coulterpickleball.com. Wait, let's call it. Number <laughs> two. Welcome back, everybody. First point of this men's open dubs. APP Delray Beach Pickleball Open. Zero, zero, one. We've got a great one for you here on championship court number two. Deacon and Barr against De Villiers and Smith.
What a rally. De Villiers ends Second it. Second server. Already we see a lot of patience being shown from all four players. Zero, zero, two. Zero, zero, two. Deco bar. Kennedy the rip. Oh, tried the Ernie with a backhand. Interesting. Point. One, zero, two. That's a great defense of the around the post. Yeah, it's given a side zero out one quickly. One. Zero one one. Yeah, tremendous action so far. Second server. We've already seen a couple of ATPs. Stretch and Smith. Fight. This match is certainly going to be played in the highest spirits of the game. All four players, uh, just some of the nicest people you'll see on the court. Fierce competitors. One, one, two. <coughs> Patrick Smith, deep service. Right on the line, another ATP, oh, and ATP. Patrick Smith was ready. He was, he, that ATP was floating long, but uh, he played it anyway, and thought he had a good, two, uh, one, good look at it. Oh yeah, inside in. Ooh. Off the tape, and got Smith in mid jump, big smile from Patrick. Uh, Deckel will take it. We're seeing already Deckel Bar being assigned to the left side. That team stacking. Second Off of the paddle, uh, Bar. Pat so second serve. Patrick getting fired up early. One, two, two. He needs it. Side out. Didn't get a lift there. Steve Deacon, so we got a side art out. Two one one. Two one one. Yeah. Wow, great Play. exchange won by Smith and Devalier. Great hand speed. There's a lot of players that can have, you know, quick hands, but getting a, a heavy ball on it every time as well is a difficult thing to do. One, but one. Uh, Pat makes it look easy. Three one one. Fight. Ooh. Yep, dangerous spot there. Yeah, Patrick says, uh, "Are you okay, mate?" Yeah, that's concerning for his unborn children. <laughs> Just wide, helped out by the wind that is going across court, east to west here through the stadium. Another thing that wind is doing is blowing that terrific aroma of that great food cooking behind us, Morgan. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to survive this whole match. No. Yeah. Out hey. wide, a big celebration from the yeah. Smith they've Villiers. Cert they've team. certainly got the lead in fire and the, and the scoreboard. Five one two. Oh. Incredible. Deck will take that. He just yeah. flipped at it. On paper, this match is incredibly even. I I wouldn't want to pick uh, who's gonna win this one. Steve Deacon. One five one. Probably the most consistent player 
out there. Point. Beautiful drive from Mr. Deacon. Two, five, one. Uh, that one, a couple of uh, let points for that points for the Deacon yeah. bar looks, team. It looks like he's uh, realizing that just playing steady isn't going to get this job done, and uh, he should be looking to drive a few thirds. Three, five, one for Deckel Bar to get in there and do some damage as well. for the body yeah tough to to redirect the ball to such a narrow target you've got a couple of very tall players in front of you 6-2 and uh, I believe 6-3 in Jusselin de Villiers 4-5-2 And we're even. Point. The general tactic for most teams that come up five against five uh, Jusselin de Villiers and Patrick Smith is to target the Smith backhand especially, but he has worked so hard. At Point. That's three of those yeah. for the Deacon Bar. Lux on his side. side. And they have it's seized five, the two. lead. Receiving team, the score is 7-5-2. You have up to a minute. Timeout, De Villiers and Smith. And with a name like Deckel, you've got to be a pickleball star. Right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. I uh, was on the court with with uh, three of these guys yesterday doing some practice, and uh, Patrick was nice enough to give me a, a lift to the venue and was asking what, uh, what kind of advice I'd have for him and Jay going uh, Jocelyn, otherwise known as Jay, going forward. And I said, wow, I'm going to need to see you play at least a match. So I'm really happy to see them out in front uh, in, in front of me here. Yeah, taking notes. Taking, yeah. No, they're, they're just you know, the nicest guys out there. I'm, uh, I'm a big fan of both those two. And, well, Steve Deacon's been a longtime friend, and so has Deckel Bar. So I, d I don't really want anyone to lose this one. <laughs> I hope the referee has a good game. We'll just say that. Yeah, there you go. Well, the viewers certainly aren't losing watching this one. This is uh, high quality, highest quality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could easily see these these two teams uh, in the final of the Nationals. Nice exchange. And the run continues for Deacon Barr. And again, drop volley. Great speed from Deckel. Yeah. That's recovery speed. Yeah, Smith just getting uh, a little upset with himself, the young man from New Zealand. <coughs> Born in Germany from mm. New Zealand, though. Mm. Clips the tape. That lob falls behind. Barr follows it up on the attack. Nice maneuver by Deckel. And drives just wide. So finally, a side out for Smith and Devalier. Many would argue that uh, Deckel Bar has the, the biggest forehand in the game. So if he gets a chance to let it off the leash, he relishes that. Point. Six, ten, one. Well, 
backs up against the wall. But yep. uh, six ten. Second server. Hammers his paddle. Does yeah. Devillier? Steve Deacon. He. He just almost refuses to make an error. He doesn't take a lot of unnecessary risks, but he's so solid. But good teamwork there. A couple of nice backhand volleys. Yeah. Bar and Deacon a side out, and they can wrap up game one right here. That will do it. 11-6, game one goes to Steve Deacon, Deckel Bar. And we'll see if Smith and DeVilliers have an answer in game two. They started hot. Yeah. Certainly had some room momentum. But unfortunately, a couple of loose errors and that quick momentum shift. Unfortunately, uh, a great team can turn that into a five or six point swing quickly. Yeah, Deacon at Bar had uh, three points off of the tape of the net too early it kind of got that momentum swung in their direction and then they just took over yeah i'd like to see uh, smith and de Villiers start to cool things down a little bit you take a look at steve deacon's bio the 40, canadian 46 years young He's the kind of player that uh, I believe when he does qualify for the senior pro division, he won't just jump on board. Uh, he'll look to run with the Bulls for as long as he can. Talk about a versatile athlete. Yeah. Tennis, soccer, baseball, squash, and golf, and a pickleball pro. And he's a good man. There's no yeah. doubt about it. And, uh, a lot of people, and I, I think it's almost unanimous now, say so he's got the best hair in the game. It is unfortunately covered at this point, and he's growing it out. He's got almost a, uh, a Last of the Mohicans style when he takes the hat off. Well, possibly we could see that in the post-game interview. Oh, we'll give it a go. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. You know, you, you often have to pay for that. Um, <laughs> Well, you might have to still. All right, right. Yeah, take I'll, the hat off. I'll see what I got. I'll Venmo him. <laughs> oh, I would gladly give you the ball. <laughs> Player's just requesting the ball. <laughs> might need that. Somewhat zero, zero, critical two. in the game. Game two. And good way to start for Smith and DeVillier. Quick and side out. They made an immediate change there. They had uh, Patrick there, there, on the left. It looks like just for the return of serve, though. Nice. Slight miscommunication. Right. One, zero, one. Just yeah. missed it wide. Yeah. I do love how well both uh, Jusselin de Villiers and Deckel Bar, as tall, big tall players, uh, I think both approximately six foot three, they managed to compress their body so well to kind of negate the disadvantage of, of being a tall player. Um, I think you know, if there is only one disadvantage, it's going to be the mobility. Yeah. By getting that low, not only do you maximize your reach into the kitchen, uh, but you give yourself a great chance to have the legs loaded enough to push off. A big shout out from De Villiers. Yeah, that's, that's defense at its best. A couple of big overhead smashes fielded well. 
by the Smith de Villiers team. Two zero two. A pause on center court, so much of the crowd scrambling over to championship court two here with court you're watching to watch this high level doubles action. Zero two one. Steve Deacon, just rock solid. I think he, he missed a dink once. It, it was during the Reagan administration. <laughs> <laughs> just incredible play. One, two, one. Oh, great reflexes by Five. Smith, but Barr and Deacon able to capitalize. We're tied at two. two, two one. Right into the body of the big man. Yeah, great, count, great counter punch there from Smith. <coughs> Redirected it into the two, backhand two, two. side of Barr. Two's are wild. And drop volley, scrambling, and then the put away by De Villiers. Here we go, it's the stick, then the carrot. <laughs> Very impressive to know when to uh, just take all the pace off and force a lot of movement from your opponent. Five. A little much time there off of the net. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Second server. Tremendous volley. De Villiers just firing from the hip. Unfortunately, it was at a, a height below the net that made it difficult to get Three, that kind two, of power two. to stay inside the court. Side out forehand, and that one right falls out. short, hung up in the wind a bit. Mm. But a great stick volley there Two, from three, Deacon. Chip of charge, Deacon driving the ball. Switching back to two hands after the one hand stab. Yeah, he's having to do quite a lot of work in the middle. They do have good middle management, but I'd like to see them uh, see him allow Patrick to redirect that ball over to the bar forehand side or even the, the left foot of Deckel Bar. Just to mix things up. Three, three, one. Deacon is not going to cough up many high balls. Nice exchange there. Second serve. Tied at three. three, three two. Side yep. out. Good touch by De Villiers. Side out. Yeah, it's um, borderline graceful that inside out. Uh, yeah. Forehand dink, very eloquent. Three, three, one. The French national. Supposed to be eloquent, really, if you're French. Oh, yeah. Of course. It's got to be classy. All the art form, pastries. Mm. Oh, croissant. And the Ernie pays off to Villiers. Beautiful. God, he read that so early. Mid-air, making contact. Beautiful form. That's the kind of level it, that's going to be required if they're going to really make a meal of this one. Four, three, one. A 
Nice chip and charge by Deke. Tried to be a little cute there, as is tradition for the big man, but unfortunately, it's, uh, it costs him on occasions. <coughs> Players departing court three. Hold up uh, our court two for a moment. Call out yes, and the resumption and score by the official here on Championship Court 2. Oh, outstanding out. sequence. Side out, yeah. Bar Deacon. De Villiers got a nice high backhand to do Three, four, what he wants with. That's uncharacteristic error. There's that bar oh, forehand nice. that Morgan referred to could be the biggest in the game on display there, setting up his partner, Steve Deacon. Four, four, one. Quick one. reflexes. Very Tackle quick. bar. Wow. He's got him right in the chest. Right into the body again. Terrific defense. Lob overhead. Ernie just deep. Well read there by the Villiers, but that will force a timeout. As Barr and Deacon continue to build. They lead it 6-4 here in game two. Yes, it looks like uh, the steadiness and counter-punching of Deacon and Barr, that's what's separating the two at the moment. Just taking 10% less risk, uh, allowing their opponents to make the first move and either sitting on it, being ready with fast enough hands to, to force them, or waiting for the implosion. And that's happened a couple of times now. Um, De Villiers has, has tried some very creative shots. Once in a while it works beautifully, looks great. Um, good unfortunately it doesn't work every time. De Villiers. From Wichita, Kansas. Yeah, there's a lot of... Is that in France? <laughs> it's, yes, it's the, the French <laughs> Wichita. <laughs> um, so no, Patrick and uh, Jocelyn De Villiers, they, they live very close, they're great friends, and I think they'll be together winning pickleball tournaments for many years. Patrick is 10 years older though. ATP, we've seen a number of them here already in this match. And there's Barr. Fantastic, just there, ready and waiting. Beautiful work from Deacon to reset the point. The composure of this duo, Morgan, very impressive. Yeah. Second server. <coughs> There's the big forehand. Deacon Play. had to try to recover. De Villiers kind of overcompensated for it. He thought he had the yeah. wide he, open court. He looks like a man who thinks he needs to be perfect to win this match. Um, realistically, he just needs to be a great 90%. Deacon up, and that, that is, is successful. First, uh, I believe that's the first unforced error from Deacon. Um, 
since the mid-90s. <laughs> Critical time for the DeVillier Smith team. Second server. Yeah, tough to beat Steve Deacon up there at the kitchen. Very difficult. Keeps a nice compact swing. He's worked very hard on his physicality. Right, two. At the age of 46, he is the senior to all these players. Quick reflexes, Patrick Smith able to save that point. Yeah, good hands. I think he got a, a second hand on there, two-handed block. Five, eight, two. Yes, you are. Right at the feet of Devilliers. Look at this exchange. Smith again. Very nice. Had his paddle high enough there to be able to get down on that forehand. Fantastic play. Hits towards the towel. Looks like he's doing a fair amount of sweating. Six, eight, two. Offering just one ticket to the gun show. <laughs> yeah. And the charging of the net, and they've got three straight points. And that, right uh, back into this one. Yeah, that kind of error from Deacon doesn't happen. It, that shows that there's a fair amount of pressure being applied, and he's feeling it. Seven, eight, two. And there eight. is another one. We are tied at eight. I foresee a timeout if there's yeah, one more just error. Gonna here. Ask you. I think should uh, it come now? It looks like Deacon is getting a little bit um, eight, irritated with the the toweling off. Critical point here, we are locked at eight. Point. As they time continue out, their momentum, here three, comes a timeout eight, now. Two. And yep. if you were coaching, would you have advised a timeout before this point? Yes, 100%. Yeah. Um, at the moment, something seems to be frustrating you. That's the time to know you're not capable of making your best decisions out on the court at that time. And uh, just a little breather, a couple of big deep breaths. Give yourself a good chance to reset, halt the momentum, hopefully get uh, a relatively easy point to work with as soon as the timeout is finished, and then regroup. This is five straight points for the Smith de Villiers side. It is such a game of swings, this uh, this crazy pickleball thing we do. Uh, Smith all fired up now. Uh, the Rafa Nadal look with the perspiration and the jersey pulled up to tank top level. <laughs> Time in. Nine eight two. 9 8 2. Let's see what happens out of the TO. Timeout. Villiers explosive at the line. One point away. Uh, there's plenty of fire there. It's going to help them get over the line. Ten, eight, two. Game two point. And everything going their way now. What a run. They run off seven straight points to send this to a third game. Fantastic comeback for those two. I didn't have it picked after game one, but yeah. they pulled it off nicely. Well done, you two. So Steve Deacon, Deckel Barr, who looked to be uh, really unbeatable there through a game and a half. Uh, we'll be forced to settle this in the third game. And uh, we know we're going to get 
some quality play coming up in game three. We've been privileged so far. We sure I have. imagine it will continue. So Devillier Smith to keep this energy and momentum going. Yeah, I'm going to be very curious to see if this level of energy and the amount of celebration, the amount of, uh, of excitement they show after their winning points, you know, that's, it is a double-edged sword. Um, when you look at someone uh, in the tennis world like Roger Federer, it doesn't show a whole lot of emotion after winning. Right. And because of that, on the other side of the scale, when, you're, when you lose a tough point, you're never having such an emotional swing that it affects you. Because, unfortunately, uh, you know, if you win one great point and really show that much excitement, but uh, you lose three straight after that, the depression you could slip into can <laughs> cost you four or five more. Yeah, you don't want your peaks and valleys, right? Peaks and valleys, that's it. You've got to limit those peaks and valleys. And sometimes that doesn't sit right with players when they are emotional people. up a bit for De Villiers. Let it bounce, you hear them all the way up here. Beautiful setup, finished nicely. So going back to the previous game, and that's exactly what Barr and Deacon needed. But they have run off nine straight points and lead here in game three, 2-0. There you go, big roar from Deco Barr. You don't see that often from the bar. Maybe a little response to what yeah. uh, the other team has given him. Exactly. I think um, he's feeling a little left out with uh, the roars of excitement. One, two, one. Great Molly yeah. Smith. Of that out ball. I cannot clearly see that. Maybe we can I see the replay there. Let's take a look. That. Right yeah. up the line. I did not clearly Ooh. see that ball. Ooh. That is a tough one to call. Can we see the replay again? Let's see if Spence can cue that up again for us. Nope, can't. But that is, that is a great firm work, though. Great work. We still love you, Spence, but uh, come on. Yeah, Morgan wants to go to the Hawkeye there. <laughs> Looks very close. Not for us to judge, perhaps. Two, two, one. Game three. Looking for that ball to come in on. Smith pegs. Bar right in the leg. Up the line, oh, that one Hi. did appear Ooh. clearly wide. He tried to show the, uh, the level of confidence that would inspire an in-call, <laughs> but apparently it was wide. Three, two, two. Three straight for Barr and Deacon. Side out. That did break a nine-point run. Two, three, one. For Smith and DeVilliers. Uh, three points going back to last game. What a pickup by Deacon. <laughs> and with the left hand, but no paddle in it. Yeah, that's unfortunate. He forgot to put the paddle in that hand. Went full southpaw. Three, three, one. Uh, oh, I'll recall the score. Three, three, one. Three, three, one. Does get line off of the net. Oh, so good by Barr. Yeah, there's Second so server. much power on that. Second server. Three, three, two. Yeah. Staying through that forehand. Oh, 
Ernie, but defended well by Patrick Smith. Yeah, it's one thing to defend the Ernie. It's another one to place a volley in such a good location that uh, you end up winning the point there and then. Great play. Four, three, two. Villiers like to have that one back. Yeah, he typically loves that shot. The backhand slice dink looks lovely. Three, four, one. Chip charge. Oh, a couple of uh, rare mistakes by Team De Villiers Smith. Yeah, Smith instructing himself to move his feet. That's exactly one, what's four, required one. there. Stop that left foot getting peppered. Good bend there to dig that. Big forehand, swinging volley, but the defense is up to the task. Certainly excitable. Four, four, two. Oh, Deacon. Great paddle speed there, accelerating through that drive. Five, four, two. A lot of English there. Yeah. Right into the body. Side out. Well, this is the first lead for Barr and Deacon since early in game two. And it looked like Barr was considering letting that one go and just couldn't retract the paddle quickly enough. I think it was probably going in, though. And they return the favor right in the body. They can't get out of the way of those. Well, the weather just beautiful right now. The skies are clear. Yeah, you couldn't ask for better conditions right now. Gentle breeze. Big swinging volley from Deco Barr. Five, four, one. That hung up there, but unfortunately, uh, that's uh, I'm gonna recall this that hurts. Ball. They were in full command there. Yeah. Terrific close. Barr is uh, he's made a noticeable four, effort to to, a to increase his uh, excitement level on good points, trying to match the enthusiasm from Smith and De Villiers. Well, he has ignited his team, and they lead it six four on the changeover here in Game Three. Deacon Barr took Game One eleven six. De Villiers Smith on a seven point run. One game two, 11 8. Now, this facility just looks extraordinary. Ken Herman, Carl Foster have brought this magnificent pickleball tournament to Delray Beach. At Delray Beach Tennis and Pickleball Center now. You are good. And we'll have Come Barr in. coming in, Six serving four, to Smith. 6-4-1. Watch out for the big forehand. Jumped up a little bit off of that ball. 
second server. Six, four, two. Ernie sets that up. Put it away with authority there. Terrific teamwork. Side out. Side out. Four seven. A little bit of side wind affecting that ball there. Yeah. Just holding it up. Fantastic touch at full stretch there. And it's amazing the kind of level of dexterity that uh, Five, seven, all four one. players maintain when fully stretched out into the kitchen. Look at this defense. What a point. So amazing four. play. And that's as good as it gets. Pickleball at the highest order. And the crowd certainly appreciates that effort. Big crowd watching. Championship court two right now. Just as the wind's starting to pick up a little bit. We'll see which team can manage that the best. Five, seven, two. Bar backing up. A lot of emotion out on this court. Six, seven, two. Looking for the tie. That's quick. Lovely. He's thread the needle through the middle there. Seven six one. Seven six one. Hammers that. Second server. Second serve. Good return by Smith there. That power on the forehand from Deacon. Seven six two. Side out. Tried to hit it even harder, but right into the net. That's a couple of those. It's not uh, it's not typical for Steve Deacon. Six, seven, one. Oh. Seven, was that called out? Yes, it was called out. Unfortunately, I'd like it to see the uh, Hawkeye on that. <laughs> Uh, it looked so good until it didn't. Side out. Yeah, that wind wind just influencing that one as well. A couple of side outs at the seven six mark. Seven six one. Let let I'll recall the score. Redirect from Barr. Right at the feet. Ball there and right when Smith had the put away opportunity. 
Yeah, that, break. that's happened when the uh, the sides were reversed as well. Deep into the corner. Nice backhand volley from De Villiers. Second serve here. It is 8-6, 2. Big forehand. Opportunity taken advantage of by Deacon as that ball arrived above the waist. Timeout, De Villiers Smith. Yeah, that looked to be a product of just the, the quality of Dink from, uh, from Deckel Bar there. It forced a redirect from De Villiers, and Deacon was there to capitalize when it just floated a couple of inches too high, too far. And with the kind of power these, uh, these guys possess, that's all you need to put something away through the middle. Well, at 9-6 in favor of Deacon Barr, De Villiers Smith, what's the strategy here? Try to come back and close this out here in the third. Yeah, I mean, this is the point where your your goal has to be just no easy easy points. You uh, have to make your opponents fight so hard for everything. If they are going to win it, then you've got to make sure it's on their paddle and not yours. One second. We are good. Time in. Nine six two. 9-6-2, deep service. Big forehand right up the middle, one point away. Yeah, just caught them on the switch there. It's a risky time to be trying to, uh, to switch. Match point. Deacon with a backhand That's and it. the winner. They almost won that one twice. There was an out ball hit. But a fantastic match, incredible play from all four players. So it is Deacon and Barr advancing in the bracket. 11-6, 8-11, 11-6. They're going to be back. They're going to be playing the winners yeah. of uh, Andre Daescu and Eden Laika versus the brother team of Colin and Ben Johns. Well, that should be extraordinary. We'll have that for you here from the APP. Delray pickleball open. Sports, where a passion for pickleball, performance on the court, and the preservation of our planet come together. We designed our paddles with a terra grit surface texture to maximize spin, ergonomic octagonal grip, and a bioflex face that is stronger than fiberglass, offering better vibration dampening than carbon fiber. It's a paddle you can be proud of. We created the first ever sustainable, high performance paddle made 100% in the USA. That's what we are made of. What are you made of?
And we are back with the winning team. Steve Deacon, Deckel Bar, guys. What a match that was. Emotions started running a little high. There was uh, quite a bit of a exuberance out there. Exuberance is a, is, a, <laughs> is a pretty good word. Yeah, for sure. You know, like it was uh, hard fought, uh, you know, right to the end. It was a, a few points here and there. We felt like we were in pretty much control, like, you know, up a game and 8-4. And, you know, I got, you know, you, you can sometimes get a little tight. The hardest thing to do is to, to close out a match sometimes. So uh, I, I thought we did well in, in game three to kind of compose ourselves and, and, and get back on track. So, obviously, you're playing against a couple of guys who, you know, they really leave it out in the court. They're mm -hmm. very, very emotional out there. And, Deckel, I noticed uh, towards the latter stages of the match, you were trying to, you know, match a little <laughs> bit of that. It's, it's typically, you know, you're cooler than the other side of the pillow. And uh, <laughs> on this occasion, you, you really let some go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess uh, when uh, matches get a little bit closer and I'm trying to kind of get more emotional, get more fired up it helps helps me with my game get loose and be more aggressive when i need to just be more be sharper um yeah just emotions come when it's uh, a close match for sure and it also helps the partner out as well you know <laughs> like when you know i started game three a little sluggish and uh, deck ripped a, a an inside out forehand for a winner on on our first point of the game and i was uh that, that kind of got me settled in again and i love the big roar from the big guy so <laughs> yeah makes a big difference um, so Steve there was a, a run of two or three very uncharacteristic errors in uh, towards the latter stages of game two yeah. could you tell me wh what what was happening there yeah you know and, and I, I, I think um, y y you know it was a, a combination of a couple of things the the wind was swirling a little bit there on me and and I was just gripping that paddle just that that little bit too tight and and uh, I got a little bit tight uh, you know to be perfectly honest it happens uh, to, to all of us and lucky I have a partner that can can kind of pick me up yeah but uh, the, the conditions got a little tricky in the stadium um, the, the wind was swirling so we'd see a lot of I guess the best way to say it is like knuckleballs mm. um, you know so they kind of handcuffed me a, a little bit but yeah definitely uncharacteristic and, and we'll need to clean that up in the winner's bracket final for sure so you guys are going to be playing the winner of the match behind us right now uh, the Johns brothers versus uh, Daescu and who? Like it. who are the first I missed couple? Well, yeah, there's a couple of newcomers to the game. <laughs> and I think his name is Benjamin Johns. I don't know. Um, seems, okay. young, seems young. I think you guys will have that one. Who would you All like right. to play in the final? Um, doesn't really matter. It's always fun to play Ben and Colin. Uh, Eden and uh, Andrea are playing great as well. Uh, always fun to beat Ben and Colin. doesn't happen very often, <laughs> but... Uh, Anyone that's good. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for your time, gentlemen. Rest up, maybe grab something to eat, and we'll yes, see you sure. back on the court shortly. Thanks, guys. Thank Great you. Great job. Thanks. Good luck. All right. Steve Deacon, Deckel Bar, marching on to the finals. We'll be back here on championship court number two shortly from Delray Beach. To Dink, then Pickleball Magazine has what you're looking for. Our bi-monthly print publication will help you become a better player with instructional tips, drills, and articles from the top teaching pros in the sport. And you'll become a healthier, stronger player with psychological, nutritional, and wellness advice from experts in their fields. Finally, if it's product reviews or the latest news, we have that too. To learn more or to subscribe today, go to pickleballmagazine.com. Pickleball action and excitement is back with the APP Tours 2021 World Pickleball Open at PGA Village Verano by Coulter Holmes in Port St. Lucie, Florida. 75 plus divisional events, men's, women's, singles, doubles, and mixed doubles, and the pro divisions with over $25,000 prize money on the line. Learn from the engaging pros at the Pickleball Strategy Clinics. For more information, go to worldpickleballopen.com or call 561-330-6000. Home financing doesn't have to be puzzling. Whether you're looking to purchase a home or refinance, North Point's low competitive rates, client-focused service, and streamlined process make sure you have the right loan for the right home. The Brandt team at North Point Bank works hard to ensure you have the best information to make the best decision to put all the pieces of your financial puzzle together. There's a better way to do financing. Connect with the Brandt team to learn more today.
And welcome back, everybody. APP Delray Beach Pickleball Open here on APP TV. Ari Shanock, Morgan Evans. Morgan's uh, just getting his steak lunch over here. And we'll give him a couple of moments, but we do have the senior pro doubles women's final for you here on championship court number two. We're ready to roll. And it is Leslie Bernard and Helen Wilhelm serving against Kim Kessner, Mary Helen Atkins. Second serve. Second serve, nicely done by Atkins. Thank you. Oh, welcome back, One, Morgan. Two, I know you two. can't go out where the food trucks are because you are a VIP celebrity around here. <laughs> Couldn't even out. get into your food line. Yeah, well, it's a curse and a blessing. <laughs> and we've got the women's senior pro dubs. Yeah, this is the winner's bracket final. Yep. The winner of this will head on to yeah, the gold medal one. match. And Kessner serving to Wilhelm. Right into the body of Wilhelm. One, one, one. Ones are wild. You heard the ref, Bob Swisshelm. Gets upstairs and taking Point. advantage is Mary Helen Atkins. Two, one, one. Nice scoop by Kim Kessner. Swinging volley of beauty from Bernard. Yeah, Kessner looked great in the transition area there, resetting the ball very well. In the end, not enough to ward off the attacks. Two, one, two. Yeah, nicely directed Point. there by Kessner. Yeah, it's a beautiful flick volley. She's got a lot of power in that forehand, in that backhand, sorry. Three, one, two. Couldn't Side make out. that tough short hop. Yeah, unfortunately, Bernard uh, played an out ball there. Very difficult to be able to always tell what's going in and out. One, three, one. One, three, one. Helen Wilhelm serving. We've Second got serve. a Wilhelm. We've got a Swiss helm as the ref. And as long as you're uh, Mr. Wilhelm from Seinfeld, I know you're a big <laughs> Seinfeld fan isn't here, we're, we're okay. <laughs> Drop volley, good hustle, but then Kessner. Side out. Beautiful. Yeah, I do love it when the players recognize uh, another player, and an opponent that's too far back, and elect to drop that Three, fourth one, or one. sixth ball. Second serve. Just forcing a lot of movement. Second Three, serve one, will two. go over to Kim Kessner. Atkins right up the middle. And Kessner Side out. pulls it out wide a little bit. One, three, one. Kessner displaying all the shots here in this point. Second serve. One, three, two. Wilhelm drives that ball. Excuse me, Bernard. Right out. Wilhelm just getting a lot onto that two-handed backhand. Unfortunately, just spraying it wide. Got a great amount of power to be uh, to be used. Three, one, one. 
three, one, one. Women's main draw final. Point. Mary Helen Atkins with some authority. Yeah. Bernard just caught in transition while she was moving backwards. It's one thing to be there. Four, certainly one, not, a, one. not a problem to be in that area, but got to be stable. Good depth there. Atkins and Bernard exchange takes. Nice lob. Just Point. missing the line Ooh. from the paddle of Leslie Bernard. Yeah, and there's a lot of ways they could have won that point. Didn't Five, need one, to be perfect. One. Point. Time out on my left, one minute. That was an Four, impressive six, third one, shot one. there and a warranted timeout, certainly. And Leslie Bernard let Kip Kessner know that was a terrific shot and that her team gets a Left timeout. Hit. Yeah, certainly another match that's going to be played in uh, in wonderful spirits. Yeah, it got a little heated in the uh, men's doubles open in our prior match here on championship court number two. All in good competitive nature, but certainly you know, the girls won't. Uh, there will be no scratching or hair pulling in this one, I think. You mean, unlike uh, girls' junior tennis? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. We can see on the far court there, Dave Fleming and Jose. Time in. Six, Doing one, some damage. One. Oh, beauty. Nice. What a lob. Fantastic. And touch lob. from Leslie. Second serve. Yeah, having the presence of mind to be able to play that shot when it's uh, a deliberate attack Six, as one, opposed two. to an emergency. It's fantastic. Little um, two handed, two handed volley. That lob kind of got away from the paddle of Bernard. It set up an easy overhead Point. for Kessner. Yes, it wasn't the tallest lob. And Kessner. Seven, one, two. Running it away nicely. Oh, fantastic hands. Testing that backhand side Point. of Kessner, and she is up to the task. Yeah, and she f almost fed a uh, relatively easy forehand volley to Wilhelm. Eight, one, and two. I think Wilhelm was possibly expecting middle. Kessner, that quick backhanded volley. Another Not great lob. She's using it to good effect. So far, two out of three have uh, have borne fruit. One, eight, one. <coughs> Off the line. Second serve. Tough pick up for Helen Wilhelm. One, eight, two. One, eight, two. Good drive by Wilhelm. Kessner, so steady. Point. Second point of the match for Wilhelm and Bernard. So they try to make a statement here two, early. Eight, two. Beautifully placed. Right There's out. the touch. Man. We've seen the whole package from Kim Kessner. 
Yeah, they're, uh, it's a bit of a, a taste of your own medicine. Uh, lobbing over Wilhelm. Uh, it's not, hey, the, not the easiest one. thing to do. She, she's uh, an imposing figure. Yeah. It's good height. Yeah. Point. Draws that one wide. So, all Kessner and Atkins thus far. Nine, two, one. Tough serve. Second serve. Good patience there by the team of Bernard and Wilhelm. Yeah, they defended very well, got themselves back into the point. And didn't didn't pull the trigger Nine, too early. Two, so two. Very good. Driving that forehand up the middle and drawing the air. Well done by Leslie Bernard. Hear the voice of Carl Foster, the co-chairman of this Two, Delray nine, Beach one. Pickleball Open and the voice of the Delray Tennis Center and Pickleball Center. And Carl's an avid player. Second serve. Kessner just handcuffing Bernard there. She was preparing for forehand, quickly got flicked into the backhand side. Two, nine, two. More show of uh, terrific sportsmanship if Helen Wilhelm applauds that last shot of Kessler. Oh, look at the reflexes of Kim. Yeah, she makes it look easy Side up there out. in the kitchen. Yeah, no, very quick hands. Nine, two, one. Two points away from a quick game one win. Second Ooh, serve. They were almost let off the hook there. Nine, two, two. That uh, drops. Oh, sweet swinging Side backhand out. from Wilhelm. Yeah, plenty of power. Good direction on that one. Two, nine, one. This is quality play. Oh. Second serve. Just struggled to draw it back down into the court. Two, nine, two. Drop volley. All right, good out. placement by Atkins. Nine, two, one. And first serve with two points to go for game one. Yeah, good Second job serve. by Bernard. That was not an easy lob, kind of backpedaling. You had the wind to deal with and the sunshine. Nine, two, two. Well, that's some great food here, huh, Morton? Oh, yeah, I'm struggling to stay on the mic. Yeah. Ooh. Side out. Helen just presented enough bait for Atkins to take a swing at it. Fortunately, it wasn't quite there. Two, nine, one. Second serve. Didn't quite get underneath that ground stroke enough. Two, nine, two. Point. Third point up on the board for Bernard of Wilhelm. Yeah, Kessner just looking at the court there. Seemed to have caught a, uh, a funny bounce. Never quite know if that's anything Three, but the nine, two. one of the holes in the ball. Very 
stepped it. Moving that ball around is Atkins. Side out. Puts you in an uncomfortable places, doesn't she? Yeah. Now she does a great job of utilizing the whole court. And they got a the chance to run line. away with it here. Second serve. Well, Wilhelm and Bernard have been able to hold on here. Nine, three, two. Kessner and Atkins has had two empty service trips at the number nine mark. We'll see if it becomes a third. Another lob. Oh, terrific play. Look at the defense by Wilhelm. And that's still happening. On and the line. <laughs> Wilhelm and Bernard definitely stepped up their play. Who's going to pull the trigger first? Off yeah. the line, it's a good one. Wow, that's an incredible time to to make that play. Best point of the match there. You have three. So three empty service trips for three, nine, one. Kessner and Atkins as Wilhelm and Bernard continue to battle here. Not giving up on game one. I mean, if anything else. Point. Morgan, this is an important statement to make before the second game. Certainly. No, you, you don't want a, uh, a team to feel like they're going to be running the show throughout the whole thing if you can avoid it. So important to put a bunch Four, of points on the board. One. Second serve. Still have a serve remaining here. Yeah. Will help get no. the no, it's good laugh three. out of that, upset with herself, but Four, nine, could two. smile about it. Yeah, it's pickleball. What's not to love? And nobody's going to return that smash from Kester. Yeah, great power. Let's see if they can't close it out here. 9-4. Nine, nine, four, four, Atkins serving to Bernard. Terrific exchange Point. put away by Kessner. Ten, four, That's one. that uh, Steve Kennedy fan base you hear over on the far court. Uh, he mentioned his uh, immediate family, but I think he's brought at least 100 fans, good Minutes, friends ladies. and family. <laughs> and then we wrap up game one. Kim Kessner and Mary Helen Atkins taking it 11 points to four. 11 to four, but not before a tough battle to close that game one out. We'll see if that translates into game two for Bernard and Wilhelm as they started to play a much higher level towards the end of game one. Really testing and pushing Kessner and Atkins who had it pretty easy throughout the first two thirds of that first game. And we have seen throughout the tournament that that particular side does seem to have a, uh, an advantage uh, based on the general direction of the wind. So that will be uh, on the other side now. We'll see if it plays a role. The Association of Pickleball Professionals this is the APP Tour, and we proudly welcome you for the second tour stop of 2021, the North Point Bank, Delray Beach, the North Point Bank uh, Pickleball Open, presented by Head and Papico Sports. This year's event is co-hosted by Lee and Anna Lee Waters, along with Steve Kennedy, who's playing on the far court at the moment. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors for making this year's tournament a success. Our title sponsor, again, is North Point Bank. Uh, presenting sponsors, Head Pickleball, Papico Sports. Head Pickleball, also the official footwear, Jigsaw, official hydration and endurance drink. Zealous official insult. PickleballTournament.com, the official software, PPR. 
official education and certification partner. And the official Pickleball Magazine is, of course, Pickleball Magazine. Game two, time in. Official zero, TV show, zero, Inside two. World Pickleball with Carl Foster and Cora, Sports Medicine and Physical Therapy, along with Kitsch, official apparel merchandise. And we are underway here in game two. Point. Already a fantastic backhand from Bernard. One, zero, two. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. Some hair related uh, One, zero, two. incidents happening there. Inside out forehand. Side out. Right. Returned by Atkins. Side out. One point on the board for zero, Wilhelm one, one. and Bernard. Yeah, well Point. executed there by uh, Atkins. Yeah, it's an unexpected place for a, a power volley to go, a short angle cross court. One, one, one. Drop volley. Kestner goes up the line Point. and then to the other side of Fantastic. Wilhelm. She took a real chance on that low volley, rolling it up the line hoping that uh, Helen Wilhelm wasn't as Two, ready as one, she should one. be. And it paid off. Lassie Bernard said, good shot. Second serve. Nice pick up there by uh, uh, Leslie Bernard. Second service. Two, one, two. Two, two. one, two. Yep, they left it upstairs, and taking advantage is uh, Bernard. Two, uh, two. One, two, one. Oh, good quick hands by Wilhelm. Ooh, ends up earning a point for point. her team. Yeah, it was an early lob that paid off again. Ball. Certainly curious to see if she was planning to do it on both sides of the net. It looks like she is. Two, two, one. Lob swinging overhead by Kessner. She yeah. has quite an arsenal of shots to in go to. Indeed, that one... Uh, Looked like a bit of a sky hook there. Yeah. Two, like two, that. two. The old Kareem mm. sky. <laughs> yeah. That backhand Point. swinging volley is effective for Helen Wilhelm. We've got a, a ball game here in yes. game two. Very competitive, as was the end of game one. Three, two, two. Splits the two defenders. Very nicely done by... Atkins. Yeah, it's tough to read. Uh, even from up here, it's hard to know where that ball's going to head. She Two, hasn't got three, traditional one. sort of tennis strokes. Yeah, rip that one. Handcuffed. Point. Bernard did Atkins, and a point on the board for Kessner and Atkins. Three, three, one. I'll recall. Three, three, one. Ooh. ATP just wide. It was a lovely thought. Yes, it was. Good effort uh, for the drop from Bernard. Three, three, two. I 
another great overhead there from Kessner. Point. Yeah, they're having a hard time getting it over ahead. Get the paddle up quickly. Four, three, it's a two. great timing, Kim Kessner. Defense here. See if it pays off and that drifts out. Very nice. I do love how Atkins is really peppering the middle. It looks like uh, Wilhelm Five, three, and Bernard two. need to be protecting that a little better. Side out. Kessner thought she would get a piece of that action and look for the uh, the middle as well. Unfortunately, those Three, were a little five, high to one. be effective. 3-5. Second serve. Get the feeling this could be an important second serve as the momentum Three, has five, shifted two. back to Kessner and Atkins. Yeah. Oh, nice Point. pick up, swinging volley on the move for There's Bernard. Kessner is indicating that uh, she saw the ball coming on the court. You, you want to call distraction? I, I, did, I didn't hear the call distraction. I think she's okay yeah. with them taking the point. So let it go. That's good sportsmanship. So that, that's fine. You have the right to call distraction. It was, it was, it was before. So, so what happens is that if I see it coming in the back, I'm not going to call it unless it's a safety issue. But you guys certainly have the right to call it. And 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 no, no, it was before she made contact. Just a quick discussion so here about the, uh, the timing of when so, distraction can be called. So we will replay that point, that rally. Because. Kim Kessner didn't call so it throughout the rally, is clear, it is, uh, but is indicating on this side, that five on this side, it did hinder serve. her play. They will replay the point. And I wait. Well, I, I that was not. I was not calling the score. No, no. And and that's not a fault because I had not called the score. <laughs> I was I was giving the score in a different manner. Okay. I just wanted you to know where we were. All right. Well, we'll we'll get there eventually. All right. I think we're ready to go. Big smile Three, for five, Leslie two. Bernard and Helen Wilhelm taking it well. Drop volley. And that's and good that night, sets Irene. Up the overhead. Beautiful. Five, three, one. Oh, beautiful yes, angle. Sir. A little side spin there, Morgan. Fantastic shot. Yeah, it does create a, a real difficulty in the bounce challenge. Five, three, two. Ooh. Just side deep out. side out. The whole the team of Kessner Atkins have really started to notice the available options through the middle. They're possibly dipping in that well <coughs> one too many times. I, if I was them, start working that shot. But as a dink, you know. Three, five, one. Second serve. It's like Steve Kennedy and his partner have Three, wrapped up five, the uh, senior men's winner's final. Double bounce. He's going Side talking out. to his crowd back there. Unfortunately there for Bernard, we are sticking five, with the three, traditional one. one bounce rule. <laughs> Kessner a drive. Nice attack. Second serve. Ellen says sorry. And she's very sorry. The hand on the head. 
I think she genuinely means it. You mean unlike the men's side? Five, three, unlike two. the men, yes. <laughs> <laughs> At best, it's a sorry, not sorry. Point. Uh, it looked like that wind just held it up just enough. Dave, you ready? <coughs> and we've got a referee coming through here. Six three two. Six three two. Referee crossing and Point. Morgan Evans lunch crossing. They can't see that. You don't have to tell them. Seven three <laughs> two. Seven points. They're four points away from a win. Point. Helen Wilhelm trying to inspire her partner, Leslie Bernard. They try to battle back. Eight, Trailing 11-4-8-3. Point. Well placed again by Atkins. On yeah. my left, on she my has right. a, One minute. a great Four, level of nine, precision three, on those dinks. Yeah. So far, I would say she's the best dinker on the court at the moment, placing it where she wants. And uh, I think between the between the two of them, the tactical brain they possess um, to basically move our, their opponents, open up gaps, and expose the middle if need be, looks like it's the difference maker. The serve of Kessner has also really impressed me. Um, Wilhelm also has a, a solid serve. Looks like uh, it's the the basics making sure your third shot is relatively unattackable at, at best a a low volley that's hit up over the net that's given them plenty of opportunity to level the playing field up at the kitchen line 15 seconds and we've got a good healthy lead at the moment at 9-3 senior pro doubles winners bracket on my right, final one remaining timeout on my left you have both two points away from wrapping it up is Kim Kessner and Mary Helen Atkins. It wasn't easy to close out game one. They had a large lead at the end of game one as well, but uh, Wilhelm and Bernard would not let up. Time I'm in. sure we'll see the same Nine, fight here. Three, two. Got Point. the ball she was looking for, yeah. did Atkins. Yeah, she had to work hard for it, though. She had a couple of fantastic reset volleys that kept her in the point. Ten, three, two. Point, game and match. Uh, wraps it up, 11-4, 11-3. Game match, Kim Kessner, Mary Helen Atkins. Thank you. Great Thank play you from much. all four ladies, but uh, it did seem that the Kessner Atkins duo had all the right moves. So they'll be moving on, awaiting uh, players to meet them in the final. So they're guaranteed either gold or silver. Congratulations to them for that. Uh, we should be able to have a word and visit with uh, Kim and Mary Helen coming up. Uh, we'll take a quick break here from Delray Beach, Florida.
again, until you strike just right, until the ball sings, until the other guy blinks, until the court's clear, and the sun sets, until you see it in your sleep, and wake up swinging, go again, till you can't miss, until you can't lose, go again, and again. And we are back with the uh, Senior Pro Doubles uh, winner's bracket finalists. You go through the winner's bracket, take that one really uh, in command all the way through a pretty dominant performance. You guys must be pleased. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we stuck with the plan, and I think we executed. So. Beautiful. Yeah, The for me, it looked like your serve was on point. You're putting quite a lot of energy into the serve. Uh, is that something you, you work on quite a lot, or is it just your it natural? Is. natural? Um, I, I try to aim, you know, specific spots and try to put more pace on it. So I do work on that. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And Mary Helen, those dinks. My God, you, you found every corner of the court. It looked like your precision up at the kitchen line um, was a real difference maker. I think when you, when you really started to attack the middle, noticing that they weren't well versed in who was going to take those, um, and giving you a bit of a buffer, uh, standing a couple of feet back, it was the uh, the low-hanging fruit that helped you really pick them apart. Yeah, we discussed that, and uh, the plan was to move them around middle and the side, and I know Helen's really strong on that cross court, so we were trying to move Leslie to the outside. Yeah. Yeah. No, certainly. I mean, you understand your opponent's uh, biggest weapons well. It looked like you were able to stay away from the, the two-hander of Helen, uh, Wilhelm pretty well. <laughs> Try to. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So who do you think you're going to meet in the final? Um, I would bet probably Helen and, and Leslie. Yeah, I would too. Oh, so we're going to get to see a rematch. That's right. Yeah. I yeah. think so. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Are you two planning to play more tournaments together? For sure. We want yeah. to. Yeah, it seems just, like it's yeah. working yeah. well. Signatures it right well. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The yes. <laughs> um, yeah I got her coffee this morning. <laughs> she did. That's, <laughs> that's a start. That's, that's a great start. <laughs> I didn't get any coffee. Well, I know, what happened here? I, know. <laughs> I guess you don't want to play. I wouldn't buy him coffee. No. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to play with me? All right, fair enough. <laughs> um, the other thing, your overhead. It was a couple of sky hooks, but a bunch of overheads by the book as well. But either way, you got so much power on them. Oh, uh, I was surprised that they kept trying to lob. Uh, after those uh, bullets came back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I played volleyball in college, actually, so I think that oh, helps a little bit. Okay, so yeah. you're getting out there, mm -hmm. yeah. spiking your life away. Yeah, so that's right. <laughs> <laughs> this net, I can get it over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you've heard of the new, the 2020 rules. They're raising the net by nine feet. Are they? Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. So good luck with that. We'll check your vertical. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's, that's not, <laughs> there's no vertical whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you two, well, we'll let you rest up. Congratulations again on your win of the Winner's Bracket Final. And we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank hey, you. Thank Appreciate you very it. much. Thank you. Great Take job, care, guys. Right. Thank you. Okay, Thanks, we'll be back with our next match coming up on Championship <laughs> Court 2. For 40 years, Papago Sports Surfaces has been providing expert service and supplies for any court surface, from resurfacing to building from the ground up. The growth of pickleball is doubling every year. Court equipment for private residences, court seating, and court maintenance from tennis, basketball, tracks, and now pickleball. We're actually doing indoor, private, um, public facilities. There's, there's really no limit to what people are converting now. Official court surface of the APP Delray Beach Pickleball Open. PapagoSportsSurfaces.com.
like to dink? Then Pickleball Magazine has what you're looking for. Our bi-monthly print publication will help you become a better player with instructional tips, drills, and articles from the top teaching pros in the sport. And you'll become a healthier, stronger player with psychological, nutritional, and wellness advice from experts in their fields. Finally, if it's product reviews or the latest news, we have that too. To learn more or to subscribe today, go to pickleballmagazine.com.
We are on championship court number two. Arishana, Morgan Evans, a uh, little break. We've got another match coming up shortly, but uh, what a day here at the Delray Beach Pickleball Open. Outstanding conditions, outstanding matches on every court. We've got a big crowd here in the stadium. It's been a fantastic day so far. And uh, obviously today the, the wind isn't wreaking quite as much havoc as it was the other day, so we've been able to see the highest level of the game um, both in the men's, women's, senior and, uh, and pro divisions. So we are lucky to have the best seats in the house. Looking forward to the next one. Yeah, we're going to have a bunch of medal uh, rounds coming your way here on uh, Court 2 over the APP TV along with uh, Court 1 center court coverage. Uh, we're going to check the... Uh, APP Tour Road to Miami. We'll show you some of the big tournaments coming up. And uh, started out in Punta Gorda. We're in Delray Beach now. And uh, just this, this road looks impressive, doesn't it? It's a yellow brick road. <laughs> yeah, so we'll be heading over to uh, Cincinnati. May 13 to 16. And on to Indianapolis. I have not. Have you been to Indianapolis? I have driven through it a number of times as a native Ch Chicagoan. During the 500? Uh, yeah, well, I wasn't going quite that fast, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I have been pulled over in that area. But Brilliant. Yeah, we want to talk about it. The Los Angeles Open is after that, June 10 to 13. Uh, myself and Kim Jade, a good friend of mine from the Coachella Valley, we are hosting that one, so that'll be fun. Please don't miss that. And then right. uh, not uh, far away. for my invitation from you, Morgan. Oh, it's in the mail. It's in the mail. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the SoCal Classic will be after that, June 16 to 20. That is um, one of my favorite. It's actually, it's, I think it's outside of the Nationals. It's always been my favorite tournament. It's only a couple of hours drive for me and Encinitas. And then the Beer City Open. Need I say more? Yeah. I'm in, if you are. <laughs> All right. We can sign on the dotted line now. <laughs> <laughs> and this road that you see, all these terrific stops, uh, the road ends, all this building up to the APP Miami Masters International, January 19th, 2022. That's a big ticket. Yeah, they've, they've put together an incredible schedule here, and uh, it's fantastic to know they're not just going to be doing it in the US of A. They're heading over to England for the English Open. Ah, might be a good excuse to jump the pond. Yeah. Catch a little uh, Wimbledon, and uh, right around that same time period in July, and uh, go with the uh, APP to Why England. Well, we're going to have some terrific matches coming on court number two. Again, coverage continues on center court over APP TV, either YouTube or Facebook, and we'll see you shortly here at court two. Financing doesn't have to be puzzling. Whether you're looking to purchase a home or refinance, North Point's low competitive rates, client-focused service, and streamlined process make sure you have the right loan for the right home. The branch team at North Point Bank works hard to ensure you have the best information to make the best decision to put all the pieces of your financial puzzle together. There's a better way to do financing. Connect with the brand team to learn more today. like to dink, then Pickleball Magazine has what you're looking for. Our bi-monthly print publication will help you become a better player with instructional tips, drills, and articles from the top teaching pros in the sport. And you'll become a healthier, stronger player with psychological, nutritional, and wellness advice from experts in their fields. Finally, if it's product reviews or the latest news, we have that too. To learn more or to subscribe today, go to pickleballmagazine.com. Would you like to take your pickleball to a whole new level, attract better partners, have more fun, and play to your maximum potential? I'm Scott Moore, number one senior player in the world, 
20 plus time national champion. We've decided to create the Pickleball Masterclass, encapsulating all the principles, skills, drills, and strategies that we teach in our clinics and camps into one comprehensive video that you will be able to watch anytime, anywhere at your convenience over and over again to develop pickleball mastery that so few are able to obtain. So instead of going out to the court now and practicing and playing the same old way, treat yourself to an invaluable gift by making an investment in your pickleball. All you have to do is click the link below and we will see you on the inside.
And here's your next match on Championship Court 2 inside the stadium in beautiful Delray Beach, Florida. Well, pickleball it is, and all over town they're talking about this pickleball tournament all over Boca, all over Delray and the area. Uh, so much excitement. Couldn't have asked for better weather. The conditions are glorious. Not so windy as it was on Thursday. We've seen some terrific pickleball, and we've got an excellent match coming up right in front of us. Yeah, in this, uh, this match, and this will be feeding into the bronze medal match. Uh, we've got Adam Stone and Rob Nunnery versus Jocelyn de Villiers and Patrick Smith. We've watched them uh, in a previous match. They look good. They couldn't quite get over the line against Steve Deacon and Deckel Barr, but uh, they're certainly chomping at the bit to have a go at Stone and Nunnery. They've been playing well today. Well, if they can get past Stone and Nunnery, they may get to see Deacon and Barr again in a rematch, who are battling right now in the winner's bracket final against the Johns brothers. Yeah, the team we're watching, uh, uh, the two teams we're watching now actually did battle in the third round earlier on today. Jocelyn de Villiers and Patrick Smith won that one, 11-9, 11-8. So they'll be looking to continue the trend. And no we reason to not to expect we have the another team serving. tough Time and in. close match. Zero, this zero, one two. to 15. And Stone will serve it up. Uh, good little Side reach up. volley from uh, Smith. Side or side out. Out of the four players, Stone is, uh, zero, I believe, zero, the one. most experienced in the pickleball circuit. And this time it's Devalier reaching into the kitchen for the put away. Nunnery is the, uh, the new kid on the block, but he's proven himself uh, more than handy. How do you like the uh, matching orange shoe and orange shirt? One, yeah. zero, one. He might win best dressed. Well, I don't know, Patrick with the half a sleeve. Hmm. Great pick up. Not going to be able to send that one back from Devalier. Two zero one. Nunnery has a little Jack Sock look about him. He does, doesn't he? Second server. Jack Sock like volley right there mm. from Rob. Two zero two. Patience with the dinks pays off. Side out for Stone and Nunnery. Yeah, I think they're going to test out that backhand side of Nunnery for quite a while. Zero, two, one. See if it pays off. Nunnery, the rip. Stone got right in front Ooh. of his partner there. Second yeah. server. The back of his head just getting in the way. I was looking to poach. Ball got through. Zero, two, two. Ball was behind Nunner. He still almost managed to scoop it up. Two zero one. Point. Stone yeah. said, "Why not go forward into the court?" But tough angle. You'd expect to make Three, that one nine one. times out of ten. Second server. Yep, good ball from Nunnery. Second serve. 3-0. Three, 3-0-2. Three, Points. And 
Needed to get a little bit lower on that one. Four zero two. And they're up to a flying start already. Chip charge. Effective. Side out. Still looking for the first point opportunity right here. Wait a minute. Recalling the score. Zero four one. Out of the air, swinging, backhanded volley. Zero four two. We're gonna need to convert pretty soon. That ball gets upstairs. Another opportunity. How many can Stone get back? Overhead. Too much. Right now, it's the, the control or lack thereof in the midcourt that's costing uh, Stone zero, and one. Nunnery. Second server. Four zero two. Well, center court was rock and rolling for that women's final, winner's bracket final. Point. Moments ago, big crowd on hand. It's a huge forehand volley there from De Villiers. <coughs> Great setup there from Smith. Five zero two. Terrific exchange. Yeah. And it's six zero two. Six zero two. Coming up at you, Morgan. Ooh. That was a great Side catch up. there from one of the patrons. Yeah, didn't even need a mitt. <laughs> All right, zero let's six see. One. If the Stone Nunnery duo can turn things around, good looking serve. Second server. Zero six two. Oh. Well, there's justice there. There was an out ball hit. I thought so too, yeah. Six, zero, one. Break him again. Yeah, they not let up a point yet. What a rally. Yep. Fantastic play. Oof. That's the first roar of emotion. Uh, Patrick Smith Seven, so zero, far. One. Well deserved. And they Second get a serve server. up. Yeah, it seems like there's a pattern there after the, the strong shows Seven, of emotion. Zero, the let down. 7 0 2. Yep. He'll get it. Looked like he was in between grips there, looking to change towards Easton to get over that ball. Yeah, so much strength Second in that uh, single-handed backhand volley there from De Villiers. Zero seven two. Still searching for their first point. Point. And they have it. Take it any way they can get it. Patience on that point. Yeah, the videos just have a habit of slightly popping up off that ball. One, seven, yeah. He gets style points, but the you know, one thing better than style points is actual points. points. <laughs> <laughs> Solid philosophy. <laughs> two, seven, two. And they've got a couple. Let's see if they can build on this. Stone and Nunnery. Side out.
this one's to 15. Winner will move into the men's open bronze medal match. I'll say along. Second serve, Second serve here, 7 2. New Zealanders ten, seven, two, do tend two. to be great sailors. They play on and turn it into Stone offense out. and earn a point, or yep. a side out, I should say. Stone did very well there, closing in at the right moment, able to, Two, seven, one. to win the hand exchange. Oh, what a pick oh, up. Fantastic. Backhand volley, efficient. Second yeah. server. To see the agility of uh, such a big guy, Jusling de Villiers, 6'3", possibly 210, 220 pounds maybe. Two, seven, two. Physical looking athlete. Looks like he could be terrific at just about any sport, huh? Horse racing, I don't think he'd be very good at horse racing. <laughs> You got me again. Point. Yeah, they make a terrible jockey. <laughs> Three, seven, two. Good leave. Point. Stone just leaning in there, able to take that, that ball out of the air nicely. Four, seven, two. You have a minute. Applied the pressure to force a, a, a very low counter punch and let that next one go. So often it is the case, the, the best shot you hit is the one you don't. Morgan Evans, more or less pickleball podcast. You can hear this anytime you want. Uh, these uh, Morgan Evans, uh, great analysis, and coaching. recently had an interview with a, a gentleman named Mike Brennan who uh, has written a book called Pickleball and the Art of Living which that was one of my favorite favorite interviews we broke it up into two parts because it took us like nine hours to get through but uh, a fantastic read by all accounts I will tune in and you have two timeouts left in this game yes oh, Time Smith in. and Devalier Four, seven, two. sensing the momentum turn they Get that time out. Up three. Side and out. It's a little high from Stone. He was uh, somewhat of in a rush to get to the kitchen line. Thought he could control that one, but still on the run. Makes it just that much more difficult to manage the depth of those transitional shots. Seven, four, one. No, off the Point. tape. Too bad you can't time pass out. it to your opponent. Uh, we'll get a timeout on the other side. The, court. the score is 8 4 Timeout effective for Devalier and Smith. They yeah. grab two points out of their timeout. So this is a change of ends. They, both sides will get uh, one minute rest in this 1 to 15 game. Stone. Continues to shake his head, a little upset with himself. He has he has high expectations of himself, but uh, you know I, f I feel like any great athlete has to have that. seconds. Time in. Eight four one. Second server. Eight four two. Yeah. 
Solid play from Stone. Yeah. Deep return, Side follows out. it up, closes strong. He yeah, really found the corner there. Tough to defend. One. Just deep. Thank you. Point. So much strength in that backhand volley. Five, eight, one. Yeah, we see a sign there of a switch. Second server. Hopefully Stone and Nunnery aren't somehow watching the live stream and can see the hand Five, signals eight, behind the back. <laughs> Got Stone, then he got Nunnery. Yeah, yeah Smith yeah. apologizes. Should get two points for that. <laughs> uh, pinball. <laughs> Eight, five, one. And a mistake ends it. Yeah, De Villiers just needed to show a little more patience, trusting that he can hang in that rally. Uses length to take balls out of the Eight air five, and dictate play. Out. Point. Yeah, that's unfortunate. The net getting involved. Handful of points typically working against the, the Stone Nunnery duo. However, a lot to be said for the fact that you make your own luck. Nine, five, two. You put top spinning on those uh, on those drives. They tend to go over if they catch the top. Smith looked like he was ready for it. Unable to control the direction as well as he'd like. Five nine one. And we've got five nine one. What a point here. Great defense. drop shot. That looked Does to be the trick. A Second double server. bounce. Beautiful. I do love it when the stick and the carrot comes out. <laughs> Five, nine, two. Another net ball. I think that's three, three, possibly four. <coughs> it's going to start weighing on them soon. Still, a slight momentum shift is in the air. Point. Pushes it to ten. the first serve here. Smith and De Villiers doubling up their Ten opponents. Second server. 10-5-2. 10-5-2. Villiers getting in the way there. He, he, I think he needs to be able to trust Patrick to be able to take those balls. 
especially if Five you're going to be one. stuck in the way at the point of contact. Lottery and Stone, one. boisterous after taking that point. Yeah, it's tricky to use that particular kind of backhand Six against a uh, hefty slice. Oh, that's loose. Seven, seven, ten, two. Within three. Nunnery comes up with a big backhand volley and a bullet. Right into his Boy, gut. Eight, yes, he is. Eight, ten, two. You have a minute. Yes. Adam is. Okay, eight, ten, two. We've got a bit of a comeback here. <coughs> Once again, we see players on that side of the court having uh, a little more luck. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see if uh, Smith and De Villiers can hold on and take the victory or if Stone Nunnery will continue the trend and run away to the finish line. Well, the third stop on the 700,000 APP Tour is the APP Cincinnati Open, May 13th to the 16th. All players are competing for a spot for the road to Miami, the Miami International Masters Championship, January 19th through the 23rd, 2022. All right, just about to Again. rejoin proceedings. That's very good play in the land of opportunity, otherwise known as no man's land. <laughs> Nine, ten, two. Within one. Pulled it wide. Yeah, he thought he had a good look at that shot. Unfortunately, it's a little risky. And we've seen a familiar theme. The players that uh, are prepared to take a lot of risks aren't always Come right on through. being paid the dividends. Resume play, 10, 9, 1. <laughs> Quick reflexes for Stone. Said, how didn't you go over the net? Frustration for Adam. Yeah, it's frustrating for anyone if you find that your opponent's backhand volley is almost as uh, powerful as their forehand. Ay, ay, ay. Thank you, second server. Second serve. There's that rush of blood from Jusseline de Villiers. The French are a passionate bunch, there's no, about it, no doubt about it. Uh, can't wait to see Gael Monfils out on the pickleball court. Yeah, Points. is that going to happen? Oh, for <laughs> sure, 100%. He uh, famously 12, won 9, a uh, paddle tennis tournament after never playing the game of paddle. He had a weekend free, and yeah. his coach decided to enter him into it. 
And he, he won it. Won it quite handily. It doesn't surprise me. No. Uh, the kind of athleticism he has. Yeah. Went for the behind the back swipe. Side out. Swing and a miss. Nine twelve one. I'll recall the score. Nine twelve one. He would love to get that one back. It's not something he normally misses. I think they need to do something with this. Good defense. Can they turn it into offense now? Smith. That's big. TP sets up the overhead and another one. You won't get that one back. Boom goes the dynamite. Patrick Smith with a short angle overhead smash put away. 13-9-1. Two points away. Mm. That's that one where he kind of pulls up on it a little quickly. Yeah, I see it time and time again after a 13, great point. Two. Emotional outburst. An easy loose error. Peaks and valleys. Stayed through that forehand. Trying to reach in. Didn't get the elevation, so side out. Keeps Nunnery and Stone in the game here. Trailing by four. 9-13-1. That's in. Point. Just stayed in. Uh, it was an easy one to think was going out. From that height, it had to be a miss hit to stay 19, in. One. That one there, Point. Jocelyn de Villiers, he had all the control of an unattended garden hose. <laughs> you have that problem at your house? Ah, I've got to get a hose first. <laughs> In fact, I've got to get a house. 11, 13, 1. Within two. Pretty sequence one. there for Adam Stone. One point away from tying this match. This is going to get interesting. You can cut the tension oh, with a knife. 13, 1. And they force it to the second serve. Another opportunity here to tie. Both teams need to control their emotions. That's deep. Got a big Devalier and Smith fan base here to our left. Looks that way. Yep. Got posters. And <laughs> yes. Now they're showing you uh, with a little dance for you, Morgan Evans. 13 12 is the score. Oh, oh another net point. point. That is heartbreaking. Devalier said, so sorry. To bring up match point. Yep. No one wants to win like that, but it is part of the game. And their drives have been very close to above or catching the net. But they've got good spin for the match. They'll serve again. Jusselin de Villiers closing nicely. 14-12-2. It's 
a ball to put away. That's it. Devalier didn't miss it. That's all she wrote. Working a match. 15 to 12. Fantastic match players. So it's Patrick Smith, Jocelyn Devalier moving into the men's open bronze medal match. Yeah, it was a it was a valiant effort from Stone and Nunnery, and I do feel like there was a number of balls, as you saw on on the telecast, uh, that uh, it's hard for them to not feel robbed by the amount of net cords that got involved. Um, but in the end of the day, it is part of the game. Fantastic match. Patrick Smith was just Lynn de Villiers, 15-12, heading into the bronze medal match. All right, and we will have a uh, women's open doubles match coming up on championship court two in a moment. We'll be back from the Delray Beach Pickleball Open. For 40 years, Papago Sports Surfaces has been providing expert service and supplies for any court surface, from resurfacing to building from the ground up. The growth of pickleball is doubling every year. Court equipment for private residences, court seating, and court maintenance from tennis, basketball, tracks, and now pickleball. We're actually doing indoor, private, um, public facilities. There's, there's really no limit to what people are converting now. Official court surface of the APP Delray Beach Pickleball Open. PapicoSportsSurfaces.com.
All right, welcome back, everybody. We've got Smith and Devalier. You guys heading into the Men's Open Bronze Medal match round. Got off to a quick start. It got very competitive there for a while, and you both closed very strong. Yeah, yeah, it was a, a, a tough match for sure. They're good players. Uh, we played them earlier as well. So we tried to have a strong start. We wanted to switch at 8-0. Unfortunately, they... <laughs> that we plan did, didn't work out. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> we were up 7-0 quickly, and then they, uh, they had this run to 7-4, and we managed to, uh, to have a good turnover still at 8-4, right? And, yeah, uh, yeah. Eight. And then, uh, yeah, it's just tricky. I think there is one side that plays easier than the other, and um, we uh, we managed to close it, even though uh, we uh, we had some moments. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> moments of stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> well, we weren't going to use that word, especially. Yes, you were. Uh, we were. I <laughs> was. Nasty, mate. Of course, you were. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, that's true. One thing I noticed um, throughout the whole match. Obviously, you used the net very well. Congratulations. Um, I'm not sure who you, who you tipped uh, to pull that off, but. <laughs> Generally, after your best points, your, the ones where you two did let out um, a real emotional outburst, it was often followed by a missed serve, possibly two. Um, or it's some, windy. It's, well, it's windy, that's what it was. Yeah, it's not the guy that holds the paddle. It's always windy. <laughs> yeah, generally it's windy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, but it was, a, it was a, obviously a fantastic match. In the wind, it does often favour a team that has a bit more explosive power um, that can afford to drive the ball and have success in with the wind or against the wind. You both have uh, you know, enough power to, to tenderise an elephant. Um, did that play a huge role for you? I mean, we generally try to... I mean, we're probably one of the bigger teams and probably stronger ones physically and athletically. Um, so we try to be as explosive as possible. We try to bring the energy. Um, you know, it's getting a little warmer now, so... We're just try we, we weren't necessarily trying to conserve some energy, but we were trying to be smart with our with, with the movement, okay. and that sometimes bites us in the rear end because that's when we are at our best when we go full out and we go full at high energy and move and you know keep keep moving, uh, closing the holes between us and then moving the ball around, trying to tire them out a little bit. And you know, Justin kept saying, "Let's you know, let's keep dinking, let's keep dinking. We're better at the dinking part than them." And then we just have to. Be, a, be careful on the attack. Don't be stupid to attack too early. Mm. We're better off countering right away. Yeah, honestly, uh, compared to your previous match against uh, uh, Barr and, and Deacon, um, you were a bit more conscious about making good choices up at the kitchen line, not pulling the trigger quite so early and waiting to counter. Um, I'm hoping you guys are going to continue that trend. You guys are the dark horses here. <laughs> and, and, you know, I agree with, with what you're saying. It's just uh, we're playing a game to 15 as well, so we don't have much room of error um, against, against Steve and, and Deco. They're different players. They, they, they're aggressive. We wanted to, uh, to, to surprise them a bit, and I think you're right. We, um, sometimes we pull the trigger a bit too early. But, um, you know, it, it's just a game. Sometimes we read players differently, and sometimes we, j we just don't take the right decision. I feel like... We played Adam and uh, and Rob earlier, so we had a better. Um, we played them out of three sets, so we uh, we knew more or less what we were doing, and it was a matter of executing. And yeah, it was absolute execution. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's when we played them earlier in the second round, um, or our second match, it was not windy, so it's a bit of a different game now than it was then. So we really had to be more patient, which is which is not necessarily our strong suit. I mean, you know, for uh, sure. And it must be tough if you know if you if you own uh, a couple of Ferraris to decide you just want to you know just practice your parallel parking <laughs> as opposed to uh, a couple of laps around the Nuremberg. Yeah. Then uh, that's a different animal. So I can understand the, the difficulty you've got, guys. Um, either way, we wish you luck. Thank you kindly for your time, and uh, we'll see you in the gold medal match. With any luck. That's the plan. We want revenge. That's the plan. We want Both teams actually. Yes. Yeah. Today for Dick and uh, Steve, and then. We want revenge from Arizona for the mm -hmm. bronze boys. Hopefully. <laughs> Fair enough, guys. Hopefully. All right, we're going to get started on the uh, the women's bronze medal match here. So we'll leave you to it. Go rest up. Maybe grab something to eat. Don't have a beer. Not, Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. Not yet. <laughs> Two more matches. Two more matches. Ah. And, and a double dip. And a <laughs> double dip. So three more matches. Pretty much. All right, good stuff, guys. Thank you so much. Guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Very entertaining. Yeah. Thank you. We'll see good you luck. Soon. That we can do, usually. <laughs> All right, let's switch gears here and join the Waters Waters Kukar match. And this Women's Open bronze medal match.
get that score updated for you. And just dropping over. Anna Lee apologizing. Certainly accept One, that. Three, two. See the wind playing some tricks with the ball now. Yeah. That's going to alter the level for sure. Terrific rally here. And not that backhand rip from the Young Waters. goes to the waters fantastic yeah a lot is said about the the power of the waters team Three, but uh, one, one. an underrated part of them is how well they reset off tough balls from pretty close to the line Point. beautiful forehand from the back of the bas baseline Four, one, one. It's a lefty yeah, switch. Saw that old Witzke oh, trick at uh, Andrea Coop. Yeah. He's got yeah. great hands For up there. For people at home out there wondering if uh, a switch to the left hand is a, a wise choice, it can really save the bacon. Five, one, one. Get good at it first, though. Is that something you can coach? Yeah. Yeah, you Kay. can coach almost anything. You can't teach tall. That's what I've noticed. Uh -huh. uh, taller players do I have... I never learned that myself. No. no Five, no. one, one. Deep ball on the approach. That one pushed Point. a little bit wide off of the paddle of Carr. I think Carr and Coop realize that uh, for them to have a real chance Six, here, one, they are going to be sort of redlining their skill sets. That ball gets up and put away by Anna Lee. Annalise so aggressive with those swinging volleys, and she uh, hits them quite well, doesn't she? <laughs> and looks that way. Seven, one, one. Helping mom out over on that side. Ah, oh, she's a sweetie. <laughs> oh. Oop. Second serve. Lee upset with herself. That's one of those few times where she tries to uh, gently roll something as opposed to Seven, one, attacking two. it with real pace. Backhand drive. And then up the line, Point. surprised Carr a bit. Watch the crowd moving Eight, over one, here two. now to championship court number two. Watch the uh, local favorites, the Waters. Let's go, Pittsburgh! Woo! There's some two, hooting eight, and hollering one. for the Steelers. That's got to be our guy Dave Fleming down there in his Steelers gear. gear. Fantastic play there from Anna Lee. You know, you it was only correct. a couple of years ago, uh, or even less, whereby the teams that came up against the, the mother-daughter duo One, eight, would two. tend to pick more on Anna Lee. Uh, these days, it's a very difficult choice. And what a feeling this has to be for Lee Waters to be able to participate at this level with her dog. Yeah, it, it is a real kind of fairy tale story. And fantastic for the family. Eight, one, one. Six, 
Second serve. Mm. Lee would like that one back. Second serve. It's been all waters thus far. Eight, one, two. Point. And Lee Waters able to finish. You look at Anna Lee's groundies. Uh, you caught ten. You taught tennis before pickleball, and they, they just look like Nine, classic one, tennis oh, yeah. strokes. Textbook. Um, fantastic level of aggression. Mm, just Flat a little out. deep. Yeah. What I love the most, they, they seem to have an acute understanding of who's going to be taking middle balls, one, nine, uh, one. even when it's a, a hand speed exchange. Second serve. Uh, just punching that one ends up in the net. Second service. Yeah. Trying to make a stand here one, at the nine, two. end of uh, game one. You look at the difference between groundies, and that's one thing oh, that. Yeah. Corinne Carr, so adept that, but Corinne, not quite the strokes, two, nine, the classic two. tennis strike, tennis strokes that uh, somebody like Anna Lee has. No, she was a, a decent tennis player for sure, but she was an even better golfer. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, these two are, are an interesting couple, actually. Andrea Coop is a corporate lawyer, and Corinne Carr is a professor of finance. Nine, two, one. Um, so they're, they're some smart cookies, no doubt about it. Oh, yes. Yeah, she was ready Thank on that one. Serve. She uh, she read the cliff notes there for sure. <laughs> Great hands. Nine two two. You know where she is, a professor? Uh, that's a good question. It's in mm, one of the Carolina, South Carolina, North Carolina, um, Raleigh. I want to say Raleigh. Ah. Point. Yes, you are. For the first game. Hold on a second. Anna Lee. Okay, Ten, two, two. Just missing Five that out. very close. Edge of the line. One of the big differences I've noticed in the, the Waters game is how much more compact they're trying to be in those mid-court ground strokes. <laughs> Really shortening up the backswing. The breeze picking up will affect this point. Second serve. 2-10-2. Two, 2-10-2. Ten, two. Two, ten, two. Oh, that's a fantastic Point. third ball there from Carr. She needs more of those if they're going to be competitive. Three, ten, two. There's Light that out. swinging backhand. Now we know where Anna Lee got it, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure against the Waters team that driving thirds ten, three, is, uh, is a great play. Ooh, a little miscommunication there. That lob didn't make it over Carr's head. Point and game. Game one in the books for play. the Waters as they flow to a game one 11 3 victory. What can Carr and Coop do to turn this around, Morgan? Well, I mean, it starts with getting the uh, the basics organized. Um, the serves and third balls have got to be of a quality that uh, gives them a pretty easy segue up to the kitchen line uh, so they can uh, be competitive and make their first strikes from a part of the court where they can they can really match um, perhaps even um, better the, the power and speed of the Waters duo. Aside from that, on return, you know, keeping those returns deep enough so that no one gets an easy chance uh, from the Waters side to, to have an easy drive and a chance to catch that returner on the way forward. That's, 
that's so crucial and it's so much more difficult for players to have effective first punch volleys on that fourth ball if they're still in the transition zone. Uh, so they may have to start floating some of these returns a little higher just to give them all the time they need to get up there and position themselves well and be on balance to, to play that fourth ball. Game two, time in, zero, zero two. And critical for a uh, quick start here for the Coop Car team. Side out. I'd like to see him get a little fired up as well. They need yeah. a couple of points that get him fired zero, up. Zero, yeah. one. They're playing a little flat right now. here uh, Lee Point. Waters puts it right at the feet of Andrea Coop yeah, that's fantastic play one zero one first point on the scoreboard game two Second serve. Current car pushes it to the second serve. One, zero, two. Yeah. Nice Side shot out. there by Coop. Yes. Andrea Coop possesses oodles of power. Zero, one, one. Good pick up there by Carr. She's got such great hands. Not, not much she could do about that. Anna Lee apologizes. Big smile on her face. Yeah. We saw it play a, a huge role in the previous match. So far, only one, Zero, uh, one two. difficult net cord. Oh, ricocheted. Yep. Pinball hit both waters. Yep. Uh, she is forced to forgive her mother, otherwise, there will be no ride home. <laughs> One, one, two. Oh, good stretch by Carr. Moving back to the middle. Side out. Side out. Competitive one, beginning one, to one. game two. A little short Good on sir. that angle from the baseline. One, one, two. Yeah, great Side defense out. by Carr. And they can transition that into offense for Coop. Side one, out, one, tied one. at one. Great shot. That ball from Lee Waters just left up a little high. Two, one, one. Guys, that backhand. You don't know when she's going to pull the trigger. Second serve. Yeah, that was more dinking than the Waters have done in this match so far. 
It's good to see them being able to play with both two, sides of the one, coin. Two. Car the put away. Yeah, she's picking up some momentum. Yep. She's seen a lot of balls today, and there's Three, always a point one, where two. that player tends to get warm and then get hot. They're going to have to be careful to keep feeding the beast and perhaps move the ball around, give uh, Coop Four, one, a little more two. balls to play with. Four straight points for Coop and Carr until now. Out. Mom puts an end to it. Yeah, it looks to paint that back line. Good start from Coop and Carr. Let's one, see if the four, Waters one. can turn the tables. Second serve. One, four, two. Driving that backhand, keeps that front shoulder down. Up the line. Great rally, oh. and Cooper Carr will take it. Good hand speed exchange. Four, one, one. Difficult to get it by Carr. She was sitting on that forehand, ready and waiting. Yeah. Just caught the top. That's happened a few times. Four, one, two. Quick hand, Lee. Tries to go up the line, does not fool Andrea Coop. Fantastic play there. So once again, we are seeing a uh, yes, fairly yeah. significant side advantage here. 5-1. Five, 5-1-2. One. Mm -hmm. one, you can't feel it so much from our broad broadcast vantage point, but oh. down on the court, I'm sure there's some swirling wind. Mm. Side out. Dark clouds to the west, but the sun continues to shine overhead here at the Delray Beach Tennis and Pickleball Center. Second serve. And Carr and Coop have really flipped it here in the second game. It was all Waters 11-3 in game one. Right foot. And we can see a replay there. Nope. The official hears it that high. I saw from it. I, both I mother it. and daughter. I, I, I saw it touch. At this point, you're probably not going to change the mind of the referee. Nope. And Lee swats her paddle down and waves Side it. Out. A little upset. It's been a frustrating game, too, thus far for the Waters. She was second. You Current were second car. Side out. Serving 5 1 1. 5 1 1. Six. Point. Time out on my left. Time out. One minute. The score is Lee six. Lee and Annalee. That's a good timeout. Yep. 
I'm surprised they didn't do it after the uh, the foot fault call. But nevertheless, we are six one one. Yeah, six straight points tallied by the coupe car tandem. Yeah, there is a certain amount of pressure on the Waters duo uh, after winning the nationals and you know fairly well solidifying themselves of, as uh, one of, if not the best team out there. They are somewhat expected to at least make the final in front of a home crowd. They would very much like to do that. However, the car coupe duo have other plans. Well, the Association of Pickleball Professionals proudly welcomes you to the second tour stop for 2021. The North Point Bank Delray Beach is our title sponsor. Time in. Six, Pickleball one, open one. presented by Head and Papico Sports. And here we go with action. Oh, defense serve. kept that point alive and we'll go to second service. It's fantastic how well synchronized the Six, uh, one, Team two. Waters is in terms of movement forward, movement backwards, and split steps. Side out. Oh, out of the timeout. They went too straight, earned the side out. See if they can run some points off, string them together. It's been six straight points for Coop and Carr. One, six, one. That's a loose one. Uncharacteristic to miss by that much. Have to assume the Two, six, one. the wind got a little involved there. Yeah, blowing in that direction, east to west. Second serve. Second serve. Car. Surprised Anna Lee a little bit going up the line. Two, six, two. Two, six, two. Forehand drive. Side Good volley. Out. So solid car at the net. Yeah, so often what happens if you win the first game fairly comfortably. Six, two, one. It's not so easy to maintain the same level of intensity. Keep rolling, 7-2. Seven, 7-2-1. Yeah. Two. Seven, two, well, if we do indeed go to a third and deciding game, it will be exciting. I think the noise level will pick up. What a shot by Coop. Beautiful thread through the middle. Managed the power fantastically to Point. avoid the wind taking it. 8-2-1. Two net balls. A coop. Uh, good idea That's by Anna Lee. Uh, I was looking for a dive on that one. <laughs> you would have dove? No, certainly not. No, I would have looked and admired. Eight, two, two. Clap the paddle. <laughs> nice shot. Out. Uh, it's great when they use the angles like that. It's often too easy to fall into the trap of just trying to drive through Two, the middle. Eight, 
point. Somehow Lee Waters kept that point alive. Paid off. Three, eight, one. First serve, three, eight. Coop out wide. Second serve. The overhead. And the water's uh, struggling a bit more in transition now. Some of those balls that were landing very delicately in the kitchen are now floating Three, eight, to a height and depth that can allow the Coop car duo to, to really put some some mustard on it. Three, eight, two. Oh, that's Point. beautiful. That's why I like it. The waters talk about a close. Yeah, vintage shake and bake. Four, eight, two. Oh, oh, wide, terrific inside out forehand delivered by Carr. And Andrea Coop serving 8-4. Eight, four, Goodbye. That's Point. a huge amount of power to get on that overhead. Peppered the backhand volley well enough to be afforded something high like that. Earned the put away. You have four, they have nine. Nine, four, one. Now, if you're the waters here, do you take some chances down? 9-4. I'd like to see them settle it down a little bit. Point. With the One wind, point away. With the wind where it is right now, winning a lot of the hand speed exchanges on that side, Ten, it four, doesn't lend one. itself to the gamble of the high-paced affair. Well eight. done by Coop and Carr. 11-4 in command throughout game two. They ran six straight points off to open up the lead 6-1. Cruz from there, and we are heading to game three here in the Women's Open bronze medal match. Yeah, I think we're going to have to see Waters really adjusting their game plan. Uh, perhaps not on the side they're going to be on now, but... Uh, after the six-point switch in game three, the Carr and Coop team will have the same side they were just winning on, in which case we will need to see the Waters if they want to prevail, having a slightly different game plan than uh, blunt force trauma. <laughs> Thank you for some more of our sponsors. Head Pickleball is the official footwear. Jigsaw, official hydration and endurance drink. Uh, zealous official insult. Let's go. Come on. Our official software is pickleballtournament.com. And PPR is the official education and certification partner. Official Pickleball Magazine is, of course, Pickleball Magazine. And here we go. Game three to decide the bronze medal match. Who is a quick start more important to? Which team at this point do you think, Mark? Oh, certainly the Waters. They, they feel like uh, they've let this one slip away further than they would like. I think they... Unfortunately, rested on a, a few laurels after game one. Game one was a decisive win. Uh, didn't quite have the energy zero, they needed. But it's warm out there, humid. Yeah, it's a taxing affair. Set 
Second serve. A break there for the Waters. Zero, zero, two. Directing up the middle and then out wide. Ball, yep. That ball will interfere with the point just a yeah. little bit, so we'll replay it. Zero, zero, two. Zero, zero, two. Game three. That's a great return there from Lee. Car is so steady. And then she can Point. deliver that as well. Yeah, she started to read when they're about to at attack her. She's used to seeing a lot of dinks One, many two, years two. alongside Simone Jardin. Nice Lee Waters swinging backhand, angling it way outside. Zero, one, one. Point. Yeah, I think just a, a slight adrenaline dump that's happening. One, one, one. Second serve. One, one, two. Lee Waters. Game tied at one. And a left point. Out. Net point, I should say, side out. Locked up at one. Some dark clouds building one, just one, west one. of the stadium. So we'll keep an eye on that. Hopefully that will one, one, one. stay west. I tell you, Ari, your sense of direction is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I've got nice my compass here, here up. <laughs> one, one, two. Very competitive start to game three. Point. Well, Andrea, he's got, she's got away with that one, pulling the trigger from well, just inside the baseline. Luckily finding a divorce ball through the middle where the clash of paddles from uh, Team two, Waters one, caused a miss hit. A good Side read out. by Lee Waters. That drift just a little bit long. Yeah, a little trigger happy. Current car. One, two, one. Always smiling, it seems. Point. Oh, that's where Anna Lee likes it. That swinging backhand. Two, two, one. Good pickup. Oh, point. She wanted to be able to apply real power to that one, but felt like it, it had yes. uh, dropped low enough below Three, the net two, that she one. needed to roll it. Yeah, rip point. that backhand. I'd say a timeout's in order fairly soon, but they may wait until the switch to see uh, to get Four, a natural two, one. one minute break. Second serve. Yep. Lee tried to poach a little bit. Tad late on the backhand delivery. Second serve. Four, two, two. Uh, the threat of a ball coming on has halted the play. Four, two, two. Mm. 
Side out, yeah, side out. So they get the side out. Indeed, the waters, uh, if given the choice, they would prefer not to do a whole lot of dinking. Self-confessed bangers. Two, four, but uh, they are the best at it, so if you're a one-trick pony and that trick is good enough, then you can be very successful. They obviously do own some very impressive dinking. Oh, splits them right down the middle, Coop. I feel the weather's changing a bit. You get that? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Sun is behind the clouds now, so hopefully that rain will Three, stay away. Four, one. Once again, peppering Karin Carr. And Lee Waters with the finish. Very impressive. They were determined with their strategy. They were going to keep working that side until they got the high ball. Terrific action here in game three. Oh, too good. Lee again. Uh, when she gets that two hands involved on the backhand side, it's so easy for her to drag the ball in a pretty acute angle cross court. It makes it incredibly difficult for the uh, corresponding player to do anything. Four, three, one. Deep return. Second serve. Backhand and get the elevation. No second serve. Four, three, two. Point. Not too many of those freebies available in this match, but the Waters will take one. Five, three, Five, two. Three, two. And the attack. Well defended. Some long points in this game. Great patience by both teams. And Coop delivers. Yeah, massive amount of power on that forehand from a, a short distance. It makes all the, all the difference. I think Three, they're five, wise five. to keep it uh, away from that kind of wheelhouse. Second mm. serve. That's a sign of the kind of pressure that she feels to make the difference when Three, she does five, get a ball. Two. Women's bronze medal match, game three. Certainly pressure here. High quality. Upstairs, forget it. Yeah, Carr relying on that uh, two-handed backhand when it's pressed into the middle of body. And because of the uh, the grip on the bottom hand there, it uh, has a tendency to be popping up just a little too high. Five, three, one. Looks to be just a little close to a semi-western, eastern to semi-western. 
Ooh, yes, man, getting sir. away with one there. Five, three, two. Natalie Waters. Testing the middle of the court. And Lee Waters. Yeah, just so ready. There's a noticeable difference between the, the paddle height uh, that the Waters team have. They, they do a great job of getting the paddle up uh, after each dink on the off chance that an attack is coming. Uh, they're able to get up and over the ball and bring that ball down into the court easily. Um, the players that do hang it a little low, they, uh, they can have an advantage in speed around the midsection waist height. However, when that ball comes up around chest or above um, at any decent speed, uh, unfortunately, it does cost a lot of those high balls to be popped up slightly. So if the big advantage has been on this north end of the court, question is, did the Waters do enough? They've Back built in. a 6-3 advantage, Six, three, Morgan. Two. Well, I think if they can get to eight, relatively quickly, it'll be enough. And unfortunately, we've got a ball on the ball. court. Mm -hmm. Maybe a break there for Coop Carr. Some groaning from the obviously pro Waters crowd here, hometown favorites. Six, three, two. Leaning into that backhand. Catches line. Ooh. Oh, Point. that trickled. And there's a little bit of luck that in any great game does help a lot. Seven, three, two. That backhand where she Point. somehow creates that angle Wonder off Bob. the court. Yeah, that left shoulder helping so much to bring that ball down into the court. Well, there's your eight mark. You called it Morgan. They reached that eight before eight, three, Cooper two. Carr can earn a point. Yeah. Oh. And another Point. break. That's unfortunate. Nine, three, two. That ball hung up nicely Bail. for Corin. They get the side out, much needed. Three, nine. Three, nine, one. Nice Point. attack. Feel some raindrops blowing through. Four, nine, one. With any luck, it won't interfere with the outcome of this match. <laughs> Middle of the court. Fantastic. Yeah, Annalie, comfortable giving up a fair amount of space Four, back off nine, the line two. to open up the court for that kind of backhand. Side out. Anytime that ball gets above the waist to the backhand side of Anna Lee, might as well just duck. <laughs> exactly. Nine, four, one. Now that drive Save into the third. net from Lee upset with herself. Didn't have great spacing there. Nine, four, two.
Testing that middle again. Ooh. She really wants that middle ball. Still well in command, but uh, they're going to have to be careful if Coop and Carr Four, can nine, one. rattle off a couple of points here. Switch sides here. And it pays off as Lee Waters serve. with a swinging volley right at the feet of Coop. Second serve. Yeah, the Waters four, team are nine, doing a great two. job staying aggressive on fourth and sixth balls. Yes, nice angle Side there out. by Lee. So that change of positioning there, Morgan, paid off. Yep. Yeah, they've kept uh, Anna Lee on the left Nine, four, for quite a while. One. Now they've switched it up. Backpedaling. Didn't have anything on it. So second serve. 9-4-2. Nine, 9-4-2. Four, two. Nine, four, two. Oh, a beautiful Point. shot. Catches line. And Coop felt like there was a good chance it was going to float long. That's given the ball back to Annalee Waters, serving at 9 4. 10 4 2. 10 match 4. Point. Two. Yep, match point right here. Driving the ball. What a volley to keep the hoops alive for Carr and Coop. Yeah, that was her. Best mit his miss hit of the day. <laughs> no need to claim it though. Well. Four, ten, one. Game. Oh, Thanks terrific sir. point. Yeah, another wonderful Four, point. Ten, two. Car and Coop have to start the run right here. Side out. Uh, Waters still electing to try to uh, dink and attack. The car one. backhand side. Ooh, right at the feet of the charging yes, Anna Lee Waters. Well placed, caught her in that uh, kind yeah. of no man's land. Interesting tactic there. Ten, four, two. the match again. The ball to attack and the overhead slam finishes this match. Fantastic match from all four players. Had a little bit of everything. 11-3, 4-11 and then 11-4. So marching on. The Women's Open bronze medal match goes to Anna Lee Waters and Lee Waters as they will move back to the uh, finals, try to double dip. Yeah, they will be looking to take on and successfully beat Simone Jajin and Catherine Parenta. And Meanwhile, Coop yeah. and Carr have taken the bronze medal. And congratulations to them. Yeah, well-deserved, well-earned, terrific tournament by Corin Carr. And Andrea Coop, what a terrific team they are. We'll be back for more. We'll hopefully get the waters up here for a post-game interview, but we'll be back from the APP Delray Beach Pickleball Open.
again, until you strike just right, until the ball sings, until the other guy blinks, until the court's clear and the sun sets, until you see it in your sleep and wake up swinging, go again, till you can't miss, until you can't lose, go again and again. At Coulter Homes, the rules are simple. Grab your paddle and always dink in the kitchen. Dink in the kitchen. Remember where you are. Pickle. Coulter Homes is the home of pickling. Smash and poach on dedicated courts in resort style and active adult new home communities across the southeast, including PGA Village Verano and Port St. Lucie, home of the World Pickleball Open. Pickle. Learn more at coulterpickleball.com.
And we're back. Welcome back, everybody. APP Delray Beach Pickleball Open. Thanks for joining us on APP TV as we cruise on. We've been with you since 9 a.m. And we've got one more here on championship court number two. It is the senior women's pro gold in a rematch. Leslie Bernard, Helen Wilhelm will take on uh, Kim Kessner and Mary Helen Atkins. In the first meeting between these two teams, it was 11-4, 11-3, decisive victory for Kessner and Atkins. So as we welcome back in Scott Moore, Scott, great for you to join us again as you did late Thursday. Uh, well, we're certainly happy to see you. My pleasure to be here. I'd rather be on the court. Ended up with another bronze medal, so Good that's you. the bad news. The good news is you, I have time to come join you guys. You're, so. uh, you're getting good at bronze. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> and I'm, they're calling me the bronze bomber. I used to be the gold king, so I don't, I don't like that so much. But the competition's just gotten so much better, as you'll attest to, Morgan. It's a sign of the times, and it's honestly, tough. in a certain light, bronze looks a lot like gold. That's you know, that is true. You make it shimmery that enough. That is true. I'll, maybe yeah. I'll just shine He keeps the yeah. lights down in his place, so <laughs> right. Know. Okay, that's a good idea. <laughs> you strike me as the kind of player that doesn't keep the bronze. You keep the golds, <laughs> yeah. maybe the silver filters. I don't know. You know me too well, man. <laughs> so, guys, if you're Wilhelm and Bernard, you, you lose the first match, 11-4, 11-3. It wasn't. It was co competitive to a point, but how do you turn around those numbers and make this a possible gold medal win for you? Well, that's the million-dollar question, really, isn't it? And that's uh, it's a good question to pass over to Scott. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, Morgan. Well, Such I a think, professional. I think it's most important that they just tra change their strategy. I didn't see the first match. You guys did. But if they were you know, losing bink battles, maybe they speed it up. If they were doing a lot of volley in and speeding it up, they slow it down. Just They've got to make a change. Now, remember what happened in the men's singles senior open the other day when you know Rick had been sitting That's so true. long. So they're going to hope they come out flat mm. as well. That could work to their advantage. We'll have to watch that. But, but changing the strategy, I think, is probably the most important factor for them. Yeah, there's nothing worse than going out the same way you came in. Right. You know, knowing that uh, the first time you've met, it was not pretty, and trying to think that you can just have the same strategy and have better execution. You know, chances are your execution is going to be pretty similar. Right. What they say the definition of insanity was? Yeah, Do doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Right. So hopefully... They will change it up, and we'll see a better match here. Yeah. No, certainly, and I think that's uh, that's what we're hoping to see, a, a, a more competitive, perhaps a three-gamer. Yes. Uh, this is the Senior Women's Pro Gold match. One of the hallmarks of their first exchange was uh, the quality of dinks from Mary Helen Atkins. She... It not only had a, a bit of a deceptive way about her shots given her Game grip one. and technique, Ryan. but zero, zero, great ten. placement with the dinks causing trouble in the middle. Setting up her partner, Kim Kastner. Point. And they're on the scoreboard first. Yeah, and they've picked up where they left off. Yeah, nice drops by Kim. One, zero, two. She's really developed that soft game. Mm. And Scott, it appears that the wind is becoming more of a factor later in the day here. Did you feel that on court? I did. It's kind of swirly, so it's hard to know where it's coming from. But you feel it, and so it's in your mind all the time. Makes it a little tougher to play, for sure. Two, zero, two. Big roar from center court. Men's open doubles. A great get there wow. from Leslie Bernard. Earning the side out, giving her a round of applause as uh, competitor Mary Helen Atkins. Zero, two, one. Yeah, it's all far too polite, let's be honest. <laughs> Second serve. Yeah, that stretch two-handed backhand, it's never going to have the same kind of I'm advantage sorry. a, a single-handed backhand is going to have. Saved by Helner Wilhelm. Wow. What a great play. What a point. Wow, what a point. look Beautiful. at that. Mary Helen Atkins. The agility. I, there was a pirouette in there. I Very believe. athletic. Not that I've done Mary one. Helen. Point. 
Mary Helen's quite a fitness buff. I don't know if you know. She works out, often does push-ups when she misses on the court. She's really? She is in tremendous shape. Yeah, she well, looks it. I don't think she's missed yet, so we haven't no. gotten the chance to see the yeah, push-ups. She, she works for FedEx, too, and that's no really? easy. Yeah, so I'm carrying heavy really? boxes around. She is one fit. Well, I thought you were going to say she's the lady. CEO. <laughs> Second, sir. Helen Wilhelm um, obviously works for UPS, so there's some no love lost here. Oh. Three, no, that's not true. I lied. <laughs> you made that up. <laughs> I did <laughs> I make that up. I was going to say, I, I know her. But yeah, that's the problem if you give someone a microphone. You tend to believe the stuff they say. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Very, oh. Very, oh. Impressive. Very, very impressive. We saw that to good, good effect from that side in the first match. And when they tried to return the favor, Kim Kessner was able to put away the overhead nine times out of ten. It was very impressive. We have four. Well, that time it was Atkins four, showing the overhead ability. Side out. Kim wanted that back. She, looked mm. she backed off of it just a little bit. Mm. Zero, four, one. Oh, off the net. Sorry, says Helen. Uh, they sorry can use it. First point. Sorry, but not, right? Yeah, sorry, not we'll sorry. We'll take it. Those are always nice. One, four, one. Oh, what a touch. She got it. But and that is a little long. Threw it up there. Yeah. Wind didn't help her. Yeah. Thought it might bring it back for Two, four, one. One switched a bit coming out of the uh, northeast, it seems. Very nice flick. Second just line by Kim. Yeah, just forcing Helen to stretch. Looked like they caught her standing quite tall in transition, making it that much more difficult to two, uh, four, two. field the wide ball. Great hands from Bernard. Great pickleball. Point. Yeah, Bernard, uh, she's picked her game up a notch. Three, four, two. Looks very determined. Right on the line. Forces Side the out. air. Mm. It does appear that Wilhelm is a little trigger happy on the third ball, four, looking three, to drive one. almost anything, depending whether or not she's uh, balanced or not. Ooh. Second serve. Kim going out. Let yeah. it go. And yeah, Kim upset with herself. Right. That was well inside the line. Four, three, two. Deep dry. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Same player. Great return by Mary, Mary Helen on that deep mm. return of serve. She dropped it right Five, in there. Five, three, two. I know I said point. Five three yes. two. Five three two. Atkins. Point. She's very reliable on that third ball. Really is. It, it does always seem like the the players that can move their feet well and have a lot of good adjusting steps have an advantage on that third ball consistency. Yeah. Singles yeah. players. Yeah. Announcer's curse. Just yeah. Well, being so I, know. Three, I should one. just stop talking. <laughs> mm. Quick hands, though. Second, nice point. Yeah. Mary Helen just stayed cool, calm, and collected there. Just Three, six, two. had her out of position and kept her. Out of position. Right on the line. Very nice. Good yeah. action. Very Four. impressive. She caught uh, Kim Kessner continuing to move backwards as she tries Four. to defend and counterpunch. It's a difficult thing two. to do. Side nice out. 
backhand drive at her feet. Just volleyed it right where she needed to. Got a dive actually by the far court. You guys see that? <laughs> yeah, Jose diving around. Oh, almost. Second nice roll there. Yeah, yeah, good to use the angle. 6-4-2. Great serve. Side out. Wilhelm coming alive here for her team. Side out. Trailing by two. Four, six, one. Oh. What? She ran around the take yeah. it on the back end yeah. side. That was pretty interesting. It was interesting. Yeah, you wouldn't expect yeah. that normally. It looked like Five, the wind kind of caught her off guard. Oh, a nice adjustment. Nice setup by Kim and finished by Mary Helen. Yeah, that's a perfect partnership there. Second serve. Yeah, it only really just occurred to me uh, a couple of months ago that that's what I was supposed to be doing Five, with six, my cross court dinks, trying to set my partner up. I was always trying to set myself up. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty good at that, though, I must say. Right on the foot. Yes, right wasn't her finest lob. Right, they may be overusing that a little bit. It might it's be. hard in the wind, I mean. Mm, very tricky. To get it deep. I once hit a, uh, I think it was during the US Open, I once hit a, a lob so bad it turned out to be a good dink. Yeah. Yeah. Drop shot. Yeah, it was shockingly bad. Six, five, <laughs> I didn't tell anyone I was trying to lob. Any lob works in the villages, right? <laughs> yeah, it's true. That's about <laughs> it. <laughs> oh. Second serve. Kim had that one on her paddle. Mm. Just missed. Kim is a chiropractor by trade. I didn't know if you know that. Oh, I didn't know that. She's fixed my back a few times. Oh, I, I could use that. Fellow Coloradan and good friend. Brilliant. I'm going to get her in the booth here. If you ever need a yeah, back set, she's the one. Again, this one. Uh, that one worked. Mm. Thought she had it. Side she out. was there. Right now, it looks like it's uh, sort of three out of five, maybe. Five, I have work, so they're yeah. probably going to yeah, keep dipping in that well. As long as you're above 50%, I guess it's okay, right? <laughs> Ooh, oh, oh, my. I think Leslie surprised yeah. her on that. Kessner's yeah. searching for her game at the moment. Surprised me. She, that's the first time she's done it. Out ball hit, possibly two. On her heels, good timeout by Kim. She realized a little one, bit flustered. Yeah, They've discombobulated. Lost in a row, right? Yeah. You got to call that timeout. Mm. Nice move there. Timeout comes at 7 6. Okay, well, this is uh, different than our first match, so hats off to the Wilhelm Bernard team for making it interesting. Yep. Uh, first Just like match. we said. As we said, was 11-4, 11-3. So already equaling the uh, total amount of points they had in the entire match with the seven here in the first game. Have they changed their strategy, guys? I didn't see the first match, but is it, can you tell? Honestly, it looks pretty similar. However, they're just tightened up on a few of the errors, and they've been a little better in defense. Did they lob as much first match? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was. Um, All right. Just executing more. Yeah, they're just doing a Seven, slightly six, better six. job. Whoa. Ooh. Second serve. Good timeout, right? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Ice the server. Nice Seven, server. Six, two. Oh, they're getting away that with it. Was. Getting away oh, with right. murder. Oh, if you're at home, feel free not to lob quite so much. <laughs> Eight, six, two. Side out. Good move by Lefts has just caught the tape. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to see them comfortable playing with that level of aggression that shake and bake. Oh 
Nice. Yeah. Nice dodgeball she background. dodged brilliantly that one. The last it was, must have been tough because the last one of those that looked very similar stayed in. Seven, yep. eight, one. It's that swirling wind. You just don't know sometimes. Mm. Great serve by Kim. Yeah, she she said it's something she has worked on and wants it to be a, a strong part of her game. Eight, eight, one. Kessler appears more in tune after that timeout. Oh, too good Four. from Very nice. the paddle of Atkins. Call yeah, good time out. Nine, Fantastic one. serving. She seems to be the only one on the court that's really putting in you know, a fair amount of energy into that serve. Uh, knowing that uh, her partner, Mary Helen Atkins, has a good chance to be able to drive thirds and clean up the mess based off of her short return. Yeah, that was well executed. Rolling forehand. On the far court there, we see Dave Fleming and Jose Delisi versus Steve Kennedy and Jaime Onsens. Jaime, try his last name. Onsens. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. I think, I think I'm giving it to you. Well, I, I asked him, and he said Onsens. There you go. Uh, he was top 30-something in the world in tennis, I heard. Tennis, yeah. Yeah. No, what do you say? He's the captain of the Brazilian national team? I think that's right. Mm. That's right. Oh, he's an athlete. Heck of a nice guy, too. And he's playing Another for one Selkirk. One Newcomers to the 50s. Eight, eight, awesome. Big moment here in this gold medal match. Oh, Kim, nice. Oh, now they have a game point. And for Wilhelm and Bernard, they have played a very good first game. It would be tough to lose it. Gets live. Wow. Very Sensational. impressive. Sensational. With two hands, no doubt. Well, yeah. She had to really move out there. That's not easy. Good good movement. And 10 8 2. Shot by Helen. Second match point. And that will Game do it. Game, 11, Game one to Kessner at Atkins 11 8. And a hard fought Game one. Certainly uh, looking like Wilhelm and Bernard are up against the wall. They've got to win the next two games just to force another match and uh, to have a chance to double dip. It's happened before, though. It's you never certainly know, right? happened, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely got their backs against the wall, but sometimes when you got nothing to lose, mm. you, you relax a little more. Yeah, you can start swinging free. We were down 13-3 uh, in one of our matches today. Ooh. And just pretty much out, nothing to lose, and all of a sudden we came back and won it. Fantastic. 16, 14, so. Was there a point where you realized, okay, now that uh, you've gotten past the, we were down so heavily, we didn't expect we'd even have a chance, therefore let's just relax and swing freely. When it got so close that now you tightened up again? Or a little bit, yeah, a little bit. We got tight again once we realized, hey, we're back in this. But fortunately, by then, they were shooken up. They, they, uh -huh. they were starting to make mistakes, and it was in their head, just like when we started, yeah. we couldn't hit a thing, and all of a sudden... They couldn't do anything. The side helped too, right? We okay. were we finished on the good side. Ah, uh, gotcha. But basically, pickleball, as you know, such a mental game. Oh my God! And a game of momentum swings. And yeah. When as you're on that wrong end of the swing, it's just really tough. Yep. As they say, it's 80% mental, and the rest is in your head. <laughs> I I agree. Like the math. There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Bernard serving to Kessner. Hey. Wilhelm hasn't had massive amounts of success with the drive. Zero, zero, one. Pulled it just wide. Had her shot, just barely missed it. I like the way they're structuring points, zero, though. Zero, two. Mm. Kim and Mary Helen really have a plan. They're executing. Oh, 
Oh, wow, Ooh, nice quick. reaction. Great hands from Kessner. Jeez. Well, Wilhelm thought she had the point ending shot. Kim is very nicely done. One, zero, two. Uh, that time she does. It gets a side out. Down 0 1. So the, for the first time in this tournament, the wind is at the back of the players on this side where Wilhelm and Bernard are playing. Oh. Second serve. Yeah, that same lob that was in by a decent margin on the other side. Just sails long. Yeah. Temperatures have dropped quite a bit over the past hour or so, guys. You feel that? Mm -hmm. Half hour? Oh, nice defense. Side out. Helen and Leslie have pretty big time tennis backgrounds. So you see a little bit more yeah. of that in their games, right? Yeah, for sure. For sure. That drive. Oh, yeah. The only uh, downside to being such, um, I mean, coming from such a good tennis background is you tend to be so programmed in reading tennis body language and, and paddle, paddle language in this sense. Um, and when you've got someone, in this case, Mary Helen Atkins, who it looks, looks like her strokes are a little different, harder to read. Angle there. Oh, what a point. Great rally there. Well done, ladies. Yeah, at the end of the day, there's two things that make a player consistent good footwork and good shot selection. Right. And we'll flow it out. Oh, Mary Helen certainly has both of those moving, I think, better than anyone on the court right now. She does, actually. She's got that flick backhand ball. Mm. It's really hard to read and mm. gets on you much faster than you anticipate. Yeah. Yeah. That's giving them a tough time. Four, zero, two. One minute. Time out. Quick four points on the scoreboard for Kessner and Atkins. They have been outstanding through this tournament here in the Senior Women's Open. And we're at the Pro Gold. Four nothing. APP TV. Again, thank you for joining us here, either on YouTube or Facebook. Ari Shanock along with Morgan Evans, and of course, Scott Moore here visiting with us again. Well, I've seen Kim getting better and better over the last few years we've been playing together. And uh, but this is the best I've ever seen her play. She's really on Time back point in. today. And Four, zero, two. Just so focused. Four. And you can tell how much this, uh, this one means to her. It really does. Yeah, because she's still, it's her first year. She's a rookie. Mm. Making Five, a name for herself. Two. Remember the name, folks. Difficult to lob over Ooh. Kessner. We saw that in the first beating. Yeah. Great point. Yeah, she moves back well to cover those exceptionally well. Uh, big side out. Zero, five, Bernard and Wilhelm needed it there. They trailed by five. Oh. And a good leave there from, oh, just apparently caught uh, Kessner. Good sportsmanship. Yeah. <laughs> one, five, one. Second serve. That's a fantastic slice forehand return. That chip and charge really one, pays five, off. Two. 
High arcing serve. I love love. <laughs> it's creative. Here we go. The oh, lob fest. Yes. But the first two, I don't know if you noticed, they went over the backhand side, so that was yeah. pretty effective. The last one, Five, one, one. With over, real overhead, that didn't work as well. Second serve. Five, one, two. Five, one, two. Heavy serve. Ooh. I'll take that. Yeah. Oh, that point. Yeah, they set the point up well. It's hard to yeah. say that was all luck. They were in great commanding position. Right. There's a great poach on the backhand. Yep. Right. She anticipates. Deserves to uh, come away with the win. Great movement. Goodbye. Yeah, not going to get that one back. Boom, Four. goes the dynamite. Well, Kessner certainly sharp again after maybe a little bit of a slower start for her. Seven, one, two. Absolutely has found her rhythm. In fuego, on fire. <laughs> uh, getting away from Wilhelm and Bernard a bit here. 8-1. Yeah. I think they were, a timeout was well overdue. Yes. Good eye again by Kim. Yeah. She's just yeah. all cylinders go. It seems like they're forcing the, the team of Bernard and Wilhelm to yeah. live outside their means. Nine, one, two. Try to red line. Uh, two points away from the gold. And now make yeah. it one. Yeah, there's some frustration now creeping in as well. 10-1. Senior women's pro gold right here. There it is. Wow. 11 1. Dominant in the third game. Hugs all around. But Very for the impressive. second time today, guys, it's Kessner and Atkins over Bernard and Wilhelm this time in the senior women's pro gold match. Kim Kessner, Mary Helen Atkins, the winners. Fantastic play from the ladies. They deserved that win. Ran away with it in the second game. Yeah, they were just dominant. They're going to be uh, a team to watch in the future. This, uh, I think right. this is their first tournament together as well. They right. played once together in Punta Gorda, oh, actually. Right. And I think okay. they, they won that, too. So they're two for two on the gold. So wow. look out for them. You're right. Great New combo, play. but really so is. far they're lethal. We're going to try to get them upstairs here for a post-game interview. And why not? Senior Women's Pro Goal. We've already talked to Kim and Mary Ellen. Mary Helen wants today. Well, why not after securing the gold? They deserve it. They earned it. Right now I'm looking over. We're watching the warm-up for the uh, the men's gold medal over there where Patrick Smith and Jocelyn de Villiers are playing against the likely duo, let's be honest, Ben and Colin Dewar. Uh, Johns. <laughs> So we'll go quick break and come back with the Senior Women's Pro Gold winners, Kastner and Atkins, coming up. Would you like to take your pickleball to a whole new level, attract better partners, have more fun, and play to your maximum potential? I'm Scott Moore, number one senior player in the world, 20 plus time national champion. We've decided to create the Pickleball Masterclass 
encapsulating all the principles, skills, drills, and strategies that we teach in our clinics and camps into one comprehensive video that you will be able to watch anytime, anywhere at your convenience over and over again to develop pickleball mastery that so few are able to obtain. So instead of going out to the court now and practicing and playing the same old way, treat yourself to an invaluable gift by making an investment in your pickleball. All you have to do is click the link below and we will see you on the inside. For over 40 years, Papico Sports Surfaces has been providing expert service and supplies for any court surface, from resurfacing to building from the ground up. The growth of pickleball is doubling every year. Court equipment for private residences, court seating, and court maintenance from tennis, basketball, tracks, and now pickleball. We're actually doing indoor, private, um, public facilities. There's, there's really no limit to what people are converting now. Official court surface of the APP Delray Beach Pickleball Open. PapicoSportsSurfaces.com. And look who's back, women's gold medalists in the seniors section, no surprise. We knew you guys would be back here, got Kim and Mary Helen. Uh, another outstanding performance, very competitive to start. You guys fell behind early, but regrouped and uh, just cruised to victory. Congratulations. Thank you. We were worried. I, uh, after that first, uh, well, first 10, 15 minutes, we thought it could be a, a drastic change of events, but you knuckled down. What was the, what was the key for you? Um, well, we had to re recompose. Rhea did. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And you know, uh, after the break, our first game usually of the day is the worst game. And we had a big break, and we came back, and then we just kind of got getting, it back together. Yeah, yeah. kind of getting that groove again. Yeah. So their lobs were really effective, and so we had to, you know, decide if they're going to go line. She went line on us and lobs, and that was really effective that match. Yeah, so, for yeah. that game. Do you have you two discussed uh, lob retrieval? A decent amount, or is it first who calls it? Usually, I'll get it on the forehand side unless she can reach it. You know, it's usually how we're yeah. doing it. So. Yeah. yeah, I I felt like I wanted to take a, like a step or two back from the kitchen line just to anticipate that because um, I didn't feel like she was out dinking us. Yeah. So, you know, I did do that a few times, but <laughs> I should have done it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's certainly fair enough. And you know, you read a lot here about a lot of people. Um, preaching stay up at the line don't back off of the line but you know we see a lot more players now being comfortable two three four feet back off the line and doing real damage and obviously Lee and Annalie Waters kind of leading the charge in that in that effect because that kind of helped you to realize there's a lot of different ways to play this game and at the end of the day whatever gets you at the top of the podium is good pickleball right absolutely yeah we, we did discuss that because we didn't want to be the team that kept backing up so that was one of the keys and we realized that they were winning points because we were still backing up instead of you know following the ball and getting in front of it and getting back up to the yeah to the line so yeah, yeah giving yourself enough room to and if necessary being back so you can be moving forward right. into your shots as opposed to being on your heels and there was a few of those moments uh in game one and you wisely took a nice time out after being pushed back and trying to counter punch uh with that wind but you made the adjustment come away with a win congratulations thank you appreciate it pleasure to have you here ladies and i uh, look forward to your next tournament when when's your next one um i'm playing um what am i playing next Atlanta? newport oh uh, there's a u.s um, open too U.S. Open. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I'll see you in Newport. I'll yeah. be there. Okay. And, and U.S. Nice. Open. Mary Helen? U.S. Open's probably next. Yeah. Okay. Are you playing together? Unfortunately, nope. Nope. we don't have any more lined up, but we should because we've won we gold will. for yeah. two we'll tournaments now. So this is yeah. two in a row together. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Break you know, that up. Yeah. COVID yeah. kind of messed it up for that next year because in a lot of tournaments, you just transferred with your other partner. So. Uh, yeah. 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 That's yeah, true. We do have a good energy. We, you know, we're not, we, we say that we're not the prettiest players by far. <laughs> But we get it. We get her done. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's yeah, point. you know. Well, I'm sure your significant others would uh, would say otherwise. So. <laughs>
uh, well done ladies Thank congratulations you. again go get your medals and your cash and if you feel like bringing me a beer you can do that oh, as well okay. oh we will all right I got you. It's more just don't tell all the right, boss ladies. <laughs> there you have it the senior women's pro gold champions kim kessner and mary helen atkins and we're about done for the day. Uh, Thanks, ladies. Court number two at all center court action still going on with uh, the other crew. Uh, so tune in there, of course, uh, Lauren, uh, Dave, and Dominic have all that action for you. But it's been a great day here at Championship Court 2 from our partner, Morgan Evans. Of course, our terrific producer and Spencer Laurent. I'm Ari Shanock. We will see you again bright and early tomorrow morning right around 9 a.m. Take it easy, folks.